All right, sorry for the delayed start, guys. Can you all hear me okay, yeah? All right, let me get Stream Raiders on. Sorry for the wait. Sorry, I had a letter come through I had to deal with. Ugh. We should all be good now. Uh, what mission have I got? Let's have a look. Nothing unit specific. Okay. Alright, I'll just put down whatever I want then. Easy win. What do you mean new? New to what? Ghost. Sorry, I don't know what you're on about. If you're talking about War Thunder, I've had my account since like 2013. If you're talking about Twitch, I've been making content since 2012. If you're talking about Kick, I've had my account since last year. In War Thunder? No, I'm not new. No, as I say, I've had my account since about 2013. 2012, 2013. I've just had a massive break. I had a break from like 2015 till about... 2022? So... Yeah, my account is not new. My account is not new. But, um... I, I have a mix of stuff. I've got low tier, I've got high tier. I just prefer to play props. Just my personal favourite. Don't know what you're on about, Ghost. As I said, I've had my account for ages. I'm not new to War Thunder. No, I'm just confused what you mean by new. I'm not new to the game. Like I said, I've been playing it since like it was 2012, 2013. I'm not new to it. I don't know what you're on about. Sorry, mate. If me playing arcade makes you think I'm new to the game, then that's a fallacy, mate. Sorry. I don't know what you mean by new. I don't know what you're using as the definition of new. Sorry. Uh, let's grab that. Yeah, I get that. But again, by that logic, then I'm not new. Because you said it takes quite a few to... takes time to get to, 80, to level 100. If it takes time, then you can't be new if you're a level 100. And granted, I'm not level 100, but... Sorry, your logic doesn't pan out, mate. Sorry. If you're saying it takes time... Oh, you're saying it takes little time to get to 100. You're saying the opposite. I got like 1.5k hours in the game. I got like 1.5k hours. <laughs> Again, not much compared to other players, granted, but again, depends on where you cut off new versus not new. So, yeah, sorry, I reread your statement, but yeah, regardless, I don't think one and a half K hours in a game is not much. It might be not much for the War Thunder player base, fine, but uh, again, it's it's irrelevant, it's pointless. Yeah, I know, I always enjoy the game. That's the whole point. If I don't enjoy something, I won't play it. 100%. Uh, what do I want? Let's turn that on. But, yeah, I, I don't know what the average completion time to get to level 100 is. I've got no idea. i got absolutely no idea what it is. Uh, right, so I need to bomb ground targets... One to five in the team, I can do that. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. I really ought to do it with a different set, though. Um... You know what? I'll use this. Actually, ugh, I can't, can I? Because it's actually... Mm. Average one to one and a half years of intense playing. Well, there you go. Well, I'd argue that's not the way to go playing games, but 
you know, games as a hobby, they're supposed to be fun. If you don't enjoy it, don't play it. That, that's generally my attitude to it. But, um, yeah, I mean, if, if people are in for um, self-suffering because they feel that that's fun for some reason, I'm fine, whatever on them. I, I would argue maybe they need to start looking at another game. But anyway, to each their own. Uh, what do I want to do? You know, are any of these tier three? I don't think any of these are. No, I need to unlock some more stuff. It's a lot less grindy than it used to be, though. They they buffed um getting through things last year. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? There is still an awful lot to grind, though, if you want to complete everything, though, granted. Mm. Hey, Cap. Yeah, how are you guys doing? You all right, Cap? You all right, Mark? I saw your thing in the Discord by the Ray Renick. I hope you're doing okay. Hmm. You got anything you like to play, Ghost? Any favorites of yours? Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do place and team using this set. And then we'll we'll swap. Then we'll swap. We'll go, uh, we'll just try and nuke out the bombing and we'll do the mediums. Nice and simple, easy. Hey, Volt. Thanks for the T-Rush, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, let's do this. Hey, Helvet, how you doing? Welcome. Sorry, we're just getting started today. First match of the day. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for hopping in. Yeah, sorry for the slightly slow start today, guys. I got a letter through the post that I need to deal with. So I got some good news, though. My chair's working again now. I got the chair fixed. Yeah, I'm all right. Been having back issues, but I'm doing all right. Do it okay. Things are slowly getting better. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I got my chair fixed yesterday and I'm so happy. It makes such a big difference. It makes such a big difference. Took a bit of effort. And then, um, it looks, it looks like the hot water's working better now. Knock on wood. So... I'm gonna have a nice bath tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. So that'll be nice. Let's have a nice soak and relax. And then hopefully uh, Dungeons and Dragons um, at Baldur's Gate with uh, my partner and one of my mods. No, 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 it's so good, it's so good. So good. But yeah, we're just chilling. We're just taking it easy. Easy piece of lemon squeezy and all that jazz. But yeah, we're just going to relax. Do a bit of War Thunder. And then later, we're going to go on. I've been given the classic collection for Star Wars Battlefront. So we're going to play that later today. I'm going to have a go on that. Um, I've got Dragon's Dogma for tomorrow. The new one. So we'll have a go at that. And we'll see how that plays out. But um, yeah, for today, for today, War Thunder and uh, Battlefront. So, be good. I think we'll play a mix of um, single player and maybe we'll check out some of the multiplayer servers. Hopefully they got enough capacity. Then we'll give that a go. We will give that a go. Hopefully it'll all be uh, lovely. We'll see what happens. It's been a long time since I've played a game like that. So we'll see what we can do. Come on. Let's see what we can do. You love War Thunder? Good. We play it lots here. Play at least a couple times a week. But yeah, we're going to have plenty of that today. And then we're going to pull around on other sides. It's normally how we do it here. We normally start on something like War Thunder or Farming Sim. You know, something in that kind of ilk. Then we'll go from there. 
I have not heard the Max Verstappen song, no. No, I have not. <laughs> it's just become a bit of a meme somewhere. You know what I need to play again? I need to play F1 Manager. That was fun. That was really fun. I probably need a complete start over on it, though. It goes hard. <laughs> hey, I like it when the songs go hard. That's, that's a good bit. That's a good bit. There was a party rocking song about farmers that one of you guys linked to me. That was hilarious. That was that was really funny. Come on. We'll try and get closer to this. If I can catch it. Come on. I'm not going to be able to catch it. I'm not quick enough in this plane. Just even with me oofing the engine. Ah, oh, dang it. A20 is too fast for me. Right, okay. I think we're going to have to try and go for something else. There's J20 that's coming towards me. We can do something about that. We could do something about that one. No, that worries me. What on earth is that cap? <laughs> There's so many jokes that hell, but so many jokes. Come on. Poor little plane. Not quick enough. Here we go, I got one. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we find ways to make it dirty. We always do. We always do. That's just that's just what we do here. What'd you expect? <laughs> that's just how we go. Right, come on, let's do this. Let's see what we can come up with. Let me go for that uh, 410. Ugh. I need to wake up. I got a cup of tea in front of me. Mm. Let's see what we can do. Hang on, you're at 70 something and. No, you're talking about Battle Pass level, Renick? Oh, the guy from LA, he was talking... Sorry, Ghost, I don't know if you're still there, mate. <laughs> he was talking about, um... He was talking about, um, that account level. He was talking about account level, not BP level. BP I'm totally fucked on. I need to sort BP out. It's a mess. I spent my, uh, snail allowance. Um, I'm gonna get another one next month, so I'll use that, worst case, to pump up the BP. So... I'll be fine. I'll get another 5k, so I can use that to, um, I can use that to get any, um, battle pass levels I'm missing. I'm going to try and minimize that, though. <laughs> we'll work on that. We'll see what we can do. You got to listen to it? I don't know if one of the guys has a link for it or something. You sure and find it? Yeah, I'm sure if you Google it, it'll be there somewhere. I, I, yeah, just a bit of Googling. I'm sure it'll pop up. Someone else must have been looking it up, so... It'll be there somewhere. Come on. There's an IL-2 to my right that's tempting, but... And I'm probably gonna leave that. I don't think it's worth it. We'll just go for this instead. Yeah, I'm one of the CCs. Albert. 
I'm one of the CCs, so I uh, I'm in tier one. I get a I get a monthly I'll allowance. I get a here. major patch allowance as well. I've already had that though for the new patch. So we spent all of that. I got a crap load of vehicles off of it. Ah, uh, not while I'm on stream, Cap. Later though, later. I don't want to be tabbing out and mucking around too much. Also, don't want my mic picking up on it either. I'll pick it up later though. I'll have a look later, Cap. Ooh, okay, that was iffy. Ow! I will, I will, I will, Cap. Just to say, not in the middle of a stream. I can see you sent it to me though. I can see that. Oh, nice! Congratulations, well done. You'll get it there. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. You'll get it there. Yeah, the requirements are fairly lenient. Just, um... Takes a bit of work. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, big stretch. Ugh. Sorry, I'm still waking up. My brain will get in gear, but it'll be like the middle of the afternoon before it kicks in properly. It's normally how it goes. At least we're going to win this match. I am not going to get my placement. Not unless I fix this somehow. I've just potatoed my way through this match. Need to get my brain in gear. Need to suck like I need to get these vehicles upgraded. This set has got a very long way to go. In all fairness, I've only just started you know really focusing on this lot so can't expect everything at once ah and he only got the assist rip i need to get the ammo upgrades especially because um i'm finding getting crits with this set to be a bit of a pain in the butt so Okay. Dang it! Missing out here. <laughs> ah, massive pepperoni. Ah, I don't want to play realistic. I can. I just I like to I like to play a variety of vehicles. Realistic won't really allow for that because it'll be one per um match. And I like to swap. I know, I know the earning rates are higher. I completely get that, but I I like to be able to mix vehicles up because, especially if I find a vehicle that I really hate, that I get a pain in the ass grinding, then I just don't want to go insane from it. Uh, let's have a look. I've got more stuff unlocking though, which is good. Um. What do I want to unlock? Um. Let's have a look. Yeah, sorry if you just got hit by ads, guys. Sorry. Good old Twitch timing for you. Um. I guess I might as well research that. Yeah, let's research that. I'm just going to try and unlock as much stuff as I can. We'll try and whip through it as best we can. That's the Batman plan. Right. Put that on as well. Although I probably ought to put that on later, but whatever. Um, right. Uh, can I do anything with the crews? Let's have a look. Um. No, I can't. Okay, I have got extra points, so let's try and use these a little bit. Um, go with that. Um, nothing I want there at the moment.
I'm going to slowly fill these out. Yeah, not get anything I want, right? Okay, let's uh, let's go again. Yeah, sorry, Albert. I'm sorry if you got hit by ads at an awkward time. But yeah, as I was saying with regards to realistic, I, I have no objection to playing realistic. I just, I like to mix vehicles up. If I run into something I don't like, then it just gives me options to play different things and not feel like I'm bashing my head into the wall constantly. Hey, Van. How you doing? You all right? Thanks for dropping in. Hope you do well. Sorry, I just had a bit of a stretch. So it's, it's more of a sanity thing than anything else. If that makes sense, Halbert. I don't want to be yeeting a vehicle I absolutely despise. Hang on. Thanks for follow. The enemy has captured the airfield. We've got to act fast. I do have some jets, yes. Sorry, I was having to deal with the message quickly. Um, yeah, I do have some jets. I have a F-16 Falcon. I have a MiG, I think it's a 23, if I remember correctly. Um, I was given the Tiger Shark recently with the new patch. I've got a Saab, which is an 8. Um, I have a couple. I have a couple of options. I, in all fairness, so I have to say, I snail took me up with a lot of that stuff. So I didn't. Um, I didn't purchase them. And yeah, the Falcons are tech tree one. So I've got a kind of like skipped tech tree situation on that one. If that makes sense. I'm into like tier four, tier five. The US. And then I've just got this Falcon sat on the top end, basically. <laughs> so, and then obviously the Tiger Shark as well. So, yeah, it's a bit of a weird situation I have. But yeah, I do, I do technically have some jets. I do have some jets. Oh, you got the 29. Nice. Fair play. How do you like it? Do you think it's good? I'm sorry, I don't have the 29. I think I got like a 23 something variant. I can't remember the top of my head. I need to double check what it is. I think it's like a. What's it? It's a 23 owl. I could be wrong. I'm having a brain fart. I don't remember. It's, um. Yeah, one I randomly got a little while ago. I can't remember what it is exactly. I'll have a look in a minute and see if I can find it. I know I have it. I always forget exactly what it is. Yeah. 16A. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I want to try and expand my roster of stuff. But the, yeah, playing playing Jets is a whole other world. Something I need to uh, practice and get used to. Because a lot of the flight sims I played as a kid were World War One and World War Two, So... A lot of them cut off, you know, early jets or pre-jets. So, I'm very much used to prop planes when it comes to games. I have done a few other games, though. I mean, I played some. I played, like, Microsoft Flight Sim and other things where, you know, um, commercial jets and stuff were a thing. But, um, yeah, when it came to Flight Sim, I tended to play the, the combat ones more than, you know, the domestic flight ones. 
and then I've played things like Wingman and stuff like that, which is super fun. But um, and then you'll get like the old random game where you know they'll put like oh aircraft level or whatever in. But um, <laughs> yeah, I tend to I yeah I, say, I tend I tend to be a uh, props props person when it comes to planes. So I'm just checking I've got ammo's on and stuff. I need to try and clear some of these lower ones out as fast as I can. the community and hang out <laughs> it's just one of the things we do here as I, i'm not in a mad rush um the way i'm doing my units is i'm taking a tier of a given vehicle type so let's say like tier three uh planes for example and then i'm just going through nation by nation and doing every single vehicle for that particular nation of that tier so i just did sweden tier three for example which is why I'm now on Italy and I'm trying to work my way up to tier three. Now, I've pretty much done tiers one and two across the board with everything. Three is what I'm on at the moment for planes. And I'm just clearing it out throughout the board. I've done it pretty much left to right. Um, I still have um, Italy, France and China to do. Basically, the tier three planes. But yeah, I'm pretty much clear. And then the next step will be going through the fours. I've got a lot of the fours unlocked though for most of the nations because I've kind of over, over researched. Because I I like to complete all the vehicle upgrades before I move on. So that's kind of pushed me on in the research tree further than I'm actually at. Another so I'm a little bit ahead of myself. So there's a little bit of give, so to speak. But yeah, I'm trying to get all the upgrades. I'll need to max the crews out eventually, but that's going to take some time. But yeah, it's been a case to just get all the upgrades. I do have a couple of nations where I need to go back. Because there's some stuff in Tier 1 and Tier 2 that I kind of skip for urgency reasons. But um, about, you know, there's little like pockets of things here and there I need to do basically but i'm i'm gonna slowly skim through those and sort them out 10.3 yeah i need to i need to get some eventually that's really good though well done helbert well done yeah i need to play and find some time to do stuff it's just i mean i got a bit of a head start with sweden because i had the saab and played it a few times that uh that nuke through uh unlocking a lot of my very early vehicles for me so that helped cooked it all right let's see what we can do um, but yeah, We're, I'm just going to cycle through. I'll get there eventually. I will get there eventually. Come on, let's see what they got. We need to try and do something about the sites. Ah, uh, what do you mean by that statement, Helbert? Yeah, Twitch mandates ads on all affiliate and partner channels. Sorry. Uh, we do do a community vote every couple of months. The last vote, in fact, the last four or five votes, people have asked for the breaks to be short, but more frequent. So that's what we've done. So they're capped at one minute. You'll never get more than a minute at a time. But yeah, sorry. It's been like that on Twitch for a while now. It's been uh, a couple of years of them pushing for all that. There's not a great deal I can do. Unfortunately, I cannot completely turn them off. It's a mandatory thing. So we're making the best of a bad situation in that regard, if that makes sense. The only thing I can recommend is if you have a channel you like, you can subscribe to them and that should turn ads off, although the uh, channel owner can selectively disable that. We don't do that here, though. Um, or Turbo. This is the other product that'll do it site-wide for you. 
But, um, yeah, we've tried to minimize the disruption by keeping the brakes short, and that's about all I can do. Sorry. Um, the ads do support the channel, though, if you do sit and watch them. So I do very much appreciate this, because I do do it as my full-time job between, uh, caring for family. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. But, um, yeah, if there's more I can change than I absolutely will, but at the moment I'm just going to work with the limitations of the system. Um, there will be another community vote in a couple of months' time. That'll be put in the Discord. And then, yeah, if people want to swap to a different break system, then I'm happy to do so. That's not a problem. I just try and do it based off the general consensus of the community. Try and keep as many people happy as possible. Ah, I got fifth in the team. Okay, cool. So we got that. Good, 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 good. Right, so that's that ticked off in theory. Silver, I'll take silver. I would have preferred the larger amount, but that's fine. Right, let's grab that. Alright, we'll take that. Cool. Okay, so that's that ticked off. Right, let's get that. Let's get the radiator. Um let's just go with that all right okay so that's tossed them all right and then we've got a rank three now cool right i think what we'll do i need to swap that can go now because that's done so let's kick that out and let's put something else in um Let's try and do lower BRs first. Let's. That's already in. Uh, have I got anything other than threes? Ah, uh, I don't think we do. Hang on. Um. That's not complete. Why is that not in? Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's not finished. Okay, let's shove that in and just get that out of the way. That's a lot of bombers in my lineup, which I don't like, but... No, that's all good. I appreciate it, Halbert. Appreciate it. I mean, I got about 1.5k in the game. Actually, let me check how much time I got in the game. It was 1.5k when I last checked. Yeah, yeah, it's one half roughly. Um, yeah, I just pootle around and muck around. <laughs> the problem I've got is, like I said, I played way back in the day and then had a massive break and then came back and there was a ton of new stuff when I came back. So, because back when I stopped playing, they were just looking at introducing tanks. So, and then obviously I had quite a number of years of missing out. Um, I've been playing a bit of everything, though. I've been playing a bit of the planes, a bit of the tanks, a bit of the, the um, boats. Um, so, but yeah, tanks is my least favorite by a long shot. I haven't really got to play helicopters yet. That's on my to-do list to hit eventually. So, I'll get around to it eventually. And we'll figure out how that goes. But, um, yeah, I'll say 90% of my time is spent in planes. I'm just enjoying collecting them and taking my time getting them, <laughs> really. I'm, I'm starting to acquire a decent collection of the boats now as well. The, the tanks, I've basically done German tanks only, pretty much. I played the British tanks and absolutely despised it. So... Stayed well clear of those. Uh, I did start doing the American and USSR tanks, though. So I've got a little bit of tier one progress with those, and I managed to get the US light, uh, which I think is the bottom end of tier three, I think. I can't remember. So I have that. I have that going for me. Um, I think we should probably swap set, maybe. Yeah, 
because I don't really have any. I don't have a three. This set needs a bit more work before I can get into tier three. Let's go into another set. Oh, I forgot that's tier three. I mean, this set's tier three. It needs a bit of work. It's nearly there. Hey, Parker, how you doing? I got most of these upgraded. Is there, yeah, there's like a couple of bombers that I need doing. There's a fight. Yeah, there's a couple. We'll do this one because I think this was a set I was working on and then I had a, like a tiny bit left to do on it. So we'll do that. We'll do that. That'll... I'm not, I'm not great with the Japanese planes, but... Yeah, we'll do it. It needs doing, so... We'll try and get a bit more progress. And it's still productive use of time, so... Try and get a bit further with it. I am gonna go in with the bombers first though just to try and make some drops and then and then we'll take the fighters and we'll do the uh, mission objective that'll get us off the ground with everything that's the um that's the batman plan anyway why is okay what hang on sorry there's a bad gateway error on the screen let me try and figure out what is causing that ah it's that one okay hang on right i will just turn that layer off for now sorry about that guys sorry about that helmet you got anything planned for today? How's you? Anyway, just in general. Mm. Oh, fair enough. Just an aloof day. Right, I got a couple dropped. I didn't get much dropped. I know I could do the series thing. I haven't bothered to set that up. Me being lazy. I need to get around to it properly. It's on the it's on the to-do list. I should the thing is though, I kinda I wanna see if I could set separate binds for that. Cause like sometimes I'm gonna want the series drop, sometimes I'm not. I want to see if I can set both. All right, let me see if I can try and get some of these. Oh, you're gonna... Yeah, he's gonna come for me. No, go away. Oh, I just got to drop it and chance it. I think it's gonna be way too far behind it now. Oh, I actually got it. Okay. Yeah, I have a slight catch between two situation here with this guy behind me. No, go away. Go away, go away, go away. Yeah. Annoying. No, no, no. I can, I, can, I can relate to that. I can understand that. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best. Fingers crossed. Why am I doing that one? It's complete. No! Shit. Actually, no, hang on. I need ground targets, don't I? No, that's not necessarily a bad thing. What am I on? Bleh, brain fart. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it all out. <laughs> Gotta take it. I'm a mess, as usual. Yeah, because I, I got the special task that requires bomb drops. So, yeah, no, it's not a complete waste. I just, I'd rather get on with the medium task because the medium is um, time sensitive. 
I can I can leave specials over multiple days. The other one I can't, so I need to try although to be honest, we're like less than an hour in, so I got time. It's like 45 fighter kills. It's not that big of a deal. It's not too big of an issue. All right, let's see what we could do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my background's in psychology, hell, but um, yeah, there's some interesting um studies being done on 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 the effects of that kind of stuff. But yeah, no, I think it changes a lot of people in a lot of ways, to be honest. Which I think is kind of understandable, to be honest, given everything. Come on. Uh, right, let's go with the scope. Oh, no. Is this a horrible... Uh, is this a one-shot? Please don't be a one-shot one. Don't be a cannon one. No, it's not. Oh, thank God it isn't. Okay. Sorry, there's a couple of the Japanese planes. I ran into one recently in another in the Swedish set, I think it was, where it's a bloody one-shot cannon. And, oh, it drives me crazy. I hate those planes. I hate them so much. They're so difficult to level. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that. Oh crumbs. Oh. I mean, I've been I've been really lucky. I've managed to avoid it, thankfully. I've known a lot of people that have been ended up with it, yo. Know, but yeah, I mean, like I said, the more research they do, and the better they understand it. You know. The better for everybody. Um, I can't remember which one it was, Penguin. I honestly don't remember. But there was there was one in the Swedish tree. I know there's, I know there's a couple I've run into in the um, Japanese tree that use the same principle. Yeah, it was just driving me ape shit, basically. I I just I'd had enough of it. It was bloody infuriating me last time I was on this trying to clear those particular vehicles out oh okay yeah yeah i've had to, i've had to be super careful because i'm um i'm immune compromised and so are some other members of my family so yeah i've just we've had to be like insanely careful thing is at the time i i i, I was working in a care home and i was working in a school uh, thankfully, by the time everything kind of kicked off, I um, quit the uh, care home job, and then I quit the um, school job when uh, when I went full time with the content. Because I did that because I a wanted to do it, but b um, care for family. I needed to make sure I had enough time to to do everything. So I was just like, screw it, and I just quit my jobs. Um. So it's given me the flexibility to do everything else I need to do, thankfully. But yeah, that kind of isolated me from the exposure to kids that may have snotty diseases. That, that you know, you know what it's like. Kids rub their hands on everything and spread things. It's terrible. So I I got out of there when I could. I quit that in twenty. It was like 2020, 2021, something like that. So, yeah, I'm glad I got out of there when I did. Because <laughs> the thing is, right, when I used to work there, like, literally, I'd be sick for two weeks, and then I'd have, like, half a week to a week of being fine, and then I'd be sick again. And this was just an infinite loop. For, like, the, um... It's like, three, four years I worked there, at least. I think, yeah, how on, when did I start working there? I can't actually remember now. I was there quite a while. I think I might have been close to five years, something like that. But, um, yeah, no, it was just this constant cycle of being ill when I worked there, which was not fun. How you been, Gek? Everything all good? Fluffy hugs. I'm doing all right. We're just dorking around at the moment. I'm just trying to get some vehicles upgraded and sorted. I hope all's well with you. Oh, I'm still waking up. Look at me break. I'm gonna try to hydrate better today. I didn't hydrate very well. I'll tell you what, I got some good news though, Gak. My chair's fixed. 
my chair is actually fixed i'm so happy it's like my extra limb it's back and it's working and i'm so happy yeah i got the package yesterday early during my live stream i got around to it last night i was so whacked out because of how heavy the chair is i was so whacked out after i'd done it i got a little bit of help from my dad because i couldn't get the armrests off to swap those because there's like um there's a screw in the back and then there's like a, a slot that you slide um a screwdriver in they provide you a flathead and you're supposed to stick it in there and then you've got to wiggle it free because it's magnetized and it's got like a lip in there and you've got to like peel it off it's really tricky um but anyway we got them off we got them swapped and then we got the chair back up and then i've had a quick like hoover i need to have another hoover around in here just to be on the safe side but it's all working out it's all working i've got everything back to normal now and i'm so happy because that other chair it creates so much pressure in the bottom of my spine it's horrible this is great i'm happy <laughs> i got the comfy chair back and i'm so happy about it it's so much better Oh, they're amazing. No, seriously, Gek. I, like, not sponsored or anything, but I absolutely love them. They definitely were worth the money. And the customer support is the first time I've ever had to talk to them. And they've been amazing. They they were genuinely fantastic. I need to send them another email back just to confirm that I, A, got it back together in one piece. And um, that everything seems to be fine. But, yeah, it feels good. It feels it's Everything's back to normal now, which is great. I've still got... I've got till last day, 2025, on my extended warranty. So I've still got time, worst case, if something happens. So <laughs> hopefully nothing will happen. But, you know. Honestly, like, I, I'm so impressed and happy with the, the result of the customer service and everything. Like, I'm genuinely looking at, like, joining their affiliate program or something. Because I'm super impressed with how they've done it. I was like, I've been happy with the chair, but just the, the way the customer support handled everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that'll go down well, Mark. Oh, I genu I genuinely really like it. I'm yeah, I'm really happy with how they took care of everything. They they've been fantastic. So we'll see we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But yeah, at the very least, I need to mail them back and just say thanks for sorting everything out because um, they did it. Yeah, they've done really well. I have to say, I'm really impressed as well because I was looking at their new range of stuff as well. Unless something catastrophically stupid happens, honestly, when this chain is replacing, I'll be buying another secret lab, I'm telling you. That's that's my plan right now. Obviously, I want this one to last as long as possible, but I'm just... At the moment, I'm very happy with them, so... They will be getting a return customer, let's put it that way. Hi, Nag, how are you? I am so much better. So much better, Nag. I got my chair fixed. My chair is fixed. Sorry, we're having a bit. I, I, it feels like a party, but yeah, no, I got my chair fixed. I'm happy. <laughs> so daft, I know. But I love it. I love it. I have a happy sausage. My back is thanking me for it as well. I feel so much better. Balls! Come on, a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer. Come on! Come on, a little bit closer. We're not giving up. DX. I used to have a DX racer. And I did like them for quite a number of years. I got it very early on. I got it around... Well, it was when it came home from uni, so it would have been about 2015. They, it was great to start with, Gek. But the piston went. And then the leather turned into a case of scabies, basically. It, it, it was flaking and it was horrible. It was nasty. Um, but yeah, it, to me, from what I've read around, um, yeah, they, it sounds like they did some kind of manufacturing change and the quality just fucking nosedived off a cliff from what I saw. And, um, yeah, I know it's PU leather. I know, I know. It's it's the synthetic stuff. That's pretty standard, though. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the, 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 the piston mechanical part component, it, it sounds like it will nosedive. Because I saw a lot of other people complaining of failing pistons and stuff. Which is why I didn't go back to them. That's why I shopped around and that's why I ended up with the secret lab chair. Which I got at the end of 2020. Um, I got a Titan 2020. 
in uh, i think it's cookies and cream i can't remember what the style is called it's black with like blue trim basically um but i really like it and uh, i opted for their soft weave hard wearing fabric absolutely no regrets fantastic it's really nice it's very breathable it's very good hi lord how you doing yeah well i always research that gek um i did check i was within the weight limit of the dx racer i was granted on the top end of it hey cuz how you doing i was towards the top end of it granted but i was within the range of it just this is another reason why i opted for my titan because the titan series for secret lab is like the heavy duty they also have the flat seat base as well which i really wanted whereas the dx racer was, was cupping my bum which i don't like <laughs> so that was another reason to get away from that one because i it was comfy but it was rubbing my thighs you know at the front where it kind of comes up and round and yeah i was finding over time that was not pleasant yeah well the see sales nag wait for sales i got mine in a sale i got mine end of 2020 in a sale wait wait till like end of year sale because i they don't manufacture them far from me um, but I got like free shipping and uh, I got some discount off of it. So wait, if you're going to do it, wait for a sale. They do do a few. They've got some stuff on sale at the moment, but I don't think it's like massive discounts. Give it time though, Nag. Give it time. Wait and see. I've never slept in one gek. I've, I've never done that, so I can't testify to that. Got no clue. That's cool, though. Oh, yeah, no, I know what you mean, Nag. But wait, wait till the big sale. Wait till the big, big sales. <laughs> no, it was just so comfy. You had to snooze in it. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, as I say, I, I'm, I'm glad the DX is working out for you. But yeah, mine, mine failed on me and... Oh god, the flaking. It was horrendous. I was say, my chair looked like I had a skin disease by the time I was done with it. <laughs> and the problem, the thing is, this was back when I was like coming back to, hence it's 2020, but this was back when I was trying to get back to full time streaming. But the, um, the piston went and the whole chair was listing forwards. So I was streaming and I was slowly sliding out my seat and it was leaning. It was bad. It was really bad. Plus the flaking. It was just a recipe for disaster. It was giving me so much back pain in the end because of how badly it failed. So I'll, I was like, nope, I have to swap. I've absolutely zero regrets though. This has been like the best chair ever that I've had. The DX when it new, don't get me wrong, comes a close second, but it didn't have the staying power. This thing has already outstayed that DX. I have no idea, cuz. I have no idea. I can DM him and find out. He is a friend of mine. But I have no idea. I can only guess maybe he recognizes you from somewhere. I don't know. Sorry. Give me a second. I'll drop him a DM. I don't know um, what he'll say. I can't promise if he'll give me an answer I can publicly share. I'll drop him a DM, though. Give me a second. I will see if he's around. Um, I don't know. It may not have been him. Right, I've dropped him a DM. I'll see what he says. He is tight. He is streaming at the moment, so he might not get back to me. We'll see though. We'll see what he says. We'll see what he says. It could be he, they may have accidentally clicked your name and banned you. There could be all sorts of reason, cuz. So just bear with a minute. Sometimes people accidentally click things and don't realize. So as I say, bear with me. I might be able to find out for you. Yeah, fingers crossed, Nag. All you can do is just keep saving where you can. 
Budget, man. Budget, budget, budget. DX yeah, have the same thing that Razor has. Hugely popular. Over here. Um, I don't know about. Well, Ra look, my experience with Razor has been very good, Gek. Um, I I have found the equipment has lasted me really well, and when I have had to use their support, they have been very very good. Um, they've even given me stuff outside of warranty as replacements um you know i've had stuff that's on like two three year warranty and then it's like failed after and it, they've still given me replacements i don't know i've i've had a good experience with it i mean, the only kit that i really use of those get though i have to say i have never used their headset it's their mice i predominantly use and the mice have been amazing i've i've i love my razor nagas I've been using them since World of Warcraft when I used to play that full time, like prolifically. Um, yeah, I really, really like them. I've had quite a number of them over the years, but yeah, they've been, their customer support's always been very good. I can't testify to things like their keyboards and their headsets and the other stuff though, or their phones. And they have a chair, don't they? But I've never, um, yeah, I've never looked into that. So yeah, I can't, I don't know which bits you're specifically referring to, but um, the mice at the very least I've had a very good experience with. And the customer support. How you been, Lord? Everything all good? Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thank you. That's no, all right, cuz. I'll try my best to help. I'll see what I can find out for you. You didn't like the mouse? All right. Yeah, I... The thing is, I think, for me, it's about the right size. I'm... I'm I don't want to say I'm tiny, but I'm like thing is i've got the one with the swappable sides because they've done various nagas over the years obviously they've got the chroma stuff then um they've had all the different i've got the mmo panel on for reference but the one i've got at the moment has got a three switchable side piece on it so i can actually swap it to a moba configuration and a bunch of other stuff i just flick the panel off the one failure i did have with the mice was well the left click would go but given the amount of clicks i do <laughs> It's kind of no surprise. Um, that's the regular thing that's failed for me. But again, they've replaced them without hesitation outside of warranty for me, which has been really nice. Not that this is special streamer treatment bullshit. I didn't tell them I was a streamer, so it's not that. Um, um, and then, yeah, I had, um, you know the old ones where they had the slide-in wireless batteries? I had those melt on me. I actually got a battery stuck in. <laughs> Because the battery melted. And the thing is, I had it in wireless mode. I'm not sure whether I should or shouldn't have had the battery in that while it was in wired mode. I really don't know. But the battery melted um, and failed. It was squishy. Um, so, yeah, that was a complete cock-up. But the, again, they replaced it. No issue. Oh, you want about the heads? Yeah, I've never used the headset. I've never used the headsets. I was going to look at getting... I think it was like a tear mat or something I was looking at at one point in time. But, um, yeah, I never did that. I've got Astro A40s. Yeah, the battery melted, yeah. Yeah, like, the whole side of the battery was squishy. But you could push it in. <laughs> not good. That means the battery's failed. Do not use. Um, yeah, no, I had a complete battery meltdown. Um, the old ones were these big rectangular batteries that used to slide in. The, like I said, this is an old version of the Naga, not the current one. I need to make that really clear. This was like a way, way back. Um, but yeah, they had these little slide-in side batteries for the wireless bit. Because you had a docking station. And then you had the batteries you'd slide in. And it was these big, like, elongated rectangular batteries. But basically, yeah, those got stuck in the device and melted. I'm sorry! Razor, I've never had a Razor keyboard. I did consider it, though. Actually, no, I did have a Razor keyboard. I had Black Widow, didn't I? Oh my god, I'm being an idiot. I forgot about that thing. Yes, I had Black Widow, didn't I? Yeah, I had a Black Widow keyboard. That lasted pretty well. Sorry, I completely forgot about that. Well, the thing is, I had the mouse plugged in permanently, Volp, and given I keep the machine on constantly at the time, it was probably a case of the battery shouldn't have been in all the time while I was having it plugged in. It was probably user error more than anything else. I suspect. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, I had the Black Widow keyboard. Yeah, it's the mice I've had, and then I've had a couple of Black Widow keyboards. 
I forgot about those because I used to have a certain other company's keyboard with a really weird shaped WASD on it. Not going to say the name of the company because I nearly ended up with a lawsuit with them. Um, I will never buy from that other company again because fuck them. Um, <laughs> I had to go to the European Trade Commission to deal with them. That's how bad it got. Anyway, I got that resolved. All of that was because of two headsets. But anyway, beside the point. I was, it was a horrible situation, but yeah, I will never buy from that company again. Anyway, so I bought my Astro A40s from a local shop. Because unfortunately there's this weird um, legal loophole that this other company were trying to use, basically, where if you're not a Danish resident, they don't have to give you a refund for shit, apparently. Because it's some weird EU exemption they were given. Um, they ended up refunding me in the end. Uh, because they were running into way much trouble too much trouble over this in the end um, <laughs> oh okay well there we go Volp so yeah I don't know Volp I have no idea either way though that's it that's an old model of it but um yeah so I had I had keyboards from that specific company and then I was like oh I'll buy a headset from them because I had a really good experience yeah worst mistake ever never gonna buy from that company ever again anyway I ended up with the Black Widow keyboard after that because I'd had the Nargis for years. But yeah, I had, I think it was like two or three Black Widows. Um, I want to say it was two. I can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, I've currently got the Astro A40 headset. And then my, keeper, uh, my keyboard's a Corsair. K70 Pro, I believe it is. I bought that last year because my keyboard fell. Oh, you got the Corsair headset. Nice. G635. Okay, okay. Rach, thank you very much for resubbing. Appreciate it. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart at the moment. Good old potato mode. <laughs> but yeah, no, this, key, this, this Corsair keyboard's really good. It's a bit of a pricey one, but I managed to get it on sale. So... I think it was like £10 difference between the pro and the non-pro version. So I was like, screw it, I'm going for the pro version. <laughs> so that's why I ended up with this one. Because, yeah, my keyboard decided to completely fail on me last year. In all fairness, like I said, I had it a long time, so... Yes, yes, Gek, it does begin with an S. Yes, you probably know what I mean and which one it is based on the fact I said Denmark. I think it's Denmark they're based in. I can't remember. Anyway, there was some stupid bullshit European example. Uh, exemption thing. Anyway, they, 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 they also as well, the guy I was talking to in support was being a complete butthole. Um, and this guy has a reputation for being a butthole because there's loads of documents on forums about him being a butthole. Um, but he's still employed there for some reason. But yeah, no, seriously, with that company, Gek, if you mention the word refund, I mean, it went from, like, the first thing I did in the ticket was my pr proof of order, which was direct from them, by the way, with the order info, the copy of the email, and all the other information. And, um, yeah, the second I mentioned the word refund, it was like, oh, we only service legitimate customers. And the blah, blah, blah. But you've got to bear in mind, by that point in time that I'd asked for a refund, I, I was five broken devices in. And by five broken devices, I mean replacement devices. Because they refurb their kit and send out, which is fairly standard for the industry. But, um, yeah, they weren't refurbing their kit properly. They were sending out. And, um... Yeah, and then they were trying to blame me as if I was trying to scam them, which was not the case. Especially when I took video of the devices failing and not working properly, as intended. Oh yeah, 100%, but yeah, no, Nag, avoid them. They are horrible. They're absolutely disgusting. I spoke to a friend of mine a couple of years later after all this, like, wrapped up, right? And he was a vendor for parts for that company. Anyway, he said he had no end of trouble dealing with them. He had absolutely no end of trouble dealing with them. Um, he he would have a lot of people sending their kit back within warranty date, but because he was the direct vendor for it, he was responsible for the replacement parts. Anyway, this guy got absolutely shafted on selling that company's stuff because he was having to buy more kit from the company and then deal with the post-warranty stuff, and they were being a pain in the ass, allegedly. I haven't got proof of that all directly, but... But yeah, he was out of pocket constantly because of their kit failing and then him having to buy more from them to, to cover customers. And then him later down the line having to try and deal it, you know, settle it with them. So yeah, no, I don't trust them as far as I could swing them, honestly. Um, 
They, they, they are awful. The thing is, though, right? This got so bad. As I say, it, it nearly ended up in court. I ended up in like a, a two, two, nearly three year like debate with them over this. Five replacement items later, which were all broken, plus the originals. And um, and like I say, all the proof and evidence. I had to go to the UK Watchdog, the European Trade Commission. I, it was a nightmare. It was absolute fucking hell on earth to get this problem sorted. And all over the sake of 160 euros, basically. Because I'd, I'd, I'd given them multiple chances to fix the problem. They failed. Bearing in mind, some of these replacement items they sent me failed in under two weeks, by the way. And they often had the same fault for the very thing that the original headset failed for as well. I was not impressed. There was clearly some kind of consistent manufacturing fault. They were getting them back in, in my opinion. And then they were just trying to refurb and send them out to other customers and try and get away with it. That's my opinion on it. I could be wrong. I don't know, but that's my speculation. And yeah, I had enough of this shit. But yeah, they were trying to say that I wasn't a legitimate customer and they were, even though I could prove it, they had my account on record with the purchase directly for them, them and uh, it was chaos. It was absolute chaos. How you doing, Sam? Sorry, we're on a bit of a rant now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, this was whole. It was a horrible experience. This is why I'm never touching with a barge pole. Um, they gave me so much aggravation and crap, and they tried to play every trick in the book to claim that basically I I was trying to scam them, which I wasn't. I at no stage was I trying to do that. I just wanted a product that worked within warranty. That's all I wanted. That's not too much to ask. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for the hydrate. So, yeah. Um, uh, Nag, I'll, I'll DM you the company. I'm sure the other guy would have as well. But, uh, yeah. So, this was a... Uh... Uh, Kaz, are you still there? You're doing alright? Good. Glad to hear it. The airfield is ours. We've got to hold it. Right, I sent I sent you the company now. I'm sure somebody else has already sent it to you, but um yeah. You got Logitech? Yeah, that's some good Logitech kit out there. I've had various bits over the year. I say over the years. Bleh. Oh shit! What is that? Oh crap, I drove into a friendly whoops. <laughs> I want to get that steering wheel, definitely. That one looks good. I want to do that. I want to do that. I feel like that would be good. I think that'll be a good one. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I, I've pinged him into uh, Whisper as well, Gek. It's all good. It's all good. But yes, it begins with an S. And it ends with an S, and it's two words. Both words begin with an S. I'm sure you can figure out which company I'm talking about. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, but no, they're terrible. I used to buy their keyboards. They used to have a, a thing called a Z board, which would fold out. That's what I used to use when I was younger. It's got the weird WASD configuration because I hate using WASD. Um, and then I bought their other keyboard later. But yeah, I then decided to go for the headset. It was the worst mistake ever made. Yeah, don't. They're, they're utter garbage and their customer support are complete buttholes. Don't go anywhere near them. They're awful. They're absolutely atrocious. Yeah, some of the mice do look nice, Listy. I don't have any personal experience using them. Honestly, Razer won me over with theirs and I have never looked back. So. I think if I was going to try anything other than my Razer Naga that I have, maybe I'd look at some of, some, some of the Logitech mice. I don't know. There's a couple I've seen around things that looked interesting, but I'm, I'm, I'm so hooked on the Razer Nagas. Honestly, I, I can't see me swapping unless they literally stop making them. So...
Oh, I hope you never have to deal with them, Listy. Honestly, I really hope you never have to deal with them. They are horrific. And be wary if they send you any replacement stuff because it will be refurbed and it probably won't be refurbed terribly well from my experience and what I heard from my friend who runs the shop. So be careful. Just be super careful. Hey, Crispy, you're right. Fluffy hugs, Bespoke. Have a good look, mate. Thanks for being here. I do appreciate it. I hope your day's going well. Oh, crap. I need to drive into something. <laughs> You're still good for Baldus tonight, Crispy. I hope you'll be all right. Are you having a bit of a better day today? But yeah, anyway, sorry. Going back to kit, guys. Yeah, my, my Nog is great. And um, yeah, I don't know about the Razer headsets. I've never used them. I've Yeah, I forgot about the keyboards. I did use the Black Widows. I did really enjoy those. I've got Dragon's Dogma. I'm going to be playing it on Saturday. I've been sent a copy because Green Man hooked me up because they're legends. They've actually got a sale on that, by the way, guys. I think it's like 14% off or something. Sorry, if you are looking to get Dragon's Dogma, they've, they've got a sale on. If you do XMH watch GMG, guys, you get my link for it. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, sorry. I was waiting for a reply from him. I, I was waiting for confirmation I could tell you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the follow. How, um, how? <laughs> okay, interesting username. I've just figured out what that says. I, I will call you Butt Connoisseur. There we go. Welcome to the stream, Butt Connoisseur. <laughs> I know it's a troll username, but just wow. I'm not going to repeat that on the screen. Uh, look, I, I, you might be trying to make me say things. I, kudos to you. I'm sure you'll catch a few people out with that. I've been doing this since 2012, so... Don't worry, I have dubbed you. <laughs> you said it's a troll. Hey, look, everybody's going to have a hobby. If you want to show it, go for it. If, if you want to get that sauce out of that peach, you, you do what you want to do. That's fine. If you, if you want to go up Willy Wonka's Chocolate River and, and have a taste, look, down to you, all right? Down to you. Like I say, it could be anything between troll and advertising of, of interest. That's fine either way. You do what you want to do. Everybody needs a hobby, all right? <laughs> I appreciate your transparency. I have to be careful what I say, though, because I am broadcasting to multiple platforms at the moment. I do not want to get blapped for that one, but that's fine. Welcome anyway. Hope you're having a lovely day, butt connoisseur. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just memeing and having some fun. I hope you're doing well, though. Right, let me, um... That's... Yeah, yeah. I, let's, let's do stream raiders, guys. Sorry, I'm going to get off at a bloody tangent again. It's all good, though. <laughs> Yeah, you want to fight? Okay, how are you finding that? Yeah, good, good. My seat is fixed, so I'm a lot happier now. I need to get some rest. Also, the the uh, hot water is sort of fixed, so I have a nice bath tonight. I'm looking forward to that. Ah, so yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, El Gato. Yeah, El Gato. Yeah, because they got the waves and stuff. I haven't got. I have got the stream deck. The stream deck's really good. I did see their prompter. I do like the look of it, but I'm probably going to go with a... I want to say more mainstream pro... If I, if I do get to that eventually, because I think it'll work out cheaper, to be honest. But yeah, Elgato does some very good kit. They do do some very, very good kit. The rubber ducky. We love the rubber duckies. We love the little rubber duckies. They're cute and fluffy. Although if your duck is fluffy, you probably need to see a doctor. <laughs> oh... Have you got a fluffy rubber duck? Well, call this number, because you may be eligible to make a claim or a visit to the STI clinic. Either way, call this number for the low, low price of 9 99 We'll ensure your visit to find out whether you got a problem or if you've just got a really weird duck. <laughs> if your duck looks like a cat, then you've got problems. <laughs> <laughs> All I got in my head
said now is a cat and a duck onesie, and I don't know why, but it's hilarious in my head. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right, fingers crossed, Crispy. Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine, but connoisseur. <laughs> We just, we're just chilling and chatting random shit mostly. But yeah, yeah, going back to what some of you guys were saying, yeah, some of the Elgato kits are really, really good. I no, seriously, my back is thanking me so much right now. Seriously, just having the other chair back is just a miracle, honestly. That other chair is so bad, I hate it. I mean it's I need to get up I need a backup option basically, but that thing that's over there is complete utter trash. And it needs to go. <laughs> no, we don't want a buck carnosaur. I, you know what? That's the natural evolution of like Jurassic Park, isn't it? We've run out of ideas. Let's turn everything into bots. Butt Rex, butt carnosaur, butt raptors. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just need a giant plastic butt to stick over their heads. That's that that that'll be a I'll be like, yeah, Dr. Wu got pissed one night and he's turned everything into a butt dinosaur. Instead of putting cuttlefish DNA and frog and god knows what else, he's just gone with human butt. He has harnessed the essence of the butt. And he has made it into a dinosaur. And he's made a whole theme park themed around butt dinosaur. I don't know why. It's certainly the headline grabbing, that much is for sure. Crazy scientist makes butt dinosaurs for unknown malicious purpose. More yet to be confirmed on the 9 o'clock news. <laughs> what will happen with Dr. Wu? <laughs> Who knows? Stay tuned for the 10 o'clock news. Um... <laughs> Hi, Iron. How you doing? Good to see you, Alex. You're right. Lovey hugs. I'm doing well. Sorry, I don't know why. I I need to make that into a D D session. Just tons of butt dinosaurs. I think, I, in all fairness, at the moment in the current D D campaign, at the moment we've got Santa Claus up a flagpole in his underpants. So. <laughs> I need to finish that session. Um, yeah, that needs sorting out. I need to, I need to deal with that. Um, <laughs> anyway, cuz, I hope you're doing okay. I'm glad the thing with Danielle got sorted. It, it seems it was done in error from what he told me. But, uh, but yeah, sorry about that. I was, I was, sorry I was slow responding to you. I was waiting for a confirmation from him that I could say it and he didn't. Obviously, he's got to told you before I could, but it's all good. It's all sorted. It's all good. It's all good and sorted. How you doing, Iron? Sorry, I think you may have just got hit by Twitch ads. Sorry about that. Apologies if the timing worked out badly. That was you. You okay? My little bomber can't really do much here. I just got to poodle around and hope the back gunner, you know, will actually do something. Too close. I mean, if you can literally touch the ground while you're in the vehicle, that's bad. That is very bad. Very, very bad. Right, let's get in the next one. Oh, okay. What be all that? Hang on, more thunder. Me two six two. I'll keep you busy. Oh, it's up in the sevens, is it? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, have fun with that. That that must be quite a few points to get. That must be quite a few points. Best of luck with it, though. I hope that I don't know how far through you are, but fingers crossed you'll get the grind done all right. Hopefully it'll work out. Do you have prem time, or are you are you just on the standard? Oh, six. Ah, okay. Ah, cool, cool, cool. 
How are you finding that VR? Do you like it? Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a decent selection in that range thing? Because I don't really play Jets much. So I, I haven't really got that far per se. I mean, I do have vehicles beyond that, but I... Yeah, I just don't play Jets much. I will eventually. I'm just enjoying the prop planes. <laughs> I'm just trying to get everything unlocked. I am verging now on the point where Jets is just going to come in constantly. Hey, you'll get there, Listy. You'll get there. Oh, you don't do ammo? Oh, okay. Fair enough. I, uh, yeah, I'm the opposite way. Ground for me is an absolute disaster. <laughs> I try, but I am an absolute train wreck. I, I have fun with it, though. It's a good laugh, but I'm, yeah, I am a complete train wreck when it comes to tanks. I'm slowly unlocking some, though. I'm hoping to get Mouse when that comes back in. So, I'm, I'm not far off of it. So I'm hoping to have that sorted before um, before it uh, comes around again. I tried to get it the last couple of years. I just It's one of those things where I just kind of pootle around if I feel like it. So I very slowly push it on. I just need to keep chipping away at it. I'm trying to use this like a turn fire. It's just asking for trouble. <laughs> It's not gonna stop me though. I've done this with bombers. It's 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 fucking weird. Life finds a way. Shah will always find a way to use things unconventionally. That much is for sure. Ah, oh, things get weird. It's gonna be all right though i mean at least this is a fighter rather than anything else i i, I yeah i play some weird stuff oh you're gonna actually come straight at me okay fine right oh you play ground sim ah okay yeah dude i'm miles off that i struggle with arcade <laughs> Although the gun stabilization on the um, German set is really nice. That's been helping me. I've done a little bit realistic and I've, I've managed to actually get somewhere with that bit. So that's been nice. I am so garbage at this set, but I'm just like, whatever. Um, let's have a look. Can I actually improve something? Let's see what we can do. I'm not going to do the qualifications a second. We're just going to hold off on that a minute. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. I'll bear that one in mind if I ever get around to it. Eventually, I want to get everything unlocked in the game. But that's a huge ask. It's a massive... Ma Why am I doing that on a fighter? Fuck it. I don't care. Sorry, I think I was looking at one of the bombers and I was like, oh, yeah. no, idiot mode. Right, anyway, whatever. I want to spec everything out regardless. I won't do on that one though. I'm not going to cock that one up. Right, ah, uh, brain fart. Yeah, see, I have a ton of expertise upgrades on a bunch of stuff, but I don't really have the monies at the moment to do it. So we're not going to do more than we at the moment trying to save it for other vehicles as much as possible um so we're just gonna kind of lump it for now with this 
I definitely do barrel do this with another set, but I for the sake of getting some stuff upgraded, it's it's worth it. Then I can officially chip this line off. Oh yeah, crispy ice. I've seen all that. Yeah, the DA. Yeah, 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 I saw that this morning. Yeah, I saw. I saw all that. I'll be interested to see what happens when I get around to playing it. Do, do. All right, let's see what we can do. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the tanks, uh, but I, yeah, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. <laughs> the German side's been pr pretty new, player friendly. I need to think about the others. I've done a little bit of um, American and a little bit of USSR. I don't know what's like chill for a new player. Do you know what I mean? That's that's why I need to figure out. Playing playing the British set was a massive pile of regret. Um, I'm good, Wazzy. I'm good. Yeah, I uh, I got the chair fixed, so we're good on that front. And the boiler is fixed, and um, the the hot water is sort of fixed. They've dialed down the pressure on it. USA is beginning front. Okay, well, it looks like I'm already going down that room anyway. Okay, <laughs> good, good, good. That helps. That helps a lot. That PE2 is going to beat me to that set, isn't he? No! I better line up on another. Yep. Yeah. Ripperoni pepperoni. But yeah, I need, I need to figure it out. Just, I, I lack um, vehicle knowledge with tanks, so this is why it's going to take me a little bit longer. At least with the boats, I've got some background info that I can use to help me. No! Piss off! No! My plane! God dang it. Ah, I'm gonna have to go with another one. I tried to drop a few before it nuked me, but I don't think any of them are gonna go remotely close to a target. Unfortunately. Which is slightly irritating, but oh well. Oh, we're just gonna get stuck in there. Ah, thanks for answering T-Rush. Where are we at with T-Rush? Oh, guys! What the hell? We're nearly at 40 percent well done everybody good job good job good job it's going nicely it's going very nicely and yeah chris i wish you the best with the medication thing see how you go with it i hope it'll be all right oh, is it bad mark when well, you were talking about rubber roast i was getting hungry i want roast dinner now dang it <laughs> ah! I want I want me some roast roast potatoes. Oh, I love I love good roast potatoes. And then roast parsnips and carrots. Oh, so good. So good. You made aviation fair enough, Albert. Any particular nation you like, or are you just a bit of everything, or? I need to get out of here because I'm gonna get smushed. I'm gonna get smushed by an enemy in a minute. Um, I need to run away. The problem, everybody sees me and they're like, "Oh, delicious, a bomber." Try and bounce out of here. I'm hoping the gunner will hit something eventually, but they probably won't. Because most of my gunners have not got very good uh, stats on them. A couple of them are somewhat decent. It's very hit and miss with them trying to actually get anything, though. I don't know what was happening the other day, though. My Swedish stat was just nuking everything with the back gunners on bombers, and I don't know why. I genuinely have no Scooby-Doo's why or how, but they were, which was lovely and all. But uh, yeah, I've not I've not had that luck since, unfortunately. 
Which is, it's ironic as well, because my Japanese ones are far better equipped in terms of skill level. Which is lovely and all that. But, um, yeah, that... Ugh. I don't think we're going to get much in the way of luck here. Right, let's bounce out of that. Those were way too early. Oh, yeah, we love some efficiency for the efficiency god. Efficiency for the win, 100%. <laughs> hey cool how you doing yeah i mean as i say i'm just doing this because i'm like well i need tier threes for my medium task so i might as well do something productive because a lot of my tier three sets are just maxed out so i don't need to upgrade them but at least with the japanese set there's some upgrades i need to acquire we might as well try and go for them at least then i'll tick that off the list because i was doing the german set and the japanese set at the same time and I just ended up not going back to the tail end of the, the Japanese set. So. That's why we're fixing it. We're, we're fixing it up. We'll get there though. Yeah, I'm gonna grind the top tier eventually. There is an enemy here somewhere. Where is it? Mm, hey, Bino, how you doing? You all right? Hi. How you been? Everything all right? Everything all good? But yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna get to top tier anytime soon, Hal. But it'll it'll happen eventually. Figuring out how to use jets properly is going to be uh, an interesting challenge, but we'll figure it. Hey, well done, Gex. Good job. Good job. Well done. Oh, on Steam. Yeah, sorry, that was a little while ago now. Do I have water repair on? Um, yeah, my my stuff water repairs. Yes. Because I, I like to fling my sets in immediately after. I play a lot of the same set over and over. If you want to avoid the um, repair cost thing, um, yeah, you can turn it off and then just wait things out. And play lots of different sets, but I don't like doing that personally. So, yeah, I have auto repair on. It's just a convenience thing, really, more than anything else. But yeah, I like to... When I play a set, I play it non-stop basically over and over it's because i like to i like to fixate on a grind and a specific thing i want to do france yeah france is next on my list france and china i'm uh i'm doing italy at the moment and then obviously i've got this little tail end of japan that i found i need to do but um i uh um eh air france is one you see i have got some ground france vehicles i got things like the amx 50. i have played that that was hilarious i got a god mode on that by the way which was funny um <laughs> i don't know how i managed it honestly i just put twos in with the amx 50 and it worked um but yeah no that was just funny it was just me memeing around having a laugh i d honestly i'm so garbage at tanks i don't know how i did it but it, it happened it genuinely happened it was on stream it was amazing um we were just mucking around <laughs> um i think it was for a challenge or something i needed to play the amx 50 so i just chucked in a few matches and yeah that happened um but yeah sorry i i don't have much in the way of french vehicles i do have some french boats though i think i've got the for going uh, I got a French cruiser so I can't remember let me have a look where is it France what do I have I got there we go I got a gale oh it's Corbett I have sorry Corbett do they not have Bourgoin in this oh maybe not okay I'm getting muddled uh Corbett sorry Corbett's the one I have Corbett and a gale um but yeah, and then, yeah, French tanks. I have AMX 50. I think I've got an AMX 20 somewhere or so. I can't remember what it is. There's another AMX something somewhere that I have. I've done not very much with the French tanks, honestly. 
Oh, yeah, if you want to come play planes, sure. I'm doing, uh, was it five and under? 5.3 and under at the moment. How long am I? Well, I'm going to be on it most of today. We've got Star Wars Battlefront collection today that we're going to be doing. It's currently quarter to two. And then, um, yeah, I'll probably be swapping like four or five o'clock ish. So we got, I got a good couple of hours at least. Um, yeah, the aviation, I don't. I don't, again, I don't really have a huge amount of stuff. I'm working on it. Again, that's another one of my sets I need to do. I'll get there eventually, though. Uh, it's classic collections. It's got Battlefront 1 and 2 in it. It's got both of them in it. Yeah, I, I have two Penguin. I'm gonna give it a chance and see what happens with it. But yeah, no, if you want to come play planes with me, you're more than welcome. Um, I have got another set I need to play that's lower. I will be going back to my Italian set in a bit, but I'm just trying to get tasks done while doing a bit of grind, so. Uh, join you. Sorry, join me for... Oh! Um, oh, what? For Star Wars? Do you, hang on, I'm so confused, Nova. What, what do you... <laughs> Um, you gotta bear in mind, uh, it's the classic collection, not the originals. And I'm on PC, so... Don't know if you can tag in from the originals from the classic collection. I don't think you can. I'd have to check, because I think the servers are separated. I'm gonna do some of the single player, and then I'm gonna try and get into the multiplayer servers afterwards. Is the plan with the uh, Star Wars stuff later. Um, but yeah, no, but do you want in now? Cobra, yeah. Cobra's supposed to be fun. I've heard about it. Yeah, no, that's all good, Bina. That's all good. That's all good. Yeah, I mean, the main thing I heard about on Launch Penguin, they only had three servers per region, which meant, like, 200 player cap, which was hilarious for a game that had 10k current players. Um, so that was an issue. Um, and yeah, I have heard of some netcode issues and a few other things, but we'll see. I Off stream, I did manage to get in, no issue. That was a few days after the launch, though, granted. Um, I have also heard about some accusations of some mod content being stole, stolen and put into that game as well. I Allegedly, I don't know for certain. I need to look into it more. I hope that's not the case. But we'll see. Um, I need to do some more research on that one. Uh, yeah, no, but did you want in now? I'm gonna check Discord. Yeah, hang on a second. It's a bit difficult me because I need more screens. I need more bloody screens. No, I do not have... But No, I do not have Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition. No. No, I have the classic collection, the new one that just came out. No, the one I'm playing today is the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. Classic Collection, the new one that Aspire did. I do not think I have that that one. Let me check. But that's not what I'm covering today anyway. I have Classic Collection, Knights of the Old Republic, and Knights of the Old Republic 2. Those are the Star Wars games I have in my library. But no. No, we won't be able to play then, no. But I do not have the Celebration Edition. I have OBS Studio, yeah. I have a modified version, though. I, I, I've highly customized and modified my version. I do also have XSplit Premium. I have a lifetime license for it. But yeah, at the moment, I'm I'm using OBS um, Studio. As I say, I have a highly modified version, though. Yeah, sorry, Nova. As I say, I, I believe to tag in with me, you'll, if you want to play, you'll, you'll need the classic collection because uh, I think, as I say, things tend to be split off for that kind of thing. But yeah, it's it's the new one by Aspire that I have. Um, I can look into that other one, but I don't know. Is that still on Steam? Let me have a look. Yeah, sorry, I don't have that particular one. Star Wars. Yeah, because there's a few different ones, isn't there? Because they've got but they've got the original Battlefront and Battlefront Two on there. I don't actually see that particular edition on there. Is that directly off of um? 
EA's uh, thing. That might only be available directly on EA because I can see. Hang on, that is a variation. Let me check. Oh no, it is. It is available on Steam. Apparently, it's on promo at the moment. Eighty-eight percent off. Yeah, it's just not showing when you manually look it up. You have to actually go into it and then find it. But yeah, no, that's not the one I have. Sorry, Nova. Sorry. I might pick it up, though, at like 88% off. That's not a bad deal. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. I don't know how many of you guys have that, though. I, the other things I've got to find time in the schedule. Um, I've been given quite a few things, guys. I've got um, I've got some stuff I can't talk about at the moment. So, sorry. Can't say anything on that. Um, but I have got... I've been given a copy of Outcast. So, we'll be playing that. We've got Dragon's Dogma 2 this weekend. Ah, oh, we've got Horizon Forbidden West next week. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I've put Hairdresser Sim in for next month. Because I know you guys want that. I need to release next month's schedule. I haven't I haven't done that yet. So it'll it'll come. It'll come. It's on it's on the to-do list to release it. There was a couple of like question marks. I should be doing South Park Snow Day into this month. I'm going to try and play both cool. So I have the classic collection, which includes Battlefront 1 and 2. It's got both. I want to try and do a little bit of story from both. And then try and play the multiplayer servers on both as well. Just to, to give us a general vibe of it. Uh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see, Cole. Depends on time. Depends on if you're around. And depends because I'm going to be doing the single play to start with. But yeah, once I'm on the multiplayer servers, um, we could we could try and team up. We can see how that works. That'd be helpful. But yeah, you do need the classic collection specifically. But yes, yeah, that is what's in today's schedule. If you want to know schedule information, guys, it's in the Discord. <laughs> hey, well done, Bart. Well done. Sounds like you really know your stuff when it comes to the um when it when it comes to the tanks. There is a voice chat, we have a Discord. Uh, we don't do voice chat on um, stream unless it's absolutely necessary for lobbies. There's also liability issues, unfortunately, for creators around voice chat. We don't do any voice comms on stream for anybody under 18. Just please be aware of that. And um, voice comms may be isolated in a way in which others can't hear them on stream, but I can hear you. As and when appropriate for lobbies. But um, the Discord voice chat for community is open at all times and available to anyone. If you want to get extra ranks in the Discord with extra permissions, if you do exclamation mark shop in chat, you can use your coins, which you get by just watching the stream, to get extra permissions and perks, both in the stream and in the Discord. Any questions about those, feel free to ask. Rank information is, of course, in the Discord as well. Uh, one and a half thousand, Div. One and a half thousand. I got one and a half K hours. Yeah, yeah, it is slowly getting there. I'm not in any mad rush for doing stuff. I'm just chilling. You know how it is with me. I'll get to things when I get to them. But yeah, playing a couple of times a week definitely helps. <laughs> that guy overshot. <laughs> in all fairness, I am like driving at the pace of a slug right now. Oh, I'm... No, I've lost. Oh, I've got a little bit of vertical control. Not much, though. I, I've, I've lost most of the controls. This thing is driving like a complete brick now. Hey, well done, but well done. 
Yeah, it's get, getting so much, it's gotten, it has gotten easier since they did all the rescaling. But um, yeah, having premium definitely makes a huge difference as well. The other thing as well is if anybody is trying to play for free as much as possible, try and get the battle pass vehicles that are free. That will give you some premiums. So you can then use those to grind quicker. So yeah, keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. It can be very helpful. The other thing as well, assault mode can get you boosters to help you progress faster. So that can help. Um, I believe there's some rewards for the bunch of the like AI campaign stuff, isn't there as well? So that, that could be a good way to get some bits and bobs. And then obviously make sure, yeah, any extras on the um, free battle pass as well, like the silver and stuff, grab them when you can. Because that slowly adds up. So. But yeah, help us, as I say, go back to the comms thing. You are more than welcome to use the Discord and hang out with people as you see fit. And yeah, any queries about the ranks or how it works in there, just feel free to ask. It's not a problem. But yeah, people will sometimes be chilling in there. Uh, we do have a looking for group channel as well. So if you're looking for people to play with, you can find people that way potentially. Uh, depends on the time of day though. Sometimes people are asleep and stuff, but people poodle around in there and chill and stuff. So feel free to use it. It's a resource to be used. If you want to invite your friends in, you're more than welcome to do so. All right, come on. I'm going to try and drop some more and get more out of this. I need to focus on the fighters really more than anything else, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. The reason I like doing the bombers, though, is because um, I, I need to get them out of the way. I have a mountain of bombers I need to research and, and progress, and they take me a lot longer on average, so. Nice to get them out of the way. Peg, what that you answer to T-Rush? Appreciate it. We're really close to 40% now, guys. Well done. You guys are smashing that. Hopefully with all the extra Saturdays I've put into the schedule, we'll catch up on uh, the lost time. I'm sorry I took some time off at the beginning of this month to deal with um, family issues, but um, we'll get there. We've got lots of stuff we can get done. We're going to slowly get through things, and I, I'm looking forward to uh, trying out different stuff. Let's say Star Wars Battlefront hopefully be interesting today, and then we've got, let's say, Dragon's Dogma tomorrow. He got a hit on that rip. I was trying to drop it before I went down. Ah, rip. Okay. Right, let's try and get these last couple upgraded. Come on. I need to actually check the tech tree as well. Um, there are people in our spawn. Oh, mm, it's a bomber. You know what? I'm going to go for that. I know it sounds a little crazy. Oh my god, that is a lot of bombers. Whoa! What the hell? How did they... <clears throat> okay. All right. Okay, we're, better... <clears throat> we're going to have to deal with this. Great. Someone let them sneak in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's going to make life interesting. Oh, that one's falling out of the sky. Uh, I need to turn around for this. Come on. I'm going to fall out of the sky as well, which isn't going to help. Come on, turn around. I've got to pick up pace here because I'm going to fall behind. I changed target, changed my mind, which didn't help. Oh, great. It's another bomber. What is it with these? Okay, these guys are um, a little ham on the bombers. Which, fair play to them, because it is working. But, um... Ouch. Okay, right. We got the wing chopped off that one. Right. That P8 looks like it's going to... Uh, okay, that 26 is... um on a vengeance mission right i need to be careful right I, I get points for that so i might as well where is this other guy oh has he gone down okay i think he might have gone down we might be all right okay i need to try and climb for this other one 
I have an oil leak as well, which is not going to help, but it's not the worst thing in the world, and it is arcade, so it's not quite so critical. He must be at like five and a half K at least up. He might be more, but I, mm, I doubt that. Yeah, we're getting absolutely wrecked for points. Holy guacamole. We need to put more pressure on the enemy. Yeah, I you know what? I'm going to bail out this plane. I'm going to go for a different one. This is There's no way I'm chasing that. There is absolutely no way. Welcome to the Discord, by the way, uh, Helbert. I hope you enjoyed it there. Like I say, if you need any help finding anything, just give me a shout. Um, Right, let's, uh, let's take this one. We're going to just go back into the fire. I think they've dealt with the other guy now anyway, so... We need to just try and splat some stuff. Fresh aircraft. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Hang on. Did I miss a message call? Oh, the SL thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I didn't see that bit. <laughs> Actually, no, I did see that bit. I didn't did see your bit respond. Yeah, brain fart anyway. Sorry. I'm, I'm still in brain fart mode. I will wake up eventually. Brain will get in gear. It's all good. No, no, that's all good, cool. It's all good. You do what you need to do, man. I know people get busy. This guy's gonna try and counter me, and of course he outdoes my turn circle. Although, thank you! Thank you, that helps. That helps a lot, thank you. Oh, hang on, there's a BF-1. Oh, there was a BF-110, okay. <laughs> it's a BF-110 no more. I'm all, I'm all ears, mate, it's all good. Um, this is a bomber, not a striker. My god, no, this one... No, this one's a fighter, sorry. Pfft. Sorry, brain fart. No, I've been playing bombers, sorry. No, this one is... This one's just a really heavy-duty fighter, sorry. Having a brain fart. Hang on, are you talking to me? To I'm so confuddled. Hang on. Am I interrupting a combat? Sorry. Sorry, if you guys are talking to each other, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> Yeah, this this thing. If if you are talking to me, this is a fighter. It's just not a turn fighter. Um. Oh, okay, that was way too close. All right, got that. Strike. So the strike category, it normally fulfills a few different jobs, but it normally is aircraft that go after like ground targets or can have bombs on them. Jim, I don't know. What's the best way to describe it, guys? But yeah, they often have bombs and they often go after ground targets. It's it's weird because the thing is the, the the classifications don't always like follow the the proper like way I don't know how how do I best yeah ground attack it's probably the best way yeah it's probably the best way to describe it but yeah I um. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's mostly like targets, basically. I don't know how, I'm sorry, I don't know how else to best phrase it. Right, let me, I'm um, sorry, I'm trying to multitask here. I'm failing as usual. Um. But yeah, they, they fulfill a few little different roles. 
it, it could be a mix of stuff but yeah mo mostly it's going after like specific targets it's probably the best way it can be described i don't know how else to describe it if anybody has a better way of describing it go for it um hey slack how you doing you're right everything all good What's the point of lurking? Well, people just want to hang out and listen. Yeah, careful. Don't don't give age info in Twitch because I may have to ban you off if you're under TOS age. Please don't put me in that position. Um, but yeah, lurking people work, or people are using it like a podcast, or they're reading, or studying or whatever so yeah people will look uh because they want to enjoy the content but they are in the middle of doing other things lurking is also a way to support streamers because you're still taking part in being here so it still counts but yeah of often it's because people have got to work or study and are just busy but they still want to like hang out and engage and, and listen to the content as i say they use it more like a podcast or uh like background white noise basically i do this when i'm editing i will sit and watch channels i don't talk but i will um i will you know i enjoy having it on as like background stuff lurking's just been a thing that's been there throughout the uh the entire lifespan of twitch it's just a natural part of its evolution <laughs> very good flip very good but yeah, exactly. Like having the radio on in the background slack, exactly. That's probably the best comparison, yeah. It's like entertainment, but not like actively engaging in the convo, basically. Uh... Um, they're in the voice chat, there are games. Yeah, we play, uh, we do play games on stream. So we play something called King of the Castle, for example. Um, we've done Project Humanity. We, we do do on stream games uh we played a game recently called let's school that had a uh twitch integration uh against the storm has a twitch integration we played a lot of twitch integration games um i wouldn't be able to do six i have to do family dinners rach earliest i can be around any day really because my mum doesn't eat until half seven seven o'clock half seven at the earliest my dad will eat between six and half six, but normally my, my earliest availability is normally eight o'clock, Rach. King of the Castle? Um, I don't have it in the schedule for this month because slots have all got taken up by other staff. Um, I think we'll be dropping it down to an alternate week thing just due to time constraints because I'm down to four days a week instead of five at the moment. Um... Uh, the, that is actually a good point though about king of the castle i don't think i have it listed for april but i i have some things that need to change that's why it wasn't in there so bear with me on that one but yeah it's probably going to be a once a month or once every other week situation flip it, it will be staying on a friday though where possible because that was always the better day for it if that makes sense um but yeah i need to get back to you on that one flip that's something that needs to be sorted because i was provisionally trying to squeeze everything else in first if that makes sense the other thing as well rach um six on a saturday i know will definitely not work for josh because he has dinner over at his mom and dad's with the kids he normally doesn't get back till like eight nine o'clock at weekends um i do, yeah i don't know what gartic phone is i don't know what what it is i've, I've heard of gartic but i know it's a thing i'd have to look into it and understand it more um but yeah i mean i i 
I, I doubt it's the kind of thing I could do on stream. I don't know how much of a following and interest it has on Twitch. Again, I've got limited slots because of um, all my coverage requirements. I could look into it, though. But we've done games on stream before. We did a lot of... Um, we did a lot of Jackbox, for example. We've done stuff like Among Us as well. Uh, but yeah, we don't. I don't tend to put the voice comms on. Sorry, it's very rare I do voice comms. Again, we mandate 18 plus for all voice comms on content. And um, yeah, if comms are on again, I hide or sometimes restrict it. It really just depends on the situation and what's necessary. It really depends. But we do do party games on stream, Hal. That, that, that is a thing. I am planning to bring back community nights, but that will be strictly off stream. Um, when I'm going to get around to that, I don't know at the moment. Um, personal time constraints are prohibiting that at the moment. But that will be completely, you know, just as we see fit, really. I'm happy to talk about stuff. Uh, I don't know if you want to talk about it. Do I make over a thousand pounds a month? No, I do not make over a thousand pounds a month. No, no, I can categorically deny that. I do not. Um, just the reality of content creation and having a small channel, making a thousand pounds a month is very difficult to do. It can be done. Don't get me wrong. I know people that are doing that, but um, yeah, just not feasible at a channel size my size. Sorry. I've, my channel has been bigger in the past. We've been sat on the 100 to 200 concurrent on a semi-consistent basis a few times. But even at that stage, you wouldn't be earning a thousand a month. It is my job, yes. Yeah, I work 100 hour weeks, roughly, between doing this and caring for family. I, I quit my three jobs that I had. Um, combination of needing the flexibility to do care for family and... Um, my own personal health but yes this is my full-time job it is my main income but uh, but no I, I do not make that kind of money no that's not realistic to expect a, a small creator to, to make hell that um you uh, need to be consistently bringing in far far more than that the other thing as well is creators don't typically live on one platform anymore again because it's just not viable these days um, you will find creators that have got diversified income through multiple means. So people will be doing Twitch, YouTube, they'll do a whole host of things basically. Um, and it's all part of that diversification process because content creation is very hard and you don't know when your traffic's going to get hit. So yeah, so that's just one of those things you'll find. But yeah, Twitch revenue is garbage. It's just always been like that. And unfortunately, it's only gotten worse this year because of changes Twitch has made. Just reality. I'll be honest about it, but that is just the reality. But I'm surviving and getting by, guys. Don't worry. Don't panic. But yeah, I'm happy to talk, Helvet. I won't give you anything too specific, but I hope that gives you a bit more context and, you know, makes it a bit more understandable. Yeah, how you doing, Fox? Sorry, I did see you there. Sorry for getting distracted. You don't want to see in-game chat? Yeah, I have it all turned off. There's no point. People always get salty. How many subs? What do you mean on what subscribers on Twitch? Or are you talking about subs on YouTube? Sorry, confirm what you mean, how that and I'm happy to... Don't say yap because I don't know what you're yapping to because of... Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, currently Dash says 47. The, the typical subscriber rate for a channel is normally 1 to 2x the average CCV of a given channel in a month. That's the typical. There is variation, of course, but that's, that's the typical range. It's all open disclosure now, the rates, Pyro. None of it's contractually hidden anymore like it used to be. There's a thing called the MSA and that's all public domain information. There's no NDAs on that anymore, Pyro. People can find it if they want to. It, that that was a good change. They did that. But, um, but yeah, no, the, the rates are still garbage. And it's only going to get worse, unfortunately, with the changes in um, June that are planned. 
Pulsar. Do do. Hey, well done on the unlock. Well done on the unlock, Foxy. Good job. Well done. Well done. Well done. What are they gonna do? Uh, they are region pricing Prime subs. So instead of the flat two and a half dollars that you all got to your given creator that you supported with your Prime, it's now gonna be region price based on where you live. And uh, some of the regions are literal pennies, so. So um, I, I did a calculation based off my community demographics and a lot of people are gonna find this. People are not talking about it because they improved the um, they improved the Partner Plus program, but in the same announcement, they damaged prime basically but nobody's talking about the damage that's being done to prime um people are too wrapped up in the other bit but um basically unless you've got a homogenized usa only or one of those regions that is, is hasn't been dunked even the top regions have lost 10 percent um but, but yeah the tldr is all the prime stuff's gonna get nuked um uk prime is gonna be like 180 dollar 80 roughly moving forward it's all in a public post i'm not talking about anything that's private or nda or anything this was all publicly announced um but yeah that's just one example um you also got to bear in mind a while back as well they changed it so all partners and affiliates have to cover the transaction fees themselves partners used to get that covered for them that's not the case anymore so if we take that 185 for, for example i get the 185 but then after that then i've got the transaction fees and all the other bullshit on top so by the time you actually get it and then you pay taxes on it and everything else it's way less um yeah there's some regions that are down to like 10p or something ridiculous um they, they've, they've nuked it really hard basically there is a full list you can find it it was blog posted on their official site i worked out for prime subs it's gonna be about a 50 to 60 percent loss on prime sub revenue for me given my demographic split obviously different channels it's gonna be different situations but um but yeah prime subs account for between 30 to 50 percent of my channel subscribers roughly um so i'm i'm gonna be looking at losing about 25 to 30 percent of my income from subs basically come june that's just a reality but i'm prepping for it so don't worry i'll be fine but it's just the reality of what they're doing with the price changes is all i knew they were up to some fishy shit and then when I looked into it more, I realized what they were up to. But basically what they've done is they've given more people access to Partner Plus. But the percentage you're getting, if you get the extra 10%, is not going to offset the damage that, that basically region pricing prime is going to do. So the majority of craze, even if they get the 70% split, are actually going to be worse off. that's the sad thing it's basically a win for twitch they're gonna get more overall but overall the majority like 90 95 percent of creators are gonna be worse off basically even if you qualify for the improved splits the default split is 50 50 it's 55 percent on ads cool but yeah partner plus will give you base level is 60 percent um and then the opt version is uh 70 but you need uh it's a hundred subs that are not gifted and not prime for the basic level and it's gonna it's 350 currently we'll be going down to 300 but as i say no primes and no um no gift included in that i can't remember if they swapped it so that um gifts now included i can't remember i need to double check i think they changed it so gift now counts but i can't remember um i need to double check hey koba how you doing you're right the, the TLDR is, is people are going to be worse off. Cool. That, that, that's the TLDR of it. Twitch will be better off, but the creators won't be. Uh, yeah, kick splits are more generous. Yeah, they, they give creators 90%. That, that is correct. You have to qualify for it, of course, but yes, that is true. How's everything for you, Cove? Everything all good? And yeah, you are correct, Pyro. Yeah, you do have to run a minimum number of ads for that 55% split. That is correct. 
Uh, they've known that for years, Slack. That's nothing new. That's nothing new. And they get they get privileged rates with Amazon as well. That's the hilarious thing. Um, they did away with the extended VOD storage way, way back as well. Um, partners still get extended VOD storage. It's not as much as it used to be, though. But yeah, they've done lots to economize on that kind of stuff. They've done, they've done lots. They've done lots in that regard. As I say, this has been going on for a few years now, guys. They've been like really, really penny pinching and squeezing it now. I 100% want them to make the pro platform profitable. It needs to be. Otherwise it won't survive and Amazon will understandably dump it. But, um, but yeah. Creators just need to be ready for when the uh, summer changes happen because they're going to hit a lot of people and people are not talking about it. They're too wrapped up in Partner Plus being improved, but Partner Plus improvements are done at the um, detriment of everybody getting dunked on the other change. They should have, to be honest, with Prime, in all fairness, it should have been region price from day one because they were always making a loss on that. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's just unfortunate because it's just going to squeeze people even more as all. And with how garbage Twitch was from november last year through to currently like ad revenue spend on the platform is down as well so um what would have been a bumper time for the ad revenue for most creators was actually shit um some channels were seeing like 50 percent reduction in their ads over christmas which is insane because it's normally the opposite but twitch still has a manual onboarding system for all of their ads still they haven't adjusted and um yeah the minimum spend for an ad campaign on twitch is like forty thousand dollars minimum so they're not very friendly for advertisers unfortunately which is it's always been a barrier to entry for brands yeah wait and see slack wait and see they're just burning money off that other company that i'm gonna not mention the name of but that's what they're banking on I can't remember what their market share is. I'd have to double check. But there was data released on that a little while back. <laughs> yeah, I think currently I've got 45 days pyro. I think the default's a week. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'd have to double check. Oh, you went to a theater show? That's nice. I, I, I've been to theater shows. I've not been to one where it's that level of interactive. No. Oh, default story. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember. They changed it ages ago. I couldn't remember what it was. We the we must the hey, Inverted, how you doing? Ah, uh, no, inverted. That's naughty. No, we're not going to advocate for that behavior. That's very naughty. I hope you didn't. That's very, very naughty. You can get banned for that. Do not false report people. Do not do that. Very, very naughty. But yeah, anyway, sorry we're rambling about shit. But anyway, that'll give you some context for some changes that Twitch are doing. Obviously, this is all public info. I'm not telling you anything that's private. This is all stuff they've announced. But yeah, if you have any questions or queries about it, feel free to DM me. I'm happy to talk about things pretty transparently. Uh, but yeah, just be rest assured, I'm already planning for it. It's on my radar. I understand how it's going to have implications on what we do here. And I will have provisions in place for it. Don't worry. So don't panic. I'm not going anywhere. It will have implications, but I'm handling it. All right. So don't don't stress. I'm used to being on a tight squeeze with everything anyway. I know how to handle myself. It's fine. Thankfully, I've got the support of some really nice companies that are, you know, providing me with the games that we play, among other things, and that massively helps. So we don't worry. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. 
All right. <laughs> uh, how's everybody doing anyway? Everybody all good? Is there anything you guys have been watching lately? Is there anything on like stream services that is worth having a mooch? Oh, well, I don't know if you guys saw as well. Did you guys see on Twitter? I think Twitch posted they're getting rid of um, watch pies or something. Not that many people use that anyway, but yeah, that's going as a feature. Moments is gone as well. That feature's been decommissioned. There's a whole bunch of stuff they decommissioned. NCIS. Dude, I need to get massively caught up on NCIS. Shogun? Well, I can guess what the topic of that is. Hang on, what sports car, Slack? Am I... What? Am I... Did I miss something? It's really good? Okay. <laughs> what, what service is that on? Oh, fuck that, Mark. God, no. No, no, no. Fuck no. I do have a Patreon if people want to support me over there. Oh, the title, but yeah, no worries. I thought there was something else. I was like, is someone getting a flashy car? Hello. Oh, it's on Hulu? Oh, okay. That's <laughs> good snack. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Pyro, you jammy wants it. Yeah, I need to I need to get caught up. I'm I'm doing Walking Dead and Game of Thrones at the moment. They're the ones I'm working on. But yeah, no, don't worry, Mark. As I said, I got things prepared. As I say, I have a Patreon. People can go support me there if they want to. Tipping's also a thing that's there if people want to use it. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, NCIS is on Disney+. Plus. Ah. I think I have some of it on DVD. I need to check. The derp token. Oh, God. Could you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Mo at the moment, Mark, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my website redone. I will get all that sorted. And um, I'm trying to sort a couple of things out at the moment. I can't give you any more detail than that. But, um, yeah, I got some stuff in the works that might help. I got some stuff that might be in the works. It'll help me and it'll help you guys, but we'll see how we go. Some collaborations with brands and stuff. So we'll see how all that goes. But yeah, I'm the other thing as well is if you guys watch the content over on YouTube, that's a massive help as well. Trying to get remonetized over there. I will get it eventually. I got some better content on the way as well. Um, at the moment, we've still got the basic FI vids and, and EA vids going up. But um, I, I want to get reviews back up and running and we're going to do those Kickstarter vids and stuff. It's on the way. It just got delayed because of other stuff taking uh, precedence. So yeah, con content on YouTube will get better. I just need more time to work on it. But it's well, it's well on the way. TikTok will be launching soon too. So I'm I'm slowly ticking jobs off the list. We're getting there. We are getting there. I think I got one of those fights finished, which is nice. To be honest, that doesn't surprise me, Mark. That really doesn't surprise me. <laughs> uh, of course somebody would do that, wouldn't they? <laughs> Oh, apparently there's a game on GOG for free. Book of Demons, apparently. I don't know what that's any good or not. Sorry, I just got the alert in Discord. The more you know. The more you know. Oh, yeah, Guru, that's a good thing. Actually, can we talk about the website stuff this weekend? I can try and get my butt on with that. Is all the back end stuff done? I can't remember if you finished that. Look, Pyro, I, sorry, I just, I got the ping. You guys didn't hear it because you, you guys don't hear my system sounds, but. To be honest, I don't know about you guys, that deal bot thing is actually quite useful. The amount of things I've seen on there. It's good because, you know, games are free. You can't really go wrong. I like keeping an eye on that stuff. It's useful. It's very useful. Come on, let's try and get this F6. Ow, giant wombles. Mm, yeah, 
The one thing I am going to look at doing is splitting it out so there's multiple ranks so that you guys can pick what you get alerts for. Because it does do like free weekends, battle passes, and all sorts. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that the weekend, Guru, and we can make some moves on that. We can make some moves on it. If we do that and sort the email issue out, that'd be a good start. I got some tidying up I need to do this weekend. I am streaming Saturday though, just FYI, Guru. So it'll probably end up being Sunday that we have a chat. Well, I'm, there, there's, there's that one issue from before that I know is an issue, but I'm talking about the mailbox size problem issue that it's whining about. That should be a more easy fix, shouldn't it? The other one I know is a massive pain in the ass for you. If I can just get to the bottom of why it keeps whining to me about the size thing, that, that'll help. I put the I put the error on Triton. Uh, I think the screenshot's called like new mail error or something. But that's that's the one. No, pirate, no. Well, it is, but d don't make it weird. For fuck's sake, don't make it weird. Attack the don't, don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. I'm innocent, okay? Yeah, of course you... I know, it's you, Pyro. What do we expect? What the... What, why, what else would it be, you know? <laughs> 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 is it really bad when you say that girl all i've got in my head is my hard discs bring all the boys to the yard damn right my capacity is more than yours <laughs> ah, why 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 i hate the fact that song is ingrained in my head it's annoying it's so annoying because you can pretty much fit anything to that song and it's so irritating Oh, jeez. Yeah. I, look, I can't help it. I, I grew up in the 90s and the early 2000s. Like, what do you expect of me? What, what do you expect of me? <laughs> Some things never change. What can I say? Some things just never change. Can't help it. Things things get weird. Things get weird. Things get weird. Um, too many is going to be the answer to that one. Oh yeah, did you look up the SSD prices, by the way? But for reference, guys, I need a new SSD. There's way too many games that are requiring an SSD now, and it's driving me crazy. So, I need to look at getting a new one. Yeah, how much am I going to cry? How expensive are they at the moment? How much crying do I need to do? I'm going to have to find a weekend where I can swap it all over because I'm going to have to reinstall a shitload of stuff, which is going to be fun. Do I have a box of tissues? Yeah, I'm going to need a mountain. Let me guess. The prices have gone up because everybody's buying them. It's going to be like 300, 400 quid or something insane, isn't it? What size do I currently have? I don't have a big one, do I? I've got like a 500 gig or something, haven't I? I don't know. That's the thing. I asked my dad to look up a bunch of different options, so they're going to be expensive. I'm I'm looking for an SSD. I don't know about size. Price is going to be the big bearing factor on that one. The the problem I've got is a lot of games need SSDs. That's the problem I've got. And oh, I have a two terabyte. I don't know. That's the problem, Guru. I don't know. Are you sure it's a two ter- Oh, hang on. How many games have I got on there? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
properties. Let me have a look at it. The thing is, right, I need... I mean, the games that I've been installing at the moment that are asking for a SSD, they're normally between 40 to 150 gig is the trend I've been seeing. Um... The problem is, the, 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 the SSD I have, I'm down to like 40, 50 gig on it, I think. Spare. <laughs> and I've got, I've got War Thunder on there. Ah, uh, I think I've got Call of Duty on there. And then I think the rest of it is all games I need to ad hoc have installed, basically, for like Let's Plays and things that I'm doing. I put Dragon's Dogma 2 on there because apparently it's it's required for that. No, I don't have a two terabyte, Kev. It says 835 gigabyte used, 96. I've got a one terabyte. It's a one terabyte, mate, not a two. Yeah, I've got 835 gig used on it. I got, I got just shy of 100 gig spare on it. I think you gave me a two terabyte option, but I looked at the price and was crying at the time because i did have starfield installed on there but i uninstalled that to make space i'm really looking forward to it pyro i have seen mixed stuff about it i've installed the character creator as well honestly i'm thinking about slotting in some extra dragon dogma on for monday because i'm i'm gonna end up spending i haven't had a chance to sit make a character yet i really need to sort that out Um, think mine will take that viper. I need to double check. But yeah, I have a one terabyte. Anyway, I need to. What, what are the options at the moment, Guru? I don't think there's any point in me putting another one terabyte in. Let's be real. I also, I don't even know if I've got the slots for that. Because how many hard drives do I have in my machine? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight hard drives in my machine at the moment. <laughs> Two of them are SSDs. One of which is the boot drive. Um, ugh. I'm probably gonna need a two or a four terabyte, aren't I? Let's be honest. I'm gonna need a two or a four, I imagine. I don't know. I need to have a look. I don't know how many more drive slots I've got. <laughs> That's the other problem. Because it'd be nice if I could stick an extra one in, but I've got a CD drive. Which is I've got I've got a Blu-ray reader in one slot. I don't think I I may have one slot. I don't think I I like having a CD drive! I'm old! Alright, look, I'm a kid of the 90s. I also need the Blu-ray reader because I've got these discs with like old shit on it from the stream. I've taken a load of stuff off my servers and put them onto these discs that don't die, basically. I need it for that. I need to be able to read those discs. So yeah, realistically, I do need it because there's a ton of stuff I've been offloading off the servers to make more space. So yeah, really, I do need the disc drive. I mean, I could just have one dry disc drive on another machine. I don't like the idea of that. I like having fail safes. I've got one. Yes, it's like losing a friend. Exactly. Yes, you understand. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Look, I'm a kid of the 90s, all right? I grew up with floppy drives. I've been able to detach myself from floppy drives, okay? But the CD disk drive, I cannot detach myself from, all right? It's like an extra arm, all right? I don't want to lose it, all right? And as I said, it's useful for the data that I've moved off of things to disk, all right? An external one? Um, yeah, I mean, we could do that, but we've only just put that Blu-ray writer in. I don't want to take it out. Although I could put it in the other machine. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing an arm if I don't have that. Fuck's sake. I could do the external route. We could do that. Where the fuck I'd put the bloody thing? I don't know. 
Motherboard. Ugh, I've got a tough gaming. I can't remember what it is. If you exclamation mark specs one, it'll tell you the spec of my machine. I I like disk drive. Look, I'm an old fart. I also have old CD games, guys. You gotta bear in mind, I've got like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, Neighbors from Hell, the CSI games, Zoo Tycoon, Harry Potter, all my old school Total War games. Warhammer Dawn of War, a space station simulator game. The sim I, I got all my old disc copies are out. I want to be able to play them. Now, granted, some of those have got re-releases and are on Steam. Age of Empires is another example. Age of Mythology. I, I like having a disc drive. As I say, it's a massive old fart thing, but I really love it. <laughs> you say that, Viper. My da I haven't got enough space on my desk. I have a fucking huge desk. I, my, my desk is like two meters. I need more space. I need more. I need when I seriously when I sort out the new office, I need to sort the desk situation out. I really need to sort the situation out. I think honestly with the SSD, what I'll have to do is I will, as I said to Guru earlier, I'll take the current SSD, put it in my other machine and then and then just have the bigger one in this machine. and Just use the slot that's currently using that SSD. For the new one i think that's the way i'm gonna have to go because i don't i don't think i've got enough cables and slots for more hard drives i think i'm past that point at this stage that's the problem how old was i in the 90s well literally 1990 i was a fetus <laughs> i was born november 1990 I experienced the full 90s experience, although the first half of it I don't remember terribly well. My partner, however, was born in the 80s, so he remembers all of it. Splitters. Yeah, I think we've already done that. I'm pretty sure we've already done that, Pyro. As I say, I've got eight hard drives in this thing already. I got a big case, all right? I have a big case. I got like a hat. I've got a thermal take. Gert big box thing there was an expansion box for this i don't think they make it anymore though sadly no i am a 90s kid philip no you doubt i am a 90s kid i remember 1995 i remember windows i was a kid no i am a kid of the night i was in single digits but i i remember it i remember playing old tomb raider and all that shit I remember pre 3D. I remember pseudo 2.5D. I am a kid of the 90s. I just don't remember the first few years of it, all right? <laughs> Mid 90s. Fine, I will accept that, but I am a 90s kid at heart, all right? Don't take that away from me. I am a 90s kid. I have very fond memory of the early and late, uh, bleh, mid and late 90s. I know I wasn't t ten and so, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I look. I played a lot of games from the mid to late nineties that I'm very fond of, and I love them very, very much. <laughs> That's it. Thermal Take W100. Yeah, that thing's a beast. I love it. It's amazing. I'm not getting rid of that case. Seriously, I love it way too much. That'll be a relic in my room forever. You know what I'll do? When I do swap case eventually, which I cannot see happening, I'm going to just use that as, like, glorified furniture. I'll turn it into, like, a shelving unit or something. It'll be amazing. <laughs> I don't want rid of that case. I love it so much. It's so well done. I can't see me using any other case at the moment. I really can't because it's so good. I've had it for ages and I love it. I'm obsessed. They did an amazing job with that one. I just wish I had the expansion box, but like at the time I didn't need it. So yeah. I might be able to get it second hand though. I might be able to get the expansion box second hand. Not that I really need it. That's the thing. I, I, the amount of space in that thing is ridiculous anyway. It's basically a coffee table, the size of the thing freaking huge i love it though i love it i i think it's like i got like two dirty is it two or three? i can't remember how many fans i got in the front of it they're freaking huge i tell you that much 
I got loads. It's great. It's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the games in the... No, come on! The games in the 90s are awesome. There was some really good stuff. Don't get me wrong. There was some janky, weird shit. Don't get me wrong. All right. There was some really weird shit in the 90s in video games, but I, I loved it. Look, it's what I grew up on. It's what I remember most fondly. All right. The early days of 3D were bloody awful, though. Tank controls as well were a nightmare. I hated that hangover. I'm so glad Bond came along and changed that. Because me and tank controls was a pissing disaster. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Four. Yeah, that's the front. I can't remember what's in the top. Isn't it like two or three, two forty mils? I can't remember what it was. Doom. Yeah, I was too much of a wuss with Doom. Because I remember like Tomb Raider and and like the old like Bond games, and then also as well, I had a Sega Mega Drive in the nineties. Now, granted, it was a hand-me-down from a neighbor, but like Golden Axe, Road Rash, Sonic. They were baller. Streets of Rage 1 and 2. Bloody awesome. Like, and then, and then you had all like the original gem Pokemon stuff that came in in the late 90s. And then um, like Croc. And it was like all the old RTS games on PC. Like, come on. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, yeah, I had, I had wrestling. Yeah, I had wrestling. Wrestling was amazing. I was terrible. I always played Hulk Hogan. Or was I like to call, call, I called him the Banana Man. I liked him for that. <laughs> Sorry, it was really weird. I was a kid. I played Hulk Hogan. I just called him the Banana Man because of his mustache. All right. I thought it was hilarious as a kid. <laughs> I'm the Banana Wrestler. Woo! Um, and yeah, that was just my thing. Anyway, I was a weird child. You may have guessed. Um, right. Let's do stream rings quickly. Yeah, Halo was early two thousands. Yeah. It's like a lot of the Harry Potter games and stuff were early 2000s. Um, I think it's... I remember, like, Croc. I can't remember if Croc... I think Croc was very late 90s. I need to double-check the release date of that. But there was a load of, like, platformers I had, and then, like, the pseudo 2.5D 3D shit. Like, early on. I had a math game about killing aliens with math. Because that was a thing. And then obviously it was like, well, you know, like Roller Coaster Tycoon, Zoo Tycoon, like all that stuff. That was really good. Uh, trying to think what else. Obviously, Sims was fun. I had a game about being a vet as well. That was really weird. I had a load of like the old Disney games. I had like Tarzan and Hercules and all that stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Anyway, there was a load of weird stuff I had. And then I'll be playing all the old flight sims and stuff. I had a helicopter game on the Sega Mega Drive. I can't remember what it was called, but I had that. That was funny. I think I had a Knight Rider game on PC as well. I don't remember what one it was exactly, but I had a Knight Rider game. That was interesting. And then I had like, does anyone remember Earthworm Jim as a kid? That's when Jim was fun. No worries, no, but that's fine. Yeah, if I pick it up, no, I'll let you know. But yeah, at the moment, I've only got the classic collection. But yeah, I'll give you a shout if I pick the other one up. It's on offer at the moment, so I might be able to grab it. We'll see. Thanks for playing, though. I do appreciate it. Have a good one, all right? You stay safe. Wor yeah, no, Worms is a classic. Yeah. Yeah, Worms is great. I have to say, like, I, I, I did it. I was garbage at those games as a kid. I was absolutely fucking garbage. I'll tell you what, though. The guys at Team 17 are amazing. I really love them. I, I, I talked to them, and, and they've been so helpful. <laughs> they've genuinely been so nice. They've sent me a few things in the recent past. They've been great. Team 17's been lovely. I know, there's so many good franchises. Yeah. Yeah, so many things. Mortal Kombat was garbage. I did have it. Starcraft, yeah, I played Starcraft 2. Crash Bandicoot, I, I played with her friends. I missed out on Spyro, sadly. All right, I'm gonna just 
be part of the lobby because Nova's not playing, so. <laughs> yeah, Pyro's just poking. Tomb Ra yeah, the Tomb Raider re-release is really good. I can highly recommend the Tomb Raider re-release. But yeah, Tomb Raider's great. If, like me, though, you struggle with the um, the tank controls, which is something I was absolutely plagued with as a kid, the, the rehash one, um, it does do modern controls as an option, which is incredibly helpful like an idiot for idiots like me. But yeah, no, Tomb Raider is amazing. Tomb Raider is great. But yeah, I need to, I need to look into like Spyro and Crash and stuff like that. Because like I say, Spyro missed out entirely. Crash, I played around with friends. That's it. So I missed out on a lot of that, sadly. <laughs> but um, yeah, I need to, I need to go through and find like classic games and see what I missed. A four terabyte SSD is two hundred quid. Oh, okay. I'll have to have a think about it. What's the... I hate to ask, what's the 2 terabyte? And what's an 8 terabyte just for a laugh? There's no way I can afford that, but just for a joke. Yeah, the problem is you've got to think pirate... Th I'm sure that's fine under normal circumstances. The issue is, right now, based on the last couple of months on Twitch, that's more than I make an entire month on Twitch. Just to put it in perspective. <laughs> I bear your mind about half my income on Twitch goes to stream expenses. So, uh, just just to put some context in why I go at it. it that's it. Most people, I'm sure that's perfectly reasonable, but I'm just thinking about... Oh, yes! Yes, I've been mega shafted recently, Pyro. Yeah. Mm -hmm, it's only going to get worse come June, unfortunately. But, um... Yeah, it, it's a combination of factors, Pyro. The, the, the site's been garbage for a while now. But yeah, since November, it's just gotten a lot worse. It's just gotten a lot, lot worse. <laughs> um, But yeah, I like compare, compare like the November, December just gone with the one the year before. My income about half. Let's put it that way. And I can't really compare the year before because I was on about 150 to 200 traffic at that point in time. So that would be a slightly unfair comparison. But if we added in the improved ad rates and a few other things, I would have been significantly better off. Had I had them at that time. But I missed out on that. Shit happens. It is what it is. Just unfortunate timing. But, um... Yeah, it's it's a bit of a mess. Let's put it that way. It's just Twitch being Twitch for you. Why did I drop bombs? That, that was stupid. Anyway, as I say, don't worry about it, Pyro. I got everything in hand, all right? I'm taking care of things. I just have to budget and plan ahead is all. I just have to be careful. Two terabytes, 80. See, that's quite good. The downside is the fucking slot. That's the problem I've got. I need to have a look right now. Well, not right this minute, but this weekend, I definitely need to have a look at the slot situation. I need to figure it out. Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty nutty figures, isn't it, Crispy? Yeah. That sounds dirty. No, I'm innocent. <laughs> I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. We can add the until proven guilty bit in. Fine, but I am innocent. Right, is this now broken or no? That's still broken. Why is that still broken? Hmm. Oh, now it's working fine. Okay. Okay, sorry. There was an overlay layer earlier that broke, and now it's working. I fixed it. Yeah, I like those. I'll have to have a look later. I'll have to have a look later at the computer slot thing. We'll see. We will have to see what I can manage. But yeah, a lot of it's going to be slot dependent. 
I turned it off and on, but I also did a cache refresh on it, Pyro. I did, I did a little bit more than just turning it off and on again. It, it's a layer for an advertising agency I work with. It broke earlier. They had a gateway error. Cache. Cache refresh. So basically, I, I, I forced the source to completely reload. Because some of the stuff's cached between um, scenes. It's fine. It's just, it's just it's just to force reload the source. Because some stuff I've got to refresh between um, scenes, but some stuff I have it on a... It's always cached to stop it from reloading every time it's... Uh, so that, you know, if something displays on stream and it comes up in the middle of me swapping scenes, it still continues naturally and smoothly without a full refresh initiating and then it's swapping in. It's useful for certain things. Um, right, let me... What are we going to do? Let's go with that. We need to keep moving with this. Oh, shut up, Crispy! No, don't... Fuck off. Stuff you! Shush! No, it's cash! Come on! Don't give me that shit, mate! Don't give me that shit. I'm innocent. Sweet and innocent. Did I? No! I didn't say cache first, did I? No, fuck off. Or well, if I did, I didn't mean to say it that way. I call it cash. That's how I... I'm sorry if I... To, uh, look, if I... Shut up, guys, shut up. I'm tired, all right? It's streamer morning. Fuck off. It's only three in the afternoon. <laughs> fuck off fuck off <laughs> oh my god nearly went up someone's ass nearly went up his ass uh, anyway look shut up you know what I'm talking about just shush I'm innocent. Just shushy little tush, all right? <laughs> Everything's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's all anyway, right. I need to have a think about the SSD thing. Wow, Cad. Wow. I'm drinking Pepsi, not alcohol. Come on. I really need to drink some water, though. I've, I've been slacking the last couple of days on the water intake. I have a bottle of it in front of me and I haven't touched it this morning yet. I really need to fix that. <laughs> I've been too distracted playing, I'm sorry. I've been far too distracted playing. Oh, doing that thing again like I normally do. I'm I'm fine. I just look. I just put queen potato mode. Thank you for the hydrate can. I'm actually gonna get the water. Let me have it. Let me look. I've got the bottle of water out. All right, let's actually drink this thing. I've got like two liters of it in front of me, and I've not touched it today yet. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Guru. I just have to be careful because I don't want to tip this thing over because this thing is heavy. It could destroy some stuff. Mm. Come on! Do, 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 do. Oh, Fogger! It was amazing! God, it was awesome! We met a sausage dog called Chorizo! <laughs> We destroyed an anti-air uh, base. We made some friends with some locals. Uh, we rescued a relative who was a scientist who was tampering with the um, specialty baking products. 
And um, I burnt a load of the specialty baking products to the ground because we could. <laughs> um, and then we found some keys and we did some like side objectives and we went looking for a cave. We found a secret cache with dead bodies in it. <laughs> so that was fun. Oh, and I got killed by a shark as well. That was that was interesting. Yeah, I got myself stuck. I yeeted myself off a cliff and then I found out the hard way there were sharks in the water. IRL streams? I'd love to. I don't have the equipment to do it, sadly, at the moment. Eventually, I'd love to. There's a really nice backpack of IRL gear, but it costs about, like, five grand. So, yeah, some IRL streams eventually, but uh, not doable at the moment. Don't have the kit for it. I, yeah, some some streams from a kitchen, that might be doable. Fixed location streaming from inside the house, that that may be doable at some point. But yeah, actual like I went about stuff, yeah, that's 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 a far, far dream that. But yeah, from the kitchen, that might be doable. I'm I've done unboxings on stream before from my office, so that's workable. Um, I don't own a GoPro you got to bear in mind you also need uh, an internet package for on the go. I do have a phone, but it's uh, not very good. It's an A7. It's a Samsung. It's fine for taking basic photos and stuff, but the battery on it's not great. And I don't have a data plan that will be adequate. I, as for whether it could even run OBS, I've got no clue. I don't know if it's got the apps on it for that. Because it's a bit of an older model. It's, um, as I say, it's a 2017 model foam. So, I don't even know if that'd be doable. I didn't buy a phone with the intention to use it for streaming. I just bought it with the intention of some basic ad about photography. On the, on the go, streaming phones are quite expensive. But yeah, it's it's not just a case of having the phone call. You also need, as I say, the data plan and everything else that comes with it to make it work. I'd say can be done. I just don't have the equipment or the uh, the money to cover that. I'd say eventually in the future, if 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 situation permits, but not not doable at the moment. Do, do. Kitchen, yeah, kitchen streams would be doable. Kitchen stream I could potentially do. The The only issue with that is I don't have a laptop. I, I only have desktop computers. I would need a laptop and then I could take the camera from my desk and I could use that. And I could do that, but I, again, I need the laptop to do that. At the current moment in time, I live, um, I live with my parents. So it would be a little unfair to monopolize the entirety of the downstairs from them. Uh, when I move in with Josh, I may potentially be able to lock off the, um, kitchen for me to use when the kids are not around. But again, I need a laptop. I need a, I need a device in the room to be able to do it. I'm not hauling my computers up and down the stairs. I'm replugging them in. That wouldn't be doable. When do I move in with him? No idea. He's been moved into that property for like two, three years now. Um, I'm currently caring for family, and I'm not moved in yet. I need to get the I need to get the flooring done. I need to do the walls of the office. I need to sort out the furniture and I also need to wire the internet into that room. So there are some logistical hurdles that need to be overcome. Um, and then there's also the fact I have care obligations here at the moment. So I don't know how it's going to work out. I really don't know. I, it will happen eventually. I just don't know when.
I don't know how I'm going to balance all of it at the moment. It's just one of those things I'm going to have to figure out. It's It takes about 45 minutes to an hour for me to get between where he lives and where I currently live. And my parents need meals made and housework done every day. So it, it's a bit complicated at the moment. It's a work in progress, so cool. It's a work in progress. As soon as I have news on it, I will let you guys know. I am just slowly moving stuff into his place at the moment. But yeah, the office, the office needs overhauling. I'm going to try and work on it slowly, but it's just going to take time. Oh, 100% crispy, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, deposit for a house now, you're going to need at least 20, 30k down, plus a stable income in a area, like a, a work genre that isn't susceptible to recession issues. My brother's trying to get one, he can't get one. It's impossible. There was a bank that said they'd loan him it, and then, and then they wouldn't, they changed their minds. But given my brother works in retail and his partner works in leisure and industry, um, I, I can see why they wouldn't. Especially what would happen, what happened with COVID. It just makes it impossible. Um, right, let's have a thing. Let's go with that one. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, eventually, I want to do some cooking streams called cool, definitely. I was also thinking about fitness streams as well. I was thinking about doing like workouts with you guys live. But again, I just need circumstances to permit. If I can get a small exercise device, so I might be able to just put it in the new office. But we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with for that one. No, when it comes to the food stuff, I want to get one of those like video game food cookbooks. And I want to just go through them. Yeah, yeah, pyro, yeah. Yeah. Got a link, hang on. Oh, that, yes, I'd seen that, Can. I haven't acted on getting it yet. I was going to see and try if I I'd get a press copy of that, but yes. Oh, sausage rolls. Yeah, that'll be fun. I've got a friend of mine who's a professional chef. I might see if he can give me advice on, on cooking streams because he he literally does that. He's amazing. Um, I love his stuff. He's great. He, he's got a recipe website. I might see if I can cook some of his recipes and try not to cock them up. That might be a good, uh, good idea. He'll probably cry when I try and do it, because he actually knows what he's doing. I, on the other hand, do not. The other thing Josh and I thought about doing was, like, get a recipe for something, but change it to a different language. And then give ourselves, like, three lives. So we can, like, call a friend, ask for help from the audience, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. Other than that, down to guessing, basically, how to do the recipe. All I get is the title. I get the recipe name. That's it. Everything else in a different language. <laughs> and then I just have to try and cook it and work it out. That was that was a that was an idea we came up with. We thought that could be fun. So yeah, I don't know. Um it basically ended up being our own version and nailed it pretty much. <laughs> that could be funny though. I uh, do sinister. I love that username by the way, that's cute. Oh, Pyro, you're so lucky. It sounds so good. It sounds so good. And yeah, Pyro, go back to what you were saying. Yeah, 100% get what you mean with the whole mortgage thing. It's it's an absolute nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare. Thankfully, I'm not in that situation personally. But um, yeah, I, I'm owned only by virtue of the fact that I live at home with parents. And when I move in with Josh, he's basically got the new place. So it's not an issue for him. Oh my god, yes, Guru, that would be amazing. Yes, I'd love that. I 
would love that. That would be amazing. That would be cool. Do we need a hot top for that though? Oh, that's all good, Sinister. How's things been for you? Look, Kev's yup. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Buttery croissant. Yeah, buttery croissants are always so much better. Definitely. Yeah, you don't want it all like flaky and dry and horrible. Yeah, that's not good. You don't you don't you don't want your croissant to be so dry it's like sucking on the mummy, alright? <laughs> that's that's not a good croissant, alright? That is a bad croissant. <laughs> Yeah, you don't you don't want to feel like you sucked on the mummy, all right, from the film. That's getting a little bit too close and personal with him for a start. Secondly, that wouldn't be very tasty. That's a great way to dry your mouth out and make it go horrible. Um, the mummy! Come on! The mummy, the mummy returns, the one with the scorpion man. Yeah, the fucking recent remake thing was so bullshit. I watched that and I was so bored out of my fucking eyeballs. That was a little while ago now. Yeah, fuck that. That thing was utter garbage. The other ones were amazing. I loved the other ones. They were fucking cheesy, but I loved them. Yeah, I had the misfortune to buy that, that remake one on DVD. I felt ripped off by the end of it. It was so bad. Yeah, they remade the Mummy film, and it was... Fucking awful. Brendan Fraser's amazing. Yeah, they read the new one was remade with um Tom Cruise, I think it was, wasn't it? Mission Impossible guy, I'm pretty sure it was that was in it. I can't remember, I'd have to double check. But yeah, it was fucking garbage. This time the enemy has yeah, probably Viper. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible's great. Alright, but that mummy remake was awful absolutely awful it's not even like funny bad it's just infuriating bad it's 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 like is it, it's not even like something you can watch ironically just to meme out with your friends and popcorn i like see russell crowe was amazing in gladiator but yeah i, I honestly i feel like with the mummy remake it was just like let's cash in on the ip um, maybe they were losing the IP and they were like, fuck it, we need to just chuck something out. Because this happens a lot with games. You'll you'll get a game randomly come out for an IP. It's like, just so they don't lose the IP rights. It's a thing. Um, but, um, I don't know if they were doing something like that or some weird tax write-off situation. I have no clue, but it was garbage. It was so fucking garbage. I don't think they were given good material to work with. So I don't think it's completely the actor's fault. It was still shite, though. You could you could see though, Tom Cruise. Was, he was just there for the money. Like he wasn't even trying. To be fair, though, he had really shit all to work with. So <laughs> I don't blame him, to be honest, to some extent, because um, it was it was shite. It was so shite. But um, yeah, no, no, not even worth it for an ironic watch. It's. Like, I like to watch things because, like, they're, they're, like, so bad, they're good in a weird way. But, like, nah, that Mummy remake? No, you can't do that. It's just, I was non-stop just sat there criticizing it. I was bored to tears, and it was just, it was just a non-stop nitpick session. It was a snooze fest. It was awful. I hated it. It's that level of bad. If you want to have a rant, basically, and just get yourself really wound up at a film, perfect for that. But like, otherwise, avoid it like the fucking plague. Just watch a video on the Cliff Note highlights of how shitty bullshit and insane it is. I I honestly came out of watching that thing with such a high blood pressure. I kind of wish I hadn't watched the whole thing, to be honest. It was, it was, it was, it, it, it was time I will never get back in my life and I'm kind of disappointed at it. That's how much I hated it. Yeah, he's great in other movies. Yeah, absolutely. I need to watch Top Gun. I haven't seen the new one. Yeah, exactly, Lord. You know exactly what I'm on about. 
link to a cookbook? Oh, dude, thank you. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, I see, I see, I see. Thank you, Cam. Yes, appreciate that. But no, seriously, that that ugh, that movie was got. I just don't. It's not. If you want to watch like stuff because it's like ironically bad, it's good. Like Red Letter Media has tons of that stuff on their channel. Go watch them. They're amazing. There's tons of stuff like that. I think that honestly should have been the project name. Viper is just why. <laughs> Project, why the fuck are we doing this? <laughs> Honestly, I swear, they must have a dartboard of, like, old IP sometimes, and they're like, let's resurrect this one for no apparent reason. Because, seriously, some sometimes some of these things that come out, and I, yeah, I do sit there, and I'm like, what the fuck, why? I swear they, they get a little hat, and they have, like, random shit in the hat, and they're like, right, we have to put a reference to this in the movie somewhere. Or we have to include this, or... Do, do you know what I mean? Oh, God! Yeah, that film... Ugh. I wanted to like the SS... Oh, God, that's not good. The, um... The Eating Yourself Squad. I'm gonna call... Sorry, I've gotta be careful because of YouTube. Yeah, my... Me trying to abbreviate it didn't make it sound any better, did it? No. Not that kind of movie. I'm not watching a Hitler documentary. No, the, um, the Marvel, we are a squad of idiots. <laughs> How do you phrase that without it sounding stupid? Seriously, right. Crocodile dude, the man with glasses, pyromaniac nut job. I've got daddy issues, lady, and the, the rest of the assorted crew. The Sacrifice Team. Yes, let's go with that. Yes, the Sacrifice Team. Sacrifice Squad, we'll call them. <laughs> Thank you, Crispy. You've got me out of a hole there. Yeah, Sacrifice Squad movie. Oh, is it DC? Oh, sh oh yeah, because of course it's Batman, isn't it? Fuck, sorry. I forgot. I'm an idiot. Sorry, I've got Captain fucking Marvel in my head at the moment. God dang it. Yeah, the first one sucked. I haven't seen the second one. Wasn't it like Birds of a Feather or some shit? I can't remember. Birds of, Birds of Prey, that's the one. I haven't seen the second. The, fir the first one was garbage, though. Yeah, I agree. There was a couple of moments that were good with Harley Quinn and that. But yeah, most of it was utter garbage. Yes, no, you were... Sorry, I don't know why I got it in my head. I think it's because I was thinking about... Oh, Birds of Prey something different? Hang on, so what's just the second one that I missed then? La -la -la -la. Oh, okay. Well, I need to. I need to find the extra of the um, sacrifice squad thing then. Okay, I'm. I'm so out of the fucking loop. Anyway, yeah. Sorry, I got DC and Marvel muddled up. I know people are gonna get mad at me for that. <laughs> sorry, I know Batman is DC. I am aware. Just sorry. Didn't think Batman because it's fucking Harley Quinn and Joker and all that shit. So I should have figured. Sorry, it's me having a brain fart. But yeah, anyway, like... Anyway, yeah, the, the first one sucked. The first one sucked. There's no two ways about it. And so there was a couple of good moments, but it just wasn't held together. It was held, held together with, like, um, sellotape, basically. How true it is to, like, the, the comics and stuff, I've got no clue. I have absolutely no Scooby-Doo's on that whatsoever. I don't read them. I have no idea. I have absolutely no bloody clue whatsoever. Yeah, I know. I'm a mess. Go figure. Yeah, I need to have a think about that SSD thing. Uh, I'm going to look at my PC tonight and see what slots there are in it. I've not seen those crispy. I think the, thing, the way I look at it, and correct me if I'm wrong, it feels like DC like to go gritty and serious. Marvel are just like, let's go fucking wacky. Why not? Is, is always the vibe I got as a kid. I don't mind it. I don't mind a gritty tale. I also don't mind something going wackadoodle. I, I'm cool with either, but... 
I don't know, DC always came across as we're like taking ourselves way too fucking seriously. <laughs> and is that just me? Or is it just what I was exposed to in the early 90s and 2000s that, that, that has made me feel that way? I really don't know. Because like when I was a kid, it was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Spider-Man. Ah, uh, I did see some Batman stuff. I'm trying to think what else I watched as a kid. I'm trying to think, I just can't remember. Um, I'm terrible. Oh, X-Men, loved X-Men. X-Men was great. Um, try, I obviously can't remember what else. I'm having a complete blank at the moment. Uh, I never was into like Superman. I really didn't get the Superman vibes. I really never cared for that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, my bro played the Batman games. I watched him play. I didn't play them personally, but I did watch my little. No, not look. I was not a My Little Pony kid. All right, that was not my thing. I like ponies, but I was too grown up for My Little Pony. I found My Little Pony too childish. I had grown up horsey magazines. That sounds really wrong out of context. <laughs> Please don't take that the wrong way. Look, I like to read horse and hound and stuff like that, all right? That's what I mean by that. <laughs> I, I liked the grown-up, like, horsey magazines and shows and stuff, all right? Cartoon ponies with little fart prints on their ass was not my thing. I did watch Postman Pat as a kid, yes. I watched Postman Pat, Rosie and Jim, Thomas and Tank Engine, The Queen's Head, Tracy Beaker, Animorphs. Uh, there was all sorts of weird stuff I watched. Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh god, there's Bill and Ted the Flower Pot Men. Bananas and pajamas. <laughs> ah. We didn't get Gundam here. I got lucky that I got Digimon Pokemon in you. Oh, I got Sakura Card Captor. We got that for a while. We got Sakura Card Captor for a while. That was amazing. That was bowling. I never got to watch the end of it though! They already had it on for like six months and then stopped doing it. I was like, ah! I was so annoyed at that. I need to get that eventually. I want to watch all of Sakura. I loved it. Mystic Knights? Nope, we never had that. Never had that. Uh -uh. I'm trying to think what else we had. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was hilarious. I love that. Uh, we had Spider-Man. Um, X-Men was great. I loved X-Men. X-Men was always a favorite of mine. Um, I don't remember. We didn't... Oh, look, I, you got to remember when I grew up, I had like four channels. That was it. When I got five, it was like a magic miracle. I did eventually end up with Freeview. But that was very hit and miss, and a bunch of the channels were way too kiddie for me at that point. So, <laughs> my parents are aliens! I remember watching that as a kid. Oh, and I watched Sabrina the Teenage Witch. That was fun. I used to love that. Um, mm, I didn't watch Buffy. I was too young for that when they came out. Um... Hitman games? Yeah, I've played pretty much every Hitman game call. Cool. I've played pretty much every single Hitman game. I love it. I'm obsessed with Hitman. Hitman's amazing. It's the same people that are behind Hitman that are doing the new James Bond game, I believe. Which I can't wait for. I'm so hyped for that. I want more Hitman and I want James Bond so bad. Like, I owe a great. Mm. I can't wait to see what they do with it all. It'll be good. It'll be good, I'm sure. I can't wait. Sorry, I, was, I try not to get overhyped for games because I really don't want to be disappointed. Absolution and the Sexy Nuns. Yes, I remember that. I cringed at that really badly. Um, uh, Honestly, of all the Hitman games, Absolution was probably one of my least favorite. 
It was absolution was far too action oriented for my liking, and it was also far too linear. I far prefer the recent trilogy. They're much much better in the way they operate. One of the old James Bonds games. Um. All right. Yeah. I mean, there's quite a lot of old James Bonds. One thing I do want to play on stream at some point is Nightfire. I still have my disc of Nightfire, so we can play that on stream. I also played Everything or Nothing as a kid, but I've only got that on console. There might be a PC disc for it somewhere. I don't know. I need to look. My bro might have picked it up at some point. This, yeah, the story's all right. I, I, it was the journey through it I really didn't like. That was the problem. I didn't I'd like the, the, the pacing and the vibe was just off to me. That's that's what threw me. It felt less like a Hitman game and more like generic FPS. And that's, yeah, I wasn't as keen on it because of that. The thing is, though, like, if you take some of the slightly older Hitman games, I was I was all over those. Um, trying to think of the one that really sticks in my head. It's the one that starts you on a pier. Hang on, Hitman old... I still have the disc somewhere. What's the one I'm thinking of? Is it Blood Money? I think it's Blood Money I'm thinking of. Yeah, I think it's Blood Money. Blood Money was really good. I love Blood Money. I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm thinking of. I think that's the one that starts you in a pier. But yeah, I prefer that. I'm pretty sure that is the one I'm thinking of. Oh, tr no, seriously, if you get a chance, cool, play it, definitely. Definitely, the vibes in that game were so good. The plays, the play style as well was great. Dragon Ball Sparky. I, the thing is, I've never really got into Dragon Ball Z. I really want to, like, look into it more, but I've never really had the chance. Hitman, definitely. Hitman's amazing. Hitman's great, Chris. We... Third person war game. Oh, Conflict Desert Stop, dude. That goes way back. Yeah. Yeah, them's good. Them's very good. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff. See, I've got a lot of this. I'm sure it's like a Pacific Storm game I have somewhere as well. I need to I need to revisit that. I have a look on Steam, because there's a load of stuff that's um been re-released. I need to see what I get my hands on. I know all the old Final Fantasy games are on Steam. I know you can get those. I've already got Final Fantasy 10, 10, 2, and 13 on Steam. Oh, it's on Crunchyroll? Yeah, Josh has got a Crunchyroll account. Yeah, dude, it's an old game call. It's a very old game, but it's very good. If you get the chance, though, seriously play it. Like, if you're a big Hitman fan, you'll love it. Obviously, it, styling and control-wise, it's obviously of its era, but... It was good. It was very, very good at the time. I, it was one of those, like, early gaming experiences that really stuck with me as a kid. Obviously, by kid, I think it was released 2006, so I, I would have been about 15, 16 at the time. So it wasn't, like, a super early gaming experience for me, but it was, um... It was certainly formative in terms of the impression it made on me. money honestly i think it just hit all the wombo combos to be honest for me the story was really solid i think like if you compare blood money to absolution like it's the gameplay that's the bit i massively prefer more in blood money like i like the level formats better that's that's where i filmed for me absolution falls down even though it's the more modern game um I, I, the overall structure as well, I just feel is better too. Again, this is this really going to be a personal preference issue though, Call, cool. There is no right or wrong answer in that regard per se. But it's just, yeah, for me personally, Blood Money was just better structured and the pacing was better. And, and the gameplay just vibed with me more. 
it, it absolution to me just came across more as a generic fps basically in the way in the way it went about itself if that makes sense it felt less hitman-esque and more early 2000s well i say early 2000s what what year was it released were we in double digits for that point i can't remember hang on absolution what year was that hitman absolutely i want to say it might have suffered a little bit of gears of war itis I want to say it was 2014, but I could be wrong. No, it was 2012. Sorry, it was a little bit earlier than I thought it was. Hmm. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it just... It, it, it felt... <laughs> I was like, Absolution felt way more action-orientated and less kind of stealthy, sneaky, I'm an assassin, tee-hee-hee. Whereas, um... Blood Money captured that vibe far better. I mean, don't get me wrong. You could be that butthole that just charges in and just <laughs> splats everything if you wanted. But, um, yeah, I think the stealth and the sneaking and the reward for being clever with your kills was far, far better in Blood Money. Far, far better. I also really liked after you finished, you got, like, newspaper articles, and they would customize based on the way, of, like, how you offed the person. <laughs> and I always found that horrifically amusing. The new Hitman games, I love them. The, the 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 recent trilogy i'm obsessed i've got so many hours in them i lost a lot of my progress though between transferring between them but um but yeah no they're great they're great genuinely the the the, the new trilogy is amazing it's a great experience there's lots of really good content in those it it does follow a really good format i have thoroughly enjoyed those um there has been some situations where they've released new levels and it's been buggy and there's been issues but the overall state of the game is very, very good. I feel it's expanded on all the good points and all the core critical elements of, of Hitman. Really, really well. So, no, if you want a Hitman experience, it's definitely a good place to j jump in as those. I believe they do go on sale from time to time. So if you are looking to pick them up on the like budget, def definitely get them when you get a chance. But, um, but, yeah, no, they're very, very solid. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and the, the story is decent as well. I'm not, like, massively focused on the story in those ones. The story is still decent, though. But, um, yeah, no, it's the gameplay, man. It's the vibes. It's the choice. The exploration. There's lots of different ways to go back. I mean, obviously, there's, like, ways to cheese levels if you want to go down that route. But you don't have to. It's entirely down to you the old hitman games with new graphics yeah i'd be down for a hitman remaster that would be amazing yeah if we could get a collection of hitman remasters i would be all over that i would so be down for that i would so so be down for that Oh, that's the gram. Fuck me. Um, it, it exists, Crispy, I can assure you, because I have it. Um, let me see if I can find it on the store for you. They're just literally just called Hitman, Hitman 2, Hitman 3. Um... Yeah, Hitman is a little confusing with the order of it, but yeah. Oh, I've actually got Blood Money on Steam. Obviously, it's not a remaster, but it's the original. I do actually have it. They did also do that sniper challenge thing, but that was a separate install for two and three, I believe. Um, yeah, Hitman 2 does exist. Um, you might have to put TM for trademark in. They d it does exist. Let me find it on the store. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I can see it oh oh shit dude this is no longer available dude i've just gone to the page it says hitman is no longer available mm. yeah hitman 2 is no longer available in the steam store did they just roll all the content into three so you only need three no 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 it's fine crispy it's fine i didn't realize hang on i'm just checking some stuff did they just roll into three then Shit, what do you do then if you've got... Hang on, so hang on, what have you got at the moment? Oh, it does... Okay, yeah, they probably just rolled it all in then. 
They probably just removed the Steam store listing for two. So you just buy three and then you get two as well. Well, there you go. Yeah, they must have just rolled it all in. Because I know there was a, it was on the Epic store at one point. You don't see one on the store either. Hang on, I can check that for you. They must have just rolled it in and just be like, fuck it, buy three and you get all of it then. Yeah, Hitman is not... Yeah, they, they've rolled it all in. They've rolled it all in, mate. Yeah, I, I've just seen. Yeah, it says that's not available. Yeah, I've got it. I got it. I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, see, I bought them all in order when they came out. So. I'm good, Shamal. How are you? <laughs> God dang it. Yeah, I need to stop. Sorry, Rex. Sorry. It's habit. It's false of habit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, rip call, rip. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just a plum. What do you expect? I'm just a plum. I'm a cute little plum, though. <laughs> One thing to bear in mind, though, Crispy, um, the different versions, there's different levels. Um, one thing you'll need to look at is what levels are included in the different versions. So just bear that in mind. If you want everything, you'll need the deluxe edition. Um, but yeah, I think what they've done is they've like rolled some of the older content from one and two into the different editions. I believe Hitman with the part one is, is everything from um hitman one and then you've got the standard which i think covers i think that covers all the way to the end of three and then i think the deluxe covers like all the extra guff they did like the seven deadly sins stuff i think there's a couple extra i'd have to double check R read it on the shop because it it'll all be there for you so wait and see Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Rex. Yeah, we'll wait and see, Crispy. I'm going to play it today. I'm going to play it today. We'll see if it's up to anything. I tried it off stream and it worked fine for me. Maybe it's just because I weird, I logged on at a weird time. I don't know. We'll find out in a bit, though. I'm going to do single player on both of them. I'm going to try and do some multiplayer on both of them today. That's the plan. And we'll, we'll see if it's up to any snuff. Because obviously I'm not going to recommend something I think is shite. So. Obviously they sent the game to me for free. Just full disclosure and all that jazz. But. I'm hoping it's good. Because Battlefront's amazing. And I really love Battlefront. I have a very good fondness for it. But. Yeah. We'll see if it's worth people's money or not. How much are they charging for at the moment? Is it like 30 quid or something? I need to check. Hang on. How much was it? I can't remember if it's like 25 or 30 quid. It was somewhere... Is it 35? Ouch. Oh, that's euros though. Yeah, in pounds, it's 29.33. It does feel a bit pricey for, uh, for a remaster that isn't like massively... I mean, it's not even a remaster. It's just a re-release, isn't it? I don't think they actually remastered it up. Hey, Stripe, how you doing? Hi! Welcome! How you doing? You okay? How have you been? Have you had a great one? <laughs> Don't worry, it's all good. How's you? Have you doing amazing? Lovely hugs. Yeah, I think if they remastered it on top, then mm, you can maybe justify it. But yeah, I think because they've just done it as a straight up re-release, it's a little bit more egregious. At least with the, the same company did the Tomb Raider one. The Tomb Raider one has had a lot of extra stuff put into it. And it's also played really well. So the Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider remaster they recently did, I can, I can highly recommend. But yeah, we'll see if the Battlefront one is actually up to any snuff at all. We will see. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Just been keeping busy, Strive. We'll just do a bit of War Thunder today and then later I'm going to be hopping on um, Star Wars Battlefront. Which is a little bit of what we were talking about a minute ago. But yeah, I'm doing okay. I had back problems because uh, my chair broke. Uh, but the company's hooked me up with new stuff, so I'm I'm actually back to my new my well my original chair now, which is great. Um, so that's all fixed. 
and it's not cost me anything thankfully uh <laughs> And it's just been hectic, really. There's been a lot going on, and then the boiler's been broken, and the hot water's not been working, and it's just... There's a never-ending list of things that need fixing in the house. Um, but yeah, the boiler's now good, and the hot water's sort of fixed. They want us to try this, like, temporary measure thing, so... Uh, we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna try and have a hot bath tonight and see if it's alright. I still need to get the shower fixed and a bunch of other stuff, but... Slowly knocking off the list. We're slowly getting there. I've been getting some tidying up done and sorting things out. My office is a bit tidier now as well. So. Yeah, well, as I say, Crispy, well, I'm gonna we're going to have a look in a bit. We're going to have a look in a bit and see what it's like. Yep, exactly. Wait and see. Yeah, as I was say, they sent me a copy. It's not cost me anything to cover it today, so we'll see what it's like. And I will give my genuine reaction on whether I think it's good or not. I'll say the Tomb Raider one was done really well. I'm happy with the Tomb Raider remake. That was done really nicely. But um, there's a few weird camera issues. But other than that, and then obviously the audio in the cutscenes isn't split. But I imagine that's a hangover from the way they used to do um, movies and games previously. Um, but and so that's all good but um but yeah no we'll see about this battlefront one i have very very fond memories of battlefront as a kid so i, r I do want it to be good but we will see we will see i just hope they've laid on more servers finally because there was only like three on release with a 64 cap is uh not very good thanks again strife for hopping in how's things been for you though everything all good what have you been up to Well, that explains the uh, install size of it. Yeah, I knew it was likely not compressed properly because of the size of it. When I went to install it, I was like, mm, that's a red flag. But yeah, we will see. We'll see when we have a look at it properly. I've tried not to spoiler it for myself. I did, I did the bare minimum just to check that it functioned. Oh, Dragon's Dogma, nice. How are you finding that? I'm doing that tomorrow company i work with has hooked me up with a copy so i'm gonna be streaming that tomorrow might stream monday as well might rejig the schedule slightly to get some more time on it but we'll see it looked good though so i wanted to give it a try i'm looking forward to giving it a go i hope you had some fun on it at least jc <laughs> yeah we'll have to see crispy we'll have to see it's the whole point of trying it and seeing. Don't know until I try. So. It looked interesting for the trailers, so. I like I like a good adventure RPG thing, so I want to give it a try. I didn't play the original, sadly. I wish I'd had opportunity to play the original, but we'll see. Ah, oh, okay, JC. Yeah, so you're in a similar kind of boat to me then. Just diving in for the first time. Fair play. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Can Have a good look, mate. And yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. I think what we might do, guys, after this battle, I'm going to go take a quick PP break because um, I've, I've had most of that water bottle. I've had about two thirds of it and it's now repeating on me. So I need to I need to do something about that. So it won't take me long to have a quick toilet break. Oh, the DLC. Yeah, I've seen that. From what I've seen, Crispy, it looks like a lot of it's just extra optional um, corner cutting shit, basically. Which is completely fucking unnecessary shit. Um, but uh, I don't know. I need to look into it. But yes, I did see the giant DLC list. And that did come across as a bit of a red flag. Especially for a single player game. Especially for a lot of stuff that you would assume would just be, you know, included. It looks like a lot of it's like shortcut currency bullshit though. From what I saw. You can't remake a character. Uh, that's annoying. Is that true, JC? Can you not edit your characters on um, Dragon's Dogma? get to the character editor game change it doesn't it's tied to your steam id fuck 
How many? Is there a limit to how many characters I can have? How, what, what's the character limit? How many characters can I make? One. No, Crispy, you have to be fucking kidding me. You don't know, JC. No, there can't just be one slot. You're n what the fuck? What happens if you want to play? It's one safe file only. No, you have to be taking the piss. No, this is like Skyrim, but locked down more. What the fuck? No. One arisen and one pawn? Oh, yeah, no, that reeks of BS. Let me guess, there's a DLC to fix that issue. Oh, yeah, no, sorry for single player game, that reeks of bull crap. Make another Steam ID? No, fuck that! No, that shouldn't be necessary. No, that's 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 them creating a problem for the sake of it, if that is what they're doing. Talk about trying to inflate the number of copies sold. I can understand them being like, right, you can have like a max of 10 loaded at any one time for like save files or something. Like, fine, like there's some limitation there, but... Mm, no, that, that reeks of iffy. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to dig into this. I'm really curious. I'm really curious. Mmm, we... Mmm, okay, we'll see. I like Helldivers 2, but the thing is, in Helldivers 2, you can just infinitely customize your character and fuck around. It's not an issue. Also, Helldivers 2, your dude dies, they come back. That's just the way it works. That's kind of part of the memes of the whole, you know, fuck it, throw everybody in for the sake of it, get them killed, bring a new one back in from the same ship. And so the cycle continues as you yeet more people against these bugs. Um, and by bugs, I don't mean game bugs, I mean bugs in the enemies. And yes, Helldivers 2 doesn't... Yeah, well, the Helldivers dev said, look, if, if we're going to get, like, extra out of people, we're going to have to earn it. Like, that's a good way to look at it. And yeah, no, they don't have any DLC that buys fast travel or any bullshit. Exactly. Um, yeah, no, the Helldivers steps have been very reasonable and good from what I've seen. I haven't seen anything egregious or stupid from them as of yet. Obviously, there's been, like, the server capacity issues and, and them underestimating. But given, you know, their lack of titles and how relatively not well known they are, um... You know, I could see why they'd estimate it the way they did. So I I don't hold that against them. I think they just didn't realize how crazy the marketing went off and how much attention it got. Um, they've a bit like Larry and victim of their own success to some extent in that regard. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, Dragons do two clap. Yeah, th 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 this is what we're going to look at tomorrow. We'll figure this out. I'm going to do some digging around. I, mm, I'm sorry, but single player RPG locked to one character permanently to your machine. I mm, don't like that. I really don't like that. If that is what's going on, allegedly. Um, yeah, no, that'd be like Bethesda turning around and being like, yeah, no, fuck it. You can have one guy in Skyrim and that's what you're stuck to permanently. Fuck you. What? Yeah, no, I don't like that. I'd be like, no, if I want 20 characters, I'm going to have 20 characters. Fuck you. They're not gonna... I swear, if this is for sales padding, I'm going to be really annoyed because that's not okay. You know what this reeks of? You know what Ark said? Bloody them lot where they said, oh, if you want a private server with your mates, buy another copy and put on another Steam account. If you don't want to, like, buy a server from the one particular one they locked all the hosting into. That was literally the only solution for multiplayer if you didn't want to play it on a server. And you'd have to have a separate rig with it on permanently to keep it up. So, another computer, another Steam account, another copy of the game just so you could run it on server mode. Yeah, cool, thanks. Yeah, no, I hate it when companies do this shit. It really is bullcrap. Not optimizing well, we'll see about that. We'll see. I haven't tech tested it yet. I literally got my copy through today. So one of my jobs tonight is going to be to load it up. The problem is I'm now scared to load it up and make a fucking character. Although I have got the character created thing. So what I'll probably do 
is I'll use that. I'll see if it'll allow me to make multiple characters and I'll kind of preload all that in advance. And then hopefully we'll be good. I don't want to have to restart saves though and fuck around. Yeah, you can make five characters in the character creator thing. Yeah. You know what that probably is? It's like, yeah, fuck around there, but then pfft, stuff at your tide. It's only one arisen and four put off. Ah, no! JC, why? Ah, this is gonna drive me crazy. That. Even that's locked down? No! Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna probably have a major rage fest tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, I feel a YouTube video coming. Maybe this is just me. I feel a YouTube rap video coming. <laughs> I really need to do this about games that wind me the fuck up. I was gonna do it for Total War Pharaoh. I should just have a series about that where I talk about egregious game design and bullshittery. And, and, and why it needs to stop. <laughs> The, uh, the, the character creator mod extra thing they made, apparently that's locked down. You can make four pawns and one character only in it, apparently. So even that's tied down, allegedly. I don't know. I haven't seen it myself, but somebody else in another chat room has just told me apparently even that's tied down to limitations, apparently. I'm going to have to look at this off stream. This is going to really annoy me, potentially. Anyway, I'm going to be up you guys. I need the toilet, all right? And then, um... Yeah, we'll carry on in a minute. If anybody else wants to point anything else out, go for it. I'll be back in a minute. It won't be long.
am back. I'm back. Oh god, it crashed Moist's PC? Oh, fun. <laughs> oh, sounds like I'm going to be in for some fun tomorrow. Oh, great. Shut down. Oh, the game... Oh, okay, it wasn't his whole machine. Okay. Okay, well, that's something. The opening cut... Ugh, okay, I better test the opening cutscene tonight. Hmm, <laughs> okay. It's a hundred dollars in Australian. Ouch, okay. Hmm. Crashing character creation. Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tech test this tonight. I mean, this is another reason why I always do this anyway, but yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do some extra testing on it. Hey, well done, cool. Good job, good job. Well done. Congratulations. Which one did you get for your first rank three? Yeah, crispy. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that tonight thoroughly. The problem is though, if I've got one can I delete the save, Crispy? Is that confirmed? Can you make a save and then delete it and then make a new character that way? Is that allowed? You can't? Oh fuck off. Wow, when they say one character, they mean literally one character for Infinitum. No. Oh, that's so bullshit. Oh my god, no. Oh no, oh, there's definitely gonna be a ramp video for this, that's the case. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna get some paper and start writing my list of complaints. Oh, I wanted this to be good. I really wanted it to be good. Why do they have to do shit like this? Oh, fuck's sake. Right, I'm gonna give it it's I'm gonna give it a chance, but I I'm already like my blood pressure is already up just talking about this today. <laughs> the new Dragon's Dogma game, Mark. Uh, People are filling me in on um, it. I'm, I'm not impressed by what I've heard. I am playing it tomorrow. I've been given a copy, but <laughs> I want it to be good. I really want it to be good. But um, yeah, the more I'm hearing, the more I'm scared about it, to be honest. I do have some jets, yes. Uh, we'll see though. I want to see it firsthand. I'm not going to take everything at... um. I'm not going to take it at face value. I do, uh, I do fly them occasionally, just not very often cool. I have an F-16 Falcon. I've got the new Tiger Shark jet. Uh, I've got a Saab, I've got a MiG-23, I think it is. I got a couple, I got a few vehicles. I just, I just don't fly them very often. I'm a props person mostly. I do have the odd jet here and there. If you do delete your save data, if you do it more than five times, Denuva will detect you as foul play and block you from playing the game. What? No. I hope that's not true, Crispy. I kind of want to test that. I'm not going to do that before the stream tomorrow, though. That's not something Denuvo does by default. I, send me that article, Crispy. I need to see that. I need to see that. I will. I might actually test that on purpose. I'm gonna do it off the stream though. What happens though if you delete your data, Crispy? Does it just re-download it to your machine from the uh, server? to force it back into your machine. I that 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 doesn't sound like a default de novo thing though. Cuz there's a lot of other games I know that use de novo. I think a lot of the Assassin's Creed games use them cuz they normally have like three fucking layers of anti-cheat. But anyway, um 
but um yeah i don't think that 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 it, honestly crispy in my opinion that sounds like something extra they've added in i have never heard of that happening with any other game that has the nuvo on it um that that seems like some fuckery's afoot to me i could be wrong but that sounds like some fuckery on capcom's end is afoot take the data from the capcom server yeah yeah go figure yeah no i don't i it might be denuvo flagging it crispy but i i doubt that's like an inbuilt built default thing in denuvo because i i haven't seen any other game do that i could be wrong but no that sounds like some fuckery effort that really does otherwise i'd have been fucked on like assassin's creed the amount of saves i've had in those no, this this stuff. That, mm, I'm I'm gonna reserve judgment because I really don't want that to be true. I will test that out of stream, just for shits and giggles. And I will I will try and confirm that because I mean if it fucks up my copy, I didn't pay for it, so it's not a big deal. So that doesn't that doesn't bother me too much. Um. yeah we <laughs> thing is i wanted to have so many characters crispy like i wanted to have a kitty and i wanted a human and i want can't do that now that's gonna really bug me that's gonna really bug me i don't know what to do now i'm oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do the character off stream surely i don't know i really don't know i'm in two minds with it let's keep the pressure on victory is close i really don't know what i'm gonna do with it honestly uh yeah i understand again if that is correct i i can't take it at face value because i don't know i want to i need to see it for myself crispy that's what i need to do i need to see it for myself I've just realized one of the currency things on the DLC store is a resurrection stone for dead allies. Oh, for f really? So you have to pay to res yourself? I know about the currency coin thing, the rift crystals. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Art of Metamorphosis. Ah, here's the character editor. Yes, yeah, so if you want to edit your character, it's a pound seventy. Obtain an item that allows you to edit your own appearance. It can only be used once. What? oh my god yeah you know what this reeks of let's have an mmo without having an mmo <laughs> and they charge you for every single feature that's normally default in an mmo Ah, I fucked up. God, no, this is like, what the fuck? The inclinations of your pawn, if you want to change those, you have to. Another pound 70. God dang, fucking inflation. Heartfelt pendant. What the hell is that? Obtain a pendant of flowing with affection. Offer it as a gift to increase... Oh, God, this relationship bonding and you can pay for it. Oh, God. Uh, that's Lost Ark all over. Is that what they're taking lessons from this for?
harpy lures. Sound collection. Okay, fine. I can understand that. Camping gear. Gain one special camping gear set. Oh, you don't actually get them by default. You have to then go buy them in the in-game shop. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna see. I'm say. I'm trying to hold judgment here, but this is like Skyrim, but microtransaction to buggery. It's like if they took Skyrim and made it, well, kept it offline, but tried to monetize it like it was Lost Ark. <laughs> ah! Uh, the thing is, I don't see anything in here to lift the character limit beyond one. There's the character editor. But I don't see, like, have multiple characters on here. So literally, if you want more than one character, you have to have another Steam account. And you have to buy another copy of the game. Which, at base cost, 54 quid a pop is insane. Yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah, all that, Lord. Oh, your character wants to eat. Yeah, that's five quid, please. Uh, well, I'm playing it tomorrow. <laughs> Thankfully, it's the sponsors section. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. It's by Capcom. I. It looked really good in the trailers. It looked really good. I've been given a free copy, so... <laughs> I'm happy in that regard, but I am, I am concerned. It's on sale on Green Mash, if that helps. It's 14% off over there. Um, if anybody does want to pick it up cheaper, but um, yeah, I got mine for free, thankfully. I really want it to be good. <laughs> Added, yeah, after the, yeah, that's a, that's a tactic I've seen before. Which is why it's all blown up today, because nobody knew about it till the release. Yeah, it, it's a, it's surprisingly common tactic, Crispy. I know numerous companies that have done that in the past. I'm not going to name any names. The one I will name, however, is... Um, does anyone remember the Deus, um, Deus game? Deus X... Um, oh, fuck, what was it? Deus... Mankind, Mankind Divided. The scaling system and the shop on that got modified after release. Don't know if you guys knew about that one. That one got modified. All the review copies went out, and then magically afterwards, the scaling and the shop all changed afterwards. I didn't personally deal with that one, but I heard about it from other people I know. But yes, yes, it's, it's, as I say, it's a surprisingly common thing that happens with review copies. This is also why when I see a game list in game store, but then the review copy doesn't have it, I automatically get suspicious. <laughs> I do actually like email companies and say, look, I noticed this. Can you answer this question? Some are more um, forthcoming than others. But, um, yeah, no, it's something I'm always wary of because, yeah, it is a common tactic in games to modify it last minute. Yeah, the, the Mankind Divided one, I think it was like the devs had it thrown on them in the last, like, two weeks, allegedly, of the development, and they were told, yeah, no, rescale all of this. So they were last minute told to change it, from what I understand. It's been a long while since I looked into all this, but I heard about it ages ago. It was a big old rigmarole back in the time favorite food uh it'd probably be like sweet and sour or pizza i'm an i'm an absolute sucker for anything with rice that much is for sure we have most of i love rice anyway yeah that's it's say it's more common than you'd uh realize it's it's yeah review copies being sent out with things mess missing or changed 
It happens um, a lot. Oh yeah, homemade pizza can be amazing. Yup. Yup. I'll try and get some targets here. <laughs> ah, it's already happening, Vulp. It's already happening. What's the percentage at Crispy? It's not looking good. I think it's on a mostly negative at the moment, isn't it? Kebab sauce? I know what kebab sauce is. I've never had it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the percentage out on Steam? I'll have a look in a second if need be. I'm 39% positive. There you go. Yeah, isn't like... Isn't it 40, 45% is the mostly negative threshold? I can't remember. I cannot remember off the top of my head. It's it's somewhere around there, but it's yeah, it's in that percentage at the moment anyway. Oh, I have to see what happens with this one. I really want it to be good. I really wanted it to be good. I'm gonna still cross my fingers try it yeah i'll have to see if i can get some at some point that's the problem but yeah yeah you've been one vulp anyway as i say i'm gonna be doing it tomorrow on stream so make sure you tune in for that if you want to see the uh hands-on experience thanks for the uh, article link uh, crispy Oh god, I hate it when fucking websites have so much shit on them, they load horrendously. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be looking at that one off stream. Thank you for the link though, Crispy. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, well I'll say I got my copy for free, Crispy. I really wanted I wanted it to be like my new Skyrim. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. i have still got to hold up some hope. We'll see how it plays performance-wise tomorrow. Oh god, I might need to upgrade my graphics driver's shit. I better see if there's a um, graphics driver update for it. Uh, I better do that tonight as well. Mm, I'll need to see if there's uh, an update for it. Looks like I'm going to be mucking around tonight. At least Josh is getting on late. It gives me a bit of time to mess around with it before we do um, Baldur's Gate tonight. I don't know how much help it's going to be, but I might as well try. It, it worked for uh, Pandora, so... Hang on. AMD 6800 XT. Drivers for Dragon Stalker. Match um okay looks like there might be an update driver i need to check properly though yeah i got to do that tonight i have to try and sort that out yeah, BG3 is definitely really good. Don't, don't be wrong, there's some stuff in Act 3 that's broken, which is a massive pain in the ass, but... I'm hoping they forget that fixed. I, they have been working on a... I've seen some of the patch notes with some of the stuff, and there has been a big old long list of fixes. I'm hoping the issue I've got is because I'm midway through a campaign, a lot of shit stayed broken. I, I, I can only speculate, because my save is so fucking ancient. because things would have happened with some of those Act 1 quest lines that run into Act 3. So I'm, I'm hoping it's just that. But yeah, for the most part, I played perfectly fine. It, it's just like the odd weird thing here and there. Hey, 
in there. How you doing? You're all right. How's you? Right, not the ideal landing, but it it works. Come on, give me this soft landing, and then I'll get another plane. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, have a safe journey home, Nav. No worries, thank you, Wazzy. Yeah, I'll be um, I'll be live tomorrow if you want to come hang out, Wazzy. You're more than welcome. But um, yeah, I hope you have a great weekend, whatever you're up to. Hope you have an amazing one. Uh, yeah, there's that mark, yeah. Hey, Bregan. Oh, if you want to come join me, I'm doing 5.3 and under at the moment. Yeah, just do an arcade at 5.3 and under. I might be changing to set in a bit, though, so just bear that in mind. But yeah, if you want in, come join. Just let me know your in-game name. Just to say, bear in mind the BR cap will be 5.3 arcades, so... Make sure you have a set ready for that. There's a Dragon Ball Z theme park coming out? Okay. That's a new one. Hey, Slack. Welcome back, by the way. Is there a big fan base through there, Crispy? I don't know. I don't know. I got no idea. Maybe that or there's some dude with a lot of money who wants it in his backyard. Who knows? There could be a lot of explanations for that. Maybe there's a Saudi prince who's really into Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Bragan. Appreciate it. I don't know. I have no idea. There could be all sorts of weird explanations. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's just sat on Netflix all day or Crunchyroll. That's just what he likes to watch in his spare time. I don't know. I have no clue. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it's just cynical. Maybe it's just the money and they're cashing in on the creator dying. I don't know. That would be really, like, sneaky, but I don't know. I mean, surely they have to get that officially licensed. They couldn't get away with that, surely, without getting approval. The thing is, that process would take time, in theory. They wouldn't be able to just instantly do that. Um, you don't need to do the lobby request thing. That's fine. And that's just for queuing if there's a backlog of people. There's nobody backlogged for joining at the moment, so... As I said to you a minute ago, just get a 5.3 set together. Give you, give me your in-game name so I can add you in and come join. But have the set ready to go before you join. It's a hard cap of 5.3 or under. Arcade Air right now. I'm trying to get tasks done at the moment. But yes, you can come play. No, you don't need to do the uh, redeemable at the moment. If, that, as I said, if there was a queue of people, then yes, you would, but... I'm trying not to hit the dirt at the moment. I ain't got a huge amount of time left though on this today because we're going on now. Uh, we're going to go on Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection shortly. No. No, thanks for having to Where are we at with T-Rush? You guys were really close to 40% when I last checked. You guys can't be far off now. You're new to the game? Well, that's fine. Just bring, bring anything that you've got that's under 5.3. Just, just bear in mind you will be upscaled. I can't do anything lower than tier 3 because my tasks are tier 3 locked at the moment. I do have lower sets, but again, I won't be able to do tasks on them. Um, if that's too much for you, uh, wait till I'm playing another time when I'm playing the lower stuff because I have got Italy tier 1 and 2 on, on the go at the moment. But, um, but yeah, I can't do the tasks in them at the moment because uh, I need tier 3s for the tasks currently. That's the problem I've got. Um, what I'm trying to do is get tasks done, and then outside of task time, I will then be doing more of that lower BR, basically. But yeah, not going to have time for that today, unfortunately. Because uh, today we're kind of hitting on some limits for time. But yeah, break an in-game name and let me know when you're ready. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep queuing, so... 
Are you ready to go? Yay or nay? <laughs> Thanks for the spiffy. Appreciate it. It's the weekend? Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, that's the logical thing to do, though, is have a statue of him. That would be the logical thing to do. Honestly, I don't know why they wouldn't. It'd be, it would be daft not to. It would be genuinely so daft not to. Sorry. Right, I'm going to queue, but Bregan, yeah, let me know. I, yeah, Bregan, I already told you. Yes, you can join lobby, but please have a set that's 5.3 BR or under ready to go before you join. I need your in-game name so that I can add you into the group. I'm going to queue so you can sort yourself out in the meantime. But yeah, get a 5.3 or under set ready for Air Arcade. Once you have that ready, tell me your in-game name so that I can send you a DM so that I can bring you into the squad. Because without that information, I can't bring you in. Sorry. But yes, I already said you can play with me. Just make sure you adhere to the lobby rule, which is 5.3 and under right now. I know you're a new player. That's fine. Just bear in mind, you are going to get upscaled whether you like it or not. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can't play anything lower at the present time because I've got a task that requires tier threes. If you're comfortable with that, that's fine. If you're not comfortable with it, come play with me when I'm playing lower tier vehicles another time. It is entirely down to you. I just need an answer whether you're going to do it or not. That's all. Yeah, exactly, Crispy. Exactly. That's kind of set the precedence for that. Okay, cool. Right. Just get a set 5.3 or under air arcade ready in the meantime while I'm playing this match. I've grabbed your username. Grab a beer. <laughs> We're no alcohol house here. But yeah, I don't know what I don't know what that is means, Bregan. If you can explain to me what the bit that's confusing you, I can explain. I'm happy to help. Obviously, as a new player, you need to know stuff, but I will I will help. Just um, yeah, let let me know which bit's confusing you, and I can I can try and educate you on it so that you know for next time. But what is it that's confusing you? Br, how to squat? Where to find your username? Although you've put that in chat, so I'm assuming you know that bit. Is it the lobby rule that's confusing you? Which which bit's confusing you? I'm not going to get many ground targets here. We'll see what we can get, though. Try and get what we can. That air force is going to beat me to it. Yep. Rip. Not much I can do about it. Alright. A lot of these are small. I'm probably not going to be able to take that tank out. She got it. Okay, cool. That was a little bit unlikely. <laughs> Choo -choo. I actually got it. I actually got it. Come on. Is there much in the way of ground targets? I need to have a look. Yeah, I got lucky with the position of it more than anything else, I think. I, I got the penetration in the right spot. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't, Nav. Yeah, this is going to come off cooldown. Bad timing. Nah. Nah, not going to get that. Crap. 
Oh, we need to bail out of that one. That, that, that is not going to go well. Let's bounce out of that one. Elite Dangerous? Yeah, I've played Elite Dangerous before. A long time before. Very long time ago. Yeah, I've already I've already got your username, Bragan. What else is confusing you, though? You made a statement earlier. You said you don't know what something means. I don't know what you mean. Tell me which bit that you didn't get so that I can explain. Land? No, not worth it in arcade. Big waste of time. If you can get a soft landing, great. But no point going back to airbase in arcade. You waste way too much time. Especially when you've got like 10 vehicle slots like I do. It's just easier just to get a new vehicle and go. If you can perform a soft landing though, you can preserve crew XP and get the soft landing bonus, which is nice, but unless you can do that, not worth it. Oh, the yeah, so BI is battle rating. On the icons for your tech tree and in the bottom across your crews, you'll see a number. It'll be like 3.3, 3.0 you know one point whatever that's the battle rating of the vehicle it's intended as a way of balancing vehicles basically so the higher the battle rating the higher the tier it will be in and it's basically the stronger the vehicle in theory is doesn't always quite line up that way but the idea being is it's used to match up vehicles and players so whatever combo of vehicles you have will dictate your battle rating and depending on the mode you're in they'll do different battle making matchmaking so some do an average of what you have some do a maximum but when i'm quoting for lobbies here we always operate in a maximum system regardless of the mode to keep things fair for players so if i say 5.3 or under you can bring a 5.3 vehicle in or anything under but if you bring in a six, you'll get kicked out of the lobby, basically. So only bring in whatever the cap or under is in my lobbies. It's to keep things fair because people are doing multiple things, basically. The numbers under the name, yes. So these numbers here, you'll see them on the right hand side. 4.3, 4.0, 3.3. The icons denote the vehicle type. So in this case, fighter, bomber. There's a little green um, squished diamond for, fi um, for um, strike. But yeah, it's the number there is the battle rating. If you hover over it, you'll see rank three battle rating, blah, blah, blah. That's the number I'm talking about. When I'm saying we're doing a BR lobby, blah, 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 that's what I'm referring to. But yeah, it's done for the purpose of queuing. Because it'll dictate where it puts us in the queue based on the BR and based on the mode and how it does it. So we just have a flat, simple system to make life easy, basically. But yeah, the 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 three point whatever or whatever it is, that's the battle rating. Yes. Different streamers do things different ways. Some do it based on the tier or the rank, as it's sometimes called, which is the proper term of it. So a diet, yeah. So a green, uh, right? So the the yellow diamonds is is fighter. The green squidgy diamond is strike craft. Blue is, uh, the blue downward arrow is bomber. Is it good? No, depends on what you're doing. If you're playing against ones, yeah, you'll be fine. Playing against fives and sixes, like I am, you're going to have a hard time. It's normally plus or minus one is normally how it works. So if, um, if you're in like a 1.7 playing against two points in theory should be it depends though because like for example there's a technology leap that happens in certain points so because things like ammo sizes change and um jet planes become a thing so there's certain places where things will change up a bit so the brs mm, i don't want to say less important but it's something you have to factor in You'll be fine for what we're doing. You'll be adhering to lobby rules, but you are going to get up tiered. You're going to be against much stronger vehicles. So just bear that in mind if you struggle. All right. But yeah, BR is something that's used for matchmaking purposes. Give me a second. I can find you the uh, wiki for it. War Thunder...
this this wiki page here will explain how matchmaking works. I highly encourage you read it. And then there's also this page about battle ratings. So read those. They will help you. Ready? I'm ready, but you need to ready up, mate. There's a button that will say ready. You need to hit that. You need to hit that, otherwise we can't go. Right, we're showing us ready, I think. So I will pull you in. Obviously, you're going to be massively underscaled, so... Just bear that in mind. But yeah, read those wiki pages, Bregan, when you get a chance. They will help you understand how it works a bit better. Those those will go a long way. But yeah, understanding matchmaking and, and the battle rating system is, is useful. But yeah, because you're pulled in here with me with fours and other things, you are going to get pulled up. So just be warned, there's going to be vehicles in here that you won't have seen before. And obviously things like armor and ammo comes into effect and stuff like that. So you may struggle to pen some of these as easily, but see how you go. Where's B-U-H? I don't know what that means. Sorry. That's not an abbreviation I'm familiar with. Don't know what you're on about. What's but? I don't know what but is. Sorry. I'm confused, Cool. What are you on about? Don't know what you're on about. <laughs> yeah, the, um... Yeah, Elite Dangerous need to get back on. It won't join. Don't know. You're in game here. I don't know why it's not pulled you in. That's not on me. If you were readied up, it should have pulled you in. Okay, you'll have to wait till end the match and then I'll uh, get you in again. It should have pulled you in. As long as you're readied up, it'll pull you in automatically. I would leave, but I can't because A, I'd be throwing the match for somebody else. And uh, secondly, I would lose my vehicles. I They'd go on a cooldown timer. Oh, the e what do you mean, bruh? As in like, bruh, dude. Do you mean that? I don't have a bra emote, no. That's what you mean. I don't know what bra is. If you mean bra, then I know what you mean. But no, I don't have one of those. Do I have a cat emote? No, I do not. I want to get a cat emote. The thing is, emotes cost money to make, so... I don't have the budget to justify that at the moment. I have some merch that I'm going to launch. I haven't got around to doing that. That's still sat in the back burner that I've been meaning to do, but yeah. There's no more emotes currently planned for the channel. Can't afford it. Um, sorry about that. Um, I have had my emote slots expanded. I've got, um... I've, I've got more animated slots and other things. But again, it's, it's money. That's what it boils down to. I've never heard of this butt emote. I don't know what the fuck it is. Oh, the cat! Oh, the fucking cat thing! That thing! Oh, I didn't know what that was. Okay, now I know the one you mean. Okay, yes, yeah, so I know what that cat is. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, the cat, right? That that weird cat thing, right? I know the one you mean now. Awesome souls. Thanks for that one, Slack. Uh. Yeah, I mean, there's like global emotes. Maybe it's in the global emote. I don't know. It might be, it might not. I look, I can only have what I can have. If you, if, if it's a global emote, you should have it. I don't know. Um, I'm doing a task, Bregan, that's why. I'm doing a task that involves destroying ground targets. I play everything, but as I say, at the moment I'm doing a task and I'm under time pressure, so I'm trying to trying to get the task done as fast as I can. I have been using fighters today, but I've been using them as residual after the fact for another task. It's just a necessity situation. Um, no, it depends on what your tasks are and what you're doing. But given that you don't have tier threes, tasks are a bit of a null and void issue for you right now. 
Oh, it's a better TTV one then? Yeah, okay, there's nothing I can do about that then. But yeah, Brigan, just play what you want to play. I'm just, I would say, I'm just focusing on tasks. Tasks are hyper individualized and they relate to the, um, they relate to the battle pass stuff primarily, which is something I'm trying to grind at the moment. The what the fuck does that translate to? That's, is that, that's not German. What is that? That doesn't look quite right for German. Google translate. Yeah, I know you can. I've had better CTV in the past. Oh, it's Swedish. Somebody attack him. I play War Thunder and love pizza. Okay, bit of a weird one. <laughs> I mean, I can try and guess how to pronounce it. I'll probably get it wrong, though. I warn you. If I had to guess how to pronounce it, cool. I'd say Yagspela, War Thunder, Ork, Alaska, Pizza. Love. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't do Swedish, mate. I have no clue how to speak Swedish. Sorry. Absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, but yeah, Lord, I am aware of Ability TV. Um. Yeah, I just don't use it here. As I say, I have extra slots. I just... Oh, oh, it costs money. That's what it boils down to. Money I don't have. Sorry. Pretty close, really? Oh, Spela was on point. Okay. How long have I been playing? Well, I've had my account since like 2012, 2013, roughly. I had a massive break, though, from playing. I only came back to playing in uh, 2022. I got about one and a half thousand hours on record at the moment. Fuck! They got me. Okay. That bomb's missed, hasn't it? Yeah. Rip. If you mean today, I've been streaming for about four and a half hours. Another zone captured. We have the advantage. All right, come on, let's get back in there, see what we can do. Uh, I really should get another bomber. Does Sweden? Yeah, I mean, Sweden have planes. I haven't played them a huge amount. I've been enjoying them. I have a long way to go, though. I don't know what top tier's like. I got no idea about the top tier and all that, but the, the ones I've been playing have been all right. I've got the saw, but like 8.3, I don't think it's okay. It feels a little bit slow, but. And then again, I'm not someone who's used to jacks personally. Oh, well, there you go, Blue. Hey, thank you. Appreciate the help. I can't cover the things I haven't played, so appreciate the help. I, yeah, the tier two I've been doing all right with. It's been okay. Not my favorite, spiny stretch. But they've been doing okay. I found it hard to get crits in them. That was one thing I noticed. I don't know if it's just me and my potato aim, but... Yeah, no worries, Lord. Thanks for hanging. Appreciate it. You take it easy, all right? Stay safe. I hope you have a good one. I'll catch you around. Have a good weekend. Stay safe and look after yourself. Low tier spot till about three. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Is it me, Blue, or do they not crit very easily? Do they struggle? I feel like they lack a little bit of pen, personally. I don't know if that's just me. I don't think like, they're the worst by any stretch, but... I need practice on them. That would definitely help. Especially the 20 mils. Okay. Yeah, I've just got mine to... I'm... 
I, I basically I'm getting towards the end of, well I've, I've done like the end of tier 3 basically is what I've done with mine the enemy is winning. that's what I did so I, st I still have ways to go with unlocking more stuff I'll get there eventually though <laughs> I just gotta keep chipping away at it. Attack the A point. Come on. Yeah, I'm probably about average break, and I'd imagine if that. I'm not playing in the best either because I keep fucking around using different sets, which doesn't help. But it is what it is. Nah, it's all good, blue. It's all good. Oh, what kind of control are you trying to get? You got a particular one in mind? Are you, are you on console then? I don't know if you're on like PC and just like to use a controller or what, but... <laughs> I wish you the best with the controller hunt. Uh, Timmy, thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Oh, shit. Let's uh, bounce out of this. Oh, you've got one. Oh, yeah. oh okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. You used to play with keyboard. See, I like keyboard, but like the problem is the turning because you can't like fix it in a set position with with planes, which is annoying. I want to get um, I want to get a proper stick configuration. Do I have voice shout? No, I have it turned off. It's a it's a legal liability issue as a streamer, so I have comms turned off. If I ever do comms, it'll be in my own private um Discord only, where I can carefully control it. Thanks for the follow as well, Blue. Appreciate that. Um, all voice comms relating to the stream are locked 18 plus as well. Just FYI. Um, contact with children is a grey area and I don't engage with it. Um, you can still lobby with me, but yeah, no voice comms for anyone under 18. Sorry. Timmy, thank you for subbing. That's really kind of you. Thank you. I hope you're having fun here. Um, but yeah, if I do do comms, it's under control situation. You'll need my Discord. Um, but yeah, I don't always do comms on the stream. It's it's very much as uh, needs must kind of situation. But yeah, in-game comms are all turned off. I think I'm on the friend limit at the moment, uh, Bregan. I will keep the friend request there, but I think I'm on the limit at the moment. There's a hundred uh, friend limit in-game, so... I, I won't be able to add you at the present time, but I will leave your request there and I'll pick it up when uh, I have space. Let's do stream raiders quickly before we hop in another match. Sorry you've had to wait, Brig. I don't know why I didn't pull you in. It's weird. Double three. Yeah, super fresh to the game. You'll get there. You'll get there. Find something you like and just chill with it. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> You'll get there. Takes time. The grinding is a lot friendlier than it used to be, so that definitely helps. But yeah, find what you... Don't be afraid to experiment. Muck around, try different vehicles. And then, yeah, if you find something you really like, just kind of mooch your way through it. And see how you vibe with it. It's the best thing I can recommend. Boats are really good for um, silver, if you're into that. But uh, a lot of people aren't that fond of boats, so... I play them a lot personally, but... The, the earnings in boats is nice. If you can get used to it and you like it, your quid's in. Yeah, no, War Thunder, War Thunder gets very technical. Um, obviously, Arcade is a lot more new player friendly. Um, but if you do want to go full in for the full physics and all the rest of it, then obviously you've got Realistic and Sim. But again, it's player discretion. It's entirely how to, you know, down to each player how they want to play. And obviously you've got the benefit of not just it being planes, there's also tanks and boats. So again, it's, it's a personal discretion thing. There is also AI modes in this as well. There's some historical campaigns and stuff. So if you're into that side of things, that is an option too. Um, and I believe some of that stuff is co-op as well. So if you want to get a friend on and do that, you can. Right. You're showing as ready to up. Right. Let me try and pull you in, and hopefully it will pull you in this time. Sorry about that. It normally pulls in, no issue. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, no, I'm glad you got a controller sorted, Blue. It's good, it's good. But yeah, hopefully it'll work out for you. Says join it. Right, fingers crossed. 
it might have just been an internet boop or something on your end break and I might have done it or something on the server's end. I got no clue. But yeah, as, as long as everybody's readied up and squad pulls in, you should you should just get straight in. There you go. There you go, you're in. Brilliant. Good, good, good. Right, problem solved. <laughs> right, let's do this. Let's do this. I need to try and get a few more uh, grand targets. I can't remember how many I need. I need to double check that. I need to have a mooch. Because I don't remember. Oh, well done, Blue. Good. Well done. Plane is slow. Yeah, you're going to find that the engines for the vehicles that are in the higher BRs obviously get more powerful. So, yeah, you're going to be a little bit limited in your travel speed versus the other people in here. Give it time, though, when you're a lot more staff. It, it'll speed up. You obviously have to acclimatize to that. And then things like turning circles and all that jazz change as well. Again, it depends on the vehicle a little bit. If you want like turn fighty stuff, the, the Japanese set's really good for that kind of stuff. There's of course other vehicles and other sets as well that are good for that. But yeah, it's personal preference thing, it's whatever you fancy really. But um, yeah, you, you are going to find that your vehicle is going to be substantially slower than everything else in here just by nature of the BR. This is why we generally speaking try and keep it within one to two BR difference as much as possible to make it fair for people. Right, I'm going to crash this one so we're going to hop out of it and hope that we get as much as we can. Right, hopefully that got me a... F Ugh, I only got one. Rip. On the upside, we are getting decent upgrades. I've got one fighter, and then it's these two bombers, and that's it. That need the upgrades. And then we'll finally be done with those. So, it's a work in progress. We are getting there, slowly. But yeah, I need to work on that Italy set some more. And then I need to do... I need to do France and China as well. But once I've done that, I've got every single tech tree vehicle up to tier 3 in planes then. So that'll be everything completed, basically. Of course, bar anything that's been removed that isn't there anymore that I can't see. But there's nothing I can do about that. It is what it is. Um. So, yeah. But, uh, but it's, a bit, it's, a good, uh, it's a good step in the right direction as far as like getting stuff on lops concerned. Yeah, be careful following me. I'm I'm flying quite low, which is generally disadvantageous. It's just because I'm trying to drop on targets, so. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to get what I can. Problem is, I wish I had a front gun on this thing. I don't, which is annoying. Really, really annoying. I'm going to wait now. I'm trying to, to level them up a bit so I can get the uh, reload. Because the reload stat improves the um, bomb reload as well as the gun reload. So I want to try and uh, do this. Yeah, I, I predominantly do two blue. It's just I have, a, I have an objective for the um, battle pass. So I'm trying to do... Um, it's, it's a ground target 180 that I need to get. So, I'm just trying to clear that at the moment. But yeah, I prefer fighters as well. Generally speaking. But, um, yeah, sometimes it'll chuck up a bombing task. I'll do it. It's fine. And so, it's a little bit time consuming. It depends on what matches you get as well. Because if you get nothing with the actual, like, legit worthwhile ground targets, you're kind of screwed. Um, <laughs> not a great deal I can do about that. But, um... But yeah, at the moment we're just pooling through. I'm really close to getting this one done and then I can pick up another uh, special task. Got the medium out of the way today, which was the fight at kills. So, managed to wrap. It was a bit slow going to start with, but we got going. The thing is, I was playing a weird set to start with, so I didn't help. 
but yeah, at the moment, I'm just trying to farm as much as I can get out of the match. And then we'll just, um, as I say, other than that, it's upgrade farming at the moment. And this set's fairly complete. I'm not going to be bringing anything extra into this set. What I will be doing is copying it. And, uh, I will make, uh, I'll make some extra bits and bobs in for the next set that I need to do. But not, not at that stage yet. Um... Hey, Herman, how you doing? Fluffy hugs, big fluffy hugs. Yes, happy Friday to you too. How you been? Everything all alright? Uh, yeah, again, it's the BR break, and I'm also going down, so I'm going to naturally speed up because of that, although at the moment I'm actually slowing down. The good thing is, with it being arcade, my wings are not going to get ripped off. If you did this in um, realistic, uh, w wings will get blown off if you do what's called overspeeding. So, yeah, you have to be careful of that. Flaps also become more important as well in um, realistic as well. I do use them out of habit in uh, arcade. A lot of players don't bother. Okay, he's being tricky. Right, I've got a fire. That's a problem. The other thing as well is oil and fuel spill and that kind of stuff is a lot more critical. Water as well for overheating the engine. Oh, I hope you get better, Herman. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah, just a bit blue. Just a bit. Yeah, once I had that fire, it was no coming back from that. I do have some repair stat on some of my vehicles, but not massive amounts, especially in this set. I need to train them up more. I am slowly getting them leveled, but it's it's one of those things that's just going to take time. I'm going to just keep using them and eventually I'll get the points. Again, it's, it's by virtue of the BR and how modern the vehicle is compared to yours. That's all it boils down to, Bregan. you got to bear in mind you're using ones. Ones and twos, so... It's, it's only to be expected. The one big advantage you have got with a couple of yours is with the biplanes, their turning is incredibly good. You should be able to outturn most stuff. You're not going to be able to outspeed them. But if you get into a combat, you're going to be able to make some turns that the other vehicles can't. So you can potentially use that to your advantage. Fine. So, hang on, what do you mean, um, 115? What did I miss? Sorry, I don't know what I missed. Oh, there is... Oh, yeah, there's obviously going to be something... I I don't know what he's using at the moment. I, I can't remember what... What's say Oh, he's in the Swedish set at the moment. That's, that's what he's... Oh, I got a ding. Okay. <laughs> I got something! Yeah, you can spectate, Reagan. That's fine. Yeah, sorry. I've got more vehicles than you, so it's going to be... Uh, I'm going to be in matches longer than you, probably. Sorry about that. You'll, you'll build it up, though. Some of the roster you can get with silver as well, by the way, Bregan. So if you're playing arcade, you can actually unlock some slots free of charge. Um, There, there are some that are locked behind Eagles, though, which is the in-game paid currency. So you will hit a cap at some point. But um, but yeah, you'll be able, over time, you'll build up your vehicles and you'll you'll get more and you can build out your slots and that. It just takes time. If you're doing realistic, though, slots are less of an issue because you can only take one vehicle into a realistic match anyway. So it just depends on what your priorities are and what mode you're preferring. Yep. Yep. I gotta be a little bit careful though, because I got stuff behind me. I don't want it creeping up on me. Ah, 
And of course he twisted in towards me. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to turn out of my arms. I was hoping he would twist the other way and he didn't. Okay. Anyway. Oh, there's a year here. Let's go for that. Let's go for the year two. Yeah, one of the things in arcade you will find, Bring a lot of people will do head-ons. And nobody will back out. <laughs> there, is, there is a lot of head-on collisions that happen in arcade. Hi, Thomas. How you doing? You alright? Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Just getting dailies done. Getting dailies out of the way. I need to put more of that stat in. He's going down anyway, but just to make sure. Right, where's this guy? He's going to be much higher up than me. Yep. Is he the only one left? I don't know. There's an XP 50. Eh, okay, there's a few things. All right, we need to try and find him. All right, we need to try and get some height. Let's try and get some hype. We'll get there though, we'll get there. Mm. But yeah, doing alright, Thomas. Doing okay. We're gonna swap onto a different game shortly. Um, you can do blue. We operate a uh lobby system that's basically uh, a cap. So uh at the moment I'm doing 5.3 and under. So you can bring it up to 5.3. Just bear in mind we're doing RK planes, so just make sure you're checking for RK BR, not realistic. Um I will be swapping to a different game shortly though, so there won't be many more matches. So yeah, just make sure you get your set ready before you bring it in. And then you can come on in. Um just so you guys also know with regards to lobbying for the new people, we do have something called the regular ranks. That's something you will need long term to partake in lobbies. We operate a kind of like first couple times here. You can get in regardless system, but yeah, you will need it long term. Uh, we've had some issues, unfortunately, with people lobbying and being dickheads. Um, so it's just a little barrier to get rid of the uh, trolls and idiots. So, so just uh, just FYI, long term. If you want to know how to get that, basically it's for coin points that you earn by hanging out in the channel. It doesn't take long to get. It's a free currency that you earn just by chilling here. Uh, exclamation mark shop will take you to the shop where you use the coins. Exclamation mark coins will show you how many coins you've got. They're very, very easy to get. And uh, if we hit milestones like 40%, uh, which is coming up on the T-Rush, you guys get bonuses as well. So if you happen to be in here when that happens, again, another very easy way to acquire them. You also get the associated extra rank as well with the Discord too. So an extra added little bonus there too. I don't know what a solo is. Sorry. I have no clue what that is. Right, I sent you the invite. There we go. Cool. Yep, your set's perfect. That is for the lobby rules. Brilliant. Cool. Right, we'll, uh, we'll get going then. <laughs> Let's just go for it. I haven't got a huge amount of time left today, so... We'll see what we can cram in, and then I'm going to bounce to the other game shortly. Yeah, the uh, lobby limit is four for most modes, I believe. It's you and three others, basically. Um, There's obviously rules. There's like modes that are exceptions to that, but I think they're mostly like special bullshit event things and that. Um, might be some single player historical stuff that is. I can't remember. I need to double check. I can't remember top of my head. I would have to double check. I would say drawing a blank on that one slightly at the moment. Having a brain fart. But, nah, we're doing okay. We're doing alright. Hey, Viking, how are you? <laughs> Welcome back. How's things? You alright? We're, uh, we're just chilling a bit of War Thunder. We're going to go on Star Wars shortly. They have very kindly sent me a copy so we can go check it out. So we're going to have a little mooch or have a little explore. I want to see if we can get on both of them today. Might only get on one, but we'll see. We'll see how uh, time works out on it. But yeah, I'll be swapping sometime in the next half an hour. We'll see what we can cram in. 
I need to be off uh, stream about half seven, so because I need to do dinners and look after the family. I, I need to have a bath as well. So. <laughs> It'll be fine, though. I'm just trying to be organized and get stuff sorted. I got my chair fixed, though, so that I'm happy about that. I've got my, my old chair back, and I'm happy about it because my old chair is so much better. It's all fixed. I need to send them an email, though, and just thank them for all the help. But, um, yeah, no, I'm glad. I'm glad to have that back. I'm glad to have that working now. So that's really good. Um, so, yeah. Just taking things as they come. Taking it easy. Might need to update my graphics drivers uh, tonight as well. Because I'm um, playing a new game tomorrow. And I want to make sure it works as best as possible. So, I'm going to have a busy evening. It's going to be a very, very busy evening. We've got lots to do. And then i got Baldur's Gate 3 session with uh, my partner and a friend. So that will keep me busy as well. So it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be good. It'll all be good. Have you got much in the way of plans, Viking? Two bucks? Yeah, it depends on the size. you got to bear in mind splash damage is a thing on this, Bregan. So, a lot of it will depend on where the position of it is. It depends on the armament of the thing you're hitting as well. Sorry, you, you, there's penetration sim simulation for all that. Um, sorry, i got to be careful because there is a fighter in our spawn. I think he's just escorting that B-17, but I could be wrong. He's pretty high up. No, he's not escorting. Nope, nope, nope. He's, he's definitely going for a spawn camp. He is doing a spawn camp. Right, we need to be careful of that. I've also got one and a half second delay on my bombs is the other thing I have to factor in. So, sorry if it looks a little weird where I'm dropping them, but it's because I've got one and a half second delay on the uh, detonation. Um, that's something you can manually turn on. Because uh, when I was playing uh, Jets and I was popping them down, I was uh, nuking myself by accident. So, so yeah, having having the bomb detonation delay uh, is helpful. So, yeah, I have, the, I have that turned on. I've left it on. I don't tend to interfere and muck around with it. Kind of used to it, to be honest. Yeah, you you you'll get used to that break, and it happens a fair bit. You'll you'll have people like going up high and then diving in and out, basically spawn camping. It's it's quite common. I need to get out of here because they're gonna come for me. Eh, tail off. Okay, nothing I can do about that. Got a couple of extra targets though. Um, enemies down to five tanks, so there's not many left. Um, right, let me see what I can do. I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna try and see if I can get the leftovers. I don't think we're gonna get massive amounts, but I'm gonna give it a try. We'll see what we can do. It may or may not be too bad. We're just, just going to wing it and figure it out as we go. Um, it, it really depends on whether they leave me alone or not. That's going to be the problem. It's armored cars. Is there any tanks? No, it's just armored cars by the looks of it. So that helps because my penetration on those is going to be a lot better. But, um, yeah, I don't know. What's that? Armored car? Armored, yeah, it's all armored cars. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to try and go for this set on the left because they're uh, closer together. I've got an 800. I'm going to try and splash it out. <laughs> Don't know whether this is going to work or not. There's two of them that are at least relatively close. I'm probably not going to get the third. Um, You can swear in my chat room. That's fine. If you need to see the chat room rules, you'll be able to see it through the um, thing. Just obviously ensure everything you say is TOS compliant. If you're not aware of the TOS for the website, please make sure to go read it. Oh, I actually got all three. Okay, good. Yeah, swearing is permitted here. Come on. Oh, 
I need to try and get around. Where are the... Oh, no, they haven't got any more. Okay, right, they're cleared out. They are cleared out. Right, okay, no more, no more ground vehicles. Somebody finish them off. Oh, okay, all right, well, they did that. Right, cool, okay. We have the site as well. Let me, uh, I'm going to soft land this and go for a new one because the, uh, the tip of the wing being off is a pain in the ass. I'm going to go for the soft landing and then we're going to bounce to another vehicle. We're not going to stick around for a uh, vehicle renewal. I don't need it. I've got, I got many other vehicles. Oh god, don't hit a tree! Oh shit! <laughs> I ran out of space. Whoops. Oh well. Well, we tried. We tried. Yep. Yeah, ten out of ten. Hit a tree. God dang it. Had to be a bump, didn't there? I was, I was hamming on the brake, but then the bounce. Ugh. I got screwed, basically. I got screwed. <laughs> if it wasn't for the bump, I probably would have been fine because then it wouldn't have lifted off again. <laughs> That's the problem. It's because it's it lifted off and went off again. I could have gone for the actual landing on the landing strip, but yeah, I should have gone for the right exactly. I, I, I did have half a mind to do that, but I was like, nah, let's not bother. Should be enough space. Oh, I was wrong. I was like, I think it would have been fine if the bump wasn't there. But the, the land bump is what did it. I'd, I, I would have been able to slow down enough otherwise. Would have been fine, but nope, nope, wasn't to be. Come here, you cheeky sausage. Right, I'm giving up on that fight that's going on behind because I got more coming in here and we're going to try and deal with those instead. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is that, Nev. Yeah, let's not repeat that. That, that was a disaster in Ark. That, that was one hell of a disaster. Right, let, oh, we got upgrades. Okay, thank God for that. Hey, only vehicle locked. Okay, cool. Right, okay, we're making progress on that, right? Let's uh let's upgrade the next one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know where you're going with that one, Nev. Don't be rude. <laughs> God dang it, you're terrible. Oh, I'm so close on this now. Right, let's see if we can try and cram this in today. Is there anything I can do with the cruise? I haven't got much in the way of points. Got reload speed though. Let's grab that. I could go for the um, qualifications. I know, but we're not going to bother with that. Oh yeah, you've definitely got. Yeah, you've definitely got plenty of ammo. One hundred percent. We're lovely. We're cute and fluffy, slack, aren't we? Totally legit. I don't know what you're talking about, Regan. What do you mean, ask the tanks? I don't know what you mean, sorry. Do you mean play tanks and uh, planes in the same mode? Uh, that's much higher BR, dude, that that combined comes in. Um, You can put planes in with tanks, specifically in tank mode, though. Um, so that when you do have the option to spawn as a plane, you can pick the one that you've got. It does need to be uh, within a certain BR range. But that's strictly for queuing as tanks. Yeah, the 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 just playing air and then it being combined thing is much higher BR. But yeah, if you if you have a tank set and you want to take specific planes with you, so it doesn't randomly spawn you a random bullshit plane, you can do that. But yeah, you need to keep it in the right BR range. Otherwise, it won't let you spawn that vehicle. But that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's a tanks only thing. I'd say combined thingy what's it is above certain BR with this. I can't remember exactly when it kicks in. I want to say it's sixes or sevens. It's so, it's, it might be later than that. I don't, I have, I don't fuck around with that shit. So, I don't know. Somebody in chat will probably be able to tell you. Oh, 
I, I've never been a jacket potato person. I I like mash though. Easter, yeah, I had an Easter egg. I did have one in the end. I did have one in the end. It was tasty. I, it's bad for my diet, however. Very, very bad for my diet. <laughs> So, yeah, it's something I have to be wary of. Oh, dude, I know it was ridiculous, wasn't it? No, th this year I did better. It did take some effort, but I did manage to break into it. Why no one have voice chat on? I don't know. A lot of people don't bother with it. It's entirely down to the individual whether they put voice chat on or not. I think especially with online games, people just get fed up with people being toxic. So there's an awful lot of people that just turn them off, in, especially in games that get hyper competitive. I, I had to do this, unfortunately, with CSGO and COD, for example. It just got ridiculous. Oh, I hate... No, this map I hate. This is one of my worst ones. Great, you love it. That's cool. I, yeah, no, this is not my, uh, my go-to pick. No, Dev, no, God, no, 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 no. I, no, Nev, I'm swinging this, so don't you dare make it weird. Don't make it weird. Oh, holy shit. Dude, Calton, yo. Thanks, Calton, dude, that's really kind of you. Thank you. There's some names I recognize there. Fionn, Vin, Candy, Angelic, Killer. There we go. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Thanks, Cal. That was really kind of you. How are you? You're all right. Thank you very much. That was really sweet of you. Thank you for sharing the love with the community. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. I hope your day's been all right. Can we twist this? Okay, we're going to twist it on this. Drop them all. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm doing much better today. My my seat is fixed. I spent a good chunk of last night doing it, but I, I got it fixed. The, the feet were easy enough to swap, but the armrests were a pain in the ass. But yeah, it's all sorted now. My back is so much better. <laughs> like, just sitting this today, like, my back is not constantly screaming at me. So... There shouldn't be jets in this lobby, no. I think the earliest jets are like 6.7-ish? They shouldn't be in here. And all, it normally does plus or minus one based on the lobby BR. So at the moment we're in 5.3. So it should be capping out around 6.3. Obviously exceptions happen and shit. The other thing is with this mode, it averages that so somebody could be dirty, filthy, and, um, you know, bring something higher in and then make everything else shit in their combination to do that, but... As we, yeah, there is... I, I think that there are some, like, weird exceptions, Mark. I don't know how many of them there are, but I think majority of it kicks in a lot later. It's, like, late sixes, isn't it? Early sevens. I'd have to double check. I don't remember, but no, there should in this lobby, Bregan, you shouldn't run into a jet. No, you shouldn't run into any jet. Also, the noise of the engine is very distinct. If you if you're near a jet, you'll know it. Um, and then yeah, Count. Everything else has been good. I just I need to get more sleep. Oh, and the hot water is sort of fixed. So I'm gonna have a bath tonight, hopefully. I still need to get the shower head and other stuff fixed, but meh, work in progress. I'm getting there though. Things are getting there. Thanks to T-Rush as well, by the way. Thank you. Appreciate it. Did we hit 40%? We must be like mega close to it now. There was one... Uh, hang on. I, oh, something came up on my screen. I couldn't see it. God dang. Oh, 39. Okay, we're like mega, mega close then. Um, if that was somebody sending me a firm request, which is what I think it was. 
Uh, I'm on the friend cap, so you'll have to bear with me on that one. Emmy two six. Uh, I think that's higher than that. Emmy two six two. Well, let me check. Emmy two six two a minus one a is a seven point three in arcade. Favorite sport? Ah, uh, horse riding and hockey and hammer throw, and swimming. The leaky pipe? No, the leaky pipe still needs fixing. That still needs doing. We know what's causing it. But, um, yeah, we just we haven't had time. Haven't had time to sort that. It's on the list, though. We got this plumber bloke coming in to do some more stuff next week, hopefully. And then we'll, hopefully that'll be one of the jobs he'll get around to eventually. It's going to be one of these cases of getting him back multiple times to do jobs so that we can get everything done with in the house. The, the ceiling issue is going to be a more extensive issue. Because to get to the issue, he's probably going to have to dig up the floor. Which has got concrete and stone in it. So that's going to be more of a problem. And then we've also got the ceiling directly above that toilet as well that's ruined. So, so yeah, it's, it's just a giant conga line of issues. Um... But no, that 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 all needs fixing, Mark. It's it's on the it's on the list. It'll get sorted eventually. Oh, shit, I was really close to someone there. Sorry, whoever that was. I don't know who that was. I went right past. I'm really sorry, whoever that was. Um, I I went to have me drink, and then I realised afterwards. I got lucky. Um, yeah, Vault, maybe there's another variation of that, that that's lower BR, but I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to mooch and look on the wiki to find. I don't know though. I'd have, I'd have to check. I'd have to check. I know there's some six sevens. That much I know for sure. There might be some six threes, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll have to see what we could do. Oh, fuck a man engine. Okay. No! Dang it. Oh, that's a slight cockwomble. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. <laughs> Something like that. Hey, Doc, how you doing? <laughs> it just turned into more combat. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I got I got two above me, I think, and then one behind me. No, nope, my play! No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> How's your day been, Duck? Everything alright? Hopefully all is well. Um, yeah, we're just getting splattered and doing random stuff today. <laughs> I've got my task done though, although I'm working on a special at the moment. So, we're getting there slowly. Slowly but surely. Yeah, something like that, Nev. Yeah, it'll be blood red from the cows exploding. <laughs> Just everything going wrong. <laughs> oh. A barn in many shades of red and lumpy bits. Mm. Somebody ordered minced cow. Mm. <laughs> Why is our paint lumpy, dear? Because it's got half a cow ass in it. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the cat thing in Baldur's was an accident, all right, Nev? I had to hide the evidence, all right? That's not my fault. They shouldn't have been witnesses to the crimes in the first place, all right, Nev? <laughs> the cats had any sense they should have kept themselves out of it and they would have been fine. I wouldn't have had to have murdered them and steal them back to my camp. No, miscommunications never is the defense I'm going for. Miscommunications. Uh, one behind me. No! 
Gary is not Jack the Ripper. He's just very misunderstood, all right? He's just, he's very misunderstood, all right? He is a cute and fluffy, adorable Dragonborn chef. <laughs> Oh my god, farm sim. Yeah, dude, we need to do more farm sim. The the farm is in a bit of a dire situation in that game. We're getting there though, we'll fix it. Three quarter of a million in debt. I'm sure we'll find a way. Left finds a way <laughs> on the farm. Why can't it be both, Jeff? It's not mutually exclusive on that Venn diagram. <laughs> hey Maxim, how you doing? You alright? How you been? Welcome to our weird corner of the internet. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> We're just pootling around being silly sausages today. Yeah, Easter hours. I think the other thing I got to bear in mind is blooming clocks and that when the, that all changes. We haven't done it yet in the UK. Isn't that this weekend? I think it's this weekend. Correct me if I'm wrong. I might get, get, get muddled again. I need to check. Ooh. No, no, it's fine, Mark. We'll just hold a concert. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just hold a concert. <laughs> See if that's a mod they have in the game. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ooh, let's not crash. Hey, there we go. There we go. That's more like it. Thank you for the hydrate, Jeff. You're a star, mate. You're a star. I'm trying my best to hydrate today. I've been really bad with it the last couple of days. Ah! Someone else drove into me. I was trying to control that so I could try and get a little more out of it. If we don't do something fast, Didn't go to plan! Yes, yes. We're going to have a butt wiggle as well. Yeah, always love a good butt wiggle. At least I can butt wiggle in this chair. The bot wiggles are important. A bot wiggle a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> it's important, ladies and gentle spuds. <laughs> right, we need to do stream raiders on. I think this might have to be the last match and we'll swap to Star Wars. I'll give you... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you guys a choice, right? Because we can play till half seven. I'm happy to give it till six o'clock. If you guys want another half an hour on this. Head back to base. I'll do another half an hour on this if you want. Before we swap to Star Wars. What do you reckon? Should we do half an hour more? I need the toilet though. I'm going to go for a quick loo break. I'm so close on this. It's getting ridiculous. Ugh. Yeah, well, how about an extra half an hour on this, guys? And then we'll do Star Wars. I might have to just only do the one Star Wars game, though. We'll see how we go, though. Yeah, no worries, Blue. Thanks for playing. It's been good. I hope you've enjoyed it here. If there's anything you need, by the way, just let me know. We've got YouTube and other channels and stuff and the Discord, of course. If you need any of that, let me know. But thanks, thanks for being a good sport and hanging. Right, well, hopefully, I'll catch you around again sometime soon. Oh, dude, Nav, I need to... Look, I need to get on Total War with you guys at some point. It's on, it's on my to-do list. I'm trying to get everything, like, sorted out. And then we can play some games, hopefully. Do some chillaxing. If anybody does want the Discord of the other channels, just kind of there's a few new people here today. Uh, those are the links, guys. If anybody does want them, I post content every single day across most platforms. So there's always new stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll we'll, we'll see what we can figure out. Never. I need to. I need to. I need to fathom it all out. I also had somebody DM me today about a new D and D thing. So. I need to see what I can suss out. Um, I already have a finite amount of time in my week. So, I'm sure I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it and figure it all out. It's just, yeah, I need I need to I need to figure out what I can manage as far as like weekly obligations are concerned. Uh, right, I'm gonna go to the bog. Uh, I think we'll do another half an hour on this, and then I'm gonna swap to Star Wars. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a minute, guys. I won't be too long. Won't be long.
tears will drown and someday I know that Uh, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. But yeah, I think guys, what we'll do is we'll do half an hour on uh, this, and then we'll uh, we'll swap because I want to make sure we've got enough time to kind of mill about and do things. All right. Hey, Vinny, how are you? Welcome in. I hope you're doing all right today. Right, ready up when you're good to go. And I'll get us queued. Oh, okay. Just a, a grind thing. What should you do? Um. What is it you're doing? You're doing tanks, boats, planes? What's 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 the jam? What are you playing? And have you got a particular nation or set you're doing, Vinny? Tanks. Okay. Yeah, I'm not so good with tanks, Vinny. Um So uh as far as like progressing fast is concerned, if you've got premium, that will help you. That'll speed things up. Um if you're talking like free to do um do the assault modes to get the bonus um also there's free stuff in the bp yep that's fine it's fine uh there's free stuff in the battle pass earn all of that as much as you can that'll help you with getting silver um there's some silver and research boosters as well in there that you can grab so they're worth having um you can also get free premium vehicles through the battle pass there's normally one each battle pass so if you can grind enough levels you could get premium vehicles that way premium vehicles have a higher scaling on them um also as well with the modes arcade realistic and then sim in terms of the um scaling so if you're playing sim you're going to get more scaling than you would so if you're good enough you could play the more difficult mode and then get more out of it potentially but it really depends on your experience and what you're comfortable with no, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Bragan. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you're having a good laugh. Uh, don't worry, um, Thomas. We will do uh, Star Wars shortly. Just going to cram a little bit more in. Just going to cram a little bit more in, and then we will go to Star Wars. Um, But yeah, really, like I say, just grind as much free stuff out of the BP as you can. Get the, um, <laughs> get the, get the free premiums as and when you can. Um, and yeah, do those assault modes for the scaling. Uh, the... What are we talking about? The, um, the boosters. Make sure you upgrade vehicles. Um, if you can max the vehicle out as well, that'll help you out. Um, but yeah, if you can, if you can make sure you've got some stuff that's tier 3, like doing the BP stuff should speed things up. The other thing you can do, Vinny, is there's a currency in game called War Bonds. That currency is free to earn. Um, it takes a little bit of work to get. It's tied quite heavily to the battle pass. But uh, basically, you could slowly get that currency if you unlock the shop levels. 
you can then get premium vehicles that way. The shops rotate every BP. Yeah, but if you can do enough special tasks each battle pass to unlock the shop, the first level is like 10 but the uh, for, for the vehicles. Uh, the rest is like tier 6, which is insane. But um, but yeah, if you can get the first bit, you could get yourself some stuff in the in the lower tiers that's a premium. In theory, using your war bonds. Um, a long time ago, yes, I bought a bunch of the starter packs and stuff, Bregan. Um, in terms of most of what I have contemporary-wise, um, it's I'm I'm a content creator officially for for the game, Bregan. I'm in what's called the CC program. So I get a monthly allowance and I get a, a major patch allowance. So Snail, okay, the company that make this, Gaijin, they give me golden eagles um, so that I can access the content and uh, show it off to you guys, basically. And um, yeah, they'll drop stuff to me as well just to do. But again, it's all part of the program. I'm in what's classified as tier one. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, I can't really afford to spend money on the game, Bregan. Um, but by being part of the program, I, I have a better level of access to things that would cost money normally. How do I get it? What do you mean? How do you get what? Sorry, can you clarify which bit, Vinny? Sorry, I was having multiple conversations. I've got several different chat rooms open at the moment, so I'm keeping track of everything. Do you mean the, the war bond shop? Are you talking about the war bond vehicles? Sorry, if you can just confirm. Oh, the program. Um, it is... Oh, you need to be a content creator, Vinny. You need to make content. You need to hit certain minimum expectations and then apply. Um, I can give you the link to the program application. Bear with me a second. Obviously, it could be subject to change, so just bear that in mind. But there's the there's the link to their partnerships application area. There you go. But yeah, details on there obviously varies depending on where you make content and what you do. Sorry, I'm brain fart. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I'm in the I'm in the program. But yeah, so I get I get an allowance. I get an allowance, which is helpful because I I say I couldn't afford to spend money on this all the time. Uh, it'd be insane. Uh, <laughs> there's some good stuff though, and I do th I, I do agree with like you know helping by paying for the game because obviously servers and stuff cost money development costs money but yeah my income is limited so there's only so much i can buy um as i say there's there was a couple of starter packs i was missing that i grabbed a little while ago um but everything else has pretty much come out of my snail allowance basically from the program pretty much Somebody yeah no worries break and that's fine yeah you'll just have to hang in lobby while i'm uh doing this i still in match so again as you expand your roster out bring and it'll get better uh, i'm just trying to have a think Vinny, if there's anything bad but yeah tier three ready is where you want to get to Vinny. um let's say it opens up doing the bp stuff um challenges as well and obviously as you get higher tier as well the earnings go up to um obviously repair costs and that also go up as well so just again factor that in but yeah just generally just try and play the best you can if you can play in a mode with higher scaling. Um, the other thing as well is you may not have considered, but the uh, the boats have very high return rates. There's a lot less players playing those. Boats might not be your thing, but if they are your thing, you can get some really nice earning returns on those if you're into it. So maybe consider giving boats a try. You can get quite a lot of silver. Obviously, it's not going to help you with your tech tree progress with your tanks. But if you're finding you're on a bit of a silver bottleneck, it might be useful. Because as time goes on and as you get further into the tiers, the vehicles do get more expensive. So just bear that in mind. Um, they have quite significantly nerfed the amount of uh, research involved to get access to stuff. But it's still very grindy. Depends on how many vehicles you want to grind. Um, I tend to grind an entire tier set before I move on. Some people just wail up a single line. Um, it really is a personal preference thing. The upside to doing the wailing up one side of the line, however, is uh, you can then use the higher tier vehicle to then grind out the lower vehicles. Uh, one of the good things about this game is you don't need to be um, directly uh, grinding the thing before the thing that you're working on. 
Does it cost money to join the program? No. No. No, joining the CC program does not cost money. No. No, it is entirely at Snail's discretion who they let in, no, however. As I say, you need to be a content creator to be eligible and you need to hit the uh, minimum requirements. But no, there is no cost or fee or subscription associated with being a member of the CC program for War Thunder, no. They don't charge me anything for that privilege, no. Yeah, no, that's fine, Bregan. You're more than welcome to just sit and spectate. That's all good. That's all good. Come on. Let's slowly close the gap on this guy. He's turned around, which is annoying. It means he's pulling away from me. My vehicle's been quite slow, although I am catching him up now. Come on. Nah, he's burnt out. Okay, cool. Don't need to worry about him then. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, it's going to be this pocket over here. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay, that's going to make life interesting. Yeah, I have, a, I have a slight problem here. There's an awful lot of them that are staring at me right now. Um, hmm. No, please don't shoot me. Because I've got one directly above me as well. Okay, close but no cigar, right? I had a good try. <laughs> ah, it's fine. So as I say, you're being up to it, Bregan, so don't worry about it. It's gonna be tough for you. It's gonna be tough. Don't don't stress about it. Don't stress about it. Right, let's go back in again. Let's go again. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing alright. Points are a bit sucky, but it is what it is. You're not going to win every match. I think I got... How many? Okay, I got some more ground targets. Helps a little bit. Helps a little bit. It's fine, though. We'll keep going. <laughs> Slow together. Oh, right. It gets us a little bit closer. All right, so I'm 161 or 180. That's not too bad. I do really want to whale the um, silver for the... Uh, how much is the expertise going to cost? Let's have a look. Because I'm in like the 100 to 200k mark with a bunch of these. Mm, okay, some of these are actually cheaper than I expected. Yeah, those are left over. I, um, I had some allowance on the 19th that I spent. How'd you get eagles? You pay for them. That's the paid in-game currency. That's what Snail gives me so that I can buy vehicles and other bits and bobs to, to make content with. But yeah, eagle is paid currency. Silver you earn in-game, war bonds you earn in-game. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, there's some extra stats that'll help. But yeah, eagles are paid. Eagles are paid. Nope, you can't get eagles unless you pay for them. That's correct. Yeah, they are the paid currency and they support the development of the game. Um, you can get them included in bundles, but again, bundles are paid. Uh, right, let's do that. That's done. Of course, I can only get stuff for that, typical. Ah, uh, which is not what I want right now. No, you can get new planes. Tech tree, my friend, tech tree. You can get planes with Tech Tree. You do not need the paid planes to play this game. So, if I show you everything in the blue area, this side is research vehicles. These you get just by playing. What you do is you just click one and then you hit research. And you will slowly work your way through this naturally. You need to be playing the same vehicle type for that nation. So if I want Japanese planes, I need to play Japanese planes. If I want German tanks, I need to play German tanks, okay? The premium stuff is on the right-hand side. This is all in yellow. This is this is premium. These are premium vehicles. Some of them are marketplace. Some of them are for eagles. Some of them are in packs. They vary. Boost research? Yeah. Yeah, boosting research and all that is expensive. You don't need to do that. You can completely ignore that. 
No, you don't need to. Boosting research is optional. Optional. You don't need to boost research. It's skipping. You're paying to skip when you do that. It's not cost effective. Don't do it. W waste of time. Expensive. Ridiculous. Res every single match you play will earn you research. Passively. No, no, it's fine. I just want to make sure it's clear. The boosting research is just skipping time. That's all it's doing. It's an extra. It's expensive. There's no point. You're better off just buying premium vehicles. Um, or BP um, Battle Pass, which is like 2,000, 2,500 if you get it with the skip, I think it is. But yeah, yeah, you don't need the research boost. You all, you can passively research all the vehicles as long as they're in the blue section. Anything where there's a direct line, though, you need at least one of its predecessors. You'll see these tabs. You only need one in that tab, which will be the top one normally because they're codependent. They're basically variations of the same vehicle to then proceed on to the next bit. But yeah, just follow the lines down. You'll be fine. Just bear in mind, ranks have a certain minimum before you can progress to the next. You'll see a number there. That's how many vehicles you need to have purchased in the previous tier in order for this to unlock. So just bear that in mind as you're going along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You research wherever you want. But yeah, as I say, if it's in the blue area, you can research it. It's just it's just time. That's all it boils down to. Just make sure you're playing that nation and that vehicle to, to apply the research um, as you go along. That's all. But yeah, you do not need eagles to play this game. It's it's an optional extra. Obviously, there are some vehicles that are eagle only, but um, that's down to you whether you want to get them or not. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just make sure you've got something selected for research and you're good, Bregan. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. But yeah, you'll slowly work your way through. The other thing you should know as well, if you get a vehicle and you fully upgrade that vehicle, when whatever's next in the line, if you try and research it, you actually get faster research on it. So another reason to finish vehicles before you move on to the next. So if we take this vehicle, for example, here, if I finish it, which I have, because you can see that icon there, that very pale blue icon, that means it's completed. It means I fully upgraded it. I then would get a research boost trying to get this. But I need to use the vehicle in the battles that I'm playing. So if I finish the vehicle and I use it in the battle and I'm researching that next one in the line, I get a boost to my research. So you can speed up your um, research that way. So another thing to bear in mind if you want to be very targeted in the way you do your research. All right. I hope that helps. It's small little things like, that, that help. So... Sorry to bear in mind as you're kind of like picking and choosing what you want to research. But that, that it's it's like a minor thing, but it'll it'll help speed things up a bit. How you doing, Maxim? You alright? Alright, I'm gonna slowly move my way over. Let's try and get some of these. We need like 20 odd. Oh I know, I know you're chilling behind me. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get in there because I need to. I need to drop on as many of these as I can. Need to try and get in there. We will get there eventually. It'll be fine. But yeah, we need twenty. We need twenty ASAP. Probably not gonna manage it today. We'll probably get close, but eh, it's fine. It's a special task, so I can pick it up tomorrow. We're gonna be on a bit more War Thunder tomorrow, so we will slowly get there. Oh, the smoke? Uh, there's a hotkey for it. I can't remember what the hotkey for it is. That's that's in the settings area, Bregan. I believe there is some that have to be acquired by certain methods. But yeah, smoke is a default thing. Everybody has. I can't remember what the hotkey is. I never use it. If you type... If you go into the settings area and then type smoke, it should pop up. The other thing you'll probably want to go to do, Bregan, as a new player, make sure to set the uh, aiming distance up. By default, it's a lot lower than it should be. You're going to want to shove it on like 800. By default, it would be really, really low. Um, you can do it in the settings. You can also do it within the actual uh, fielding of your units in the middle of the match as well. I'll show you in just a second how to do it. But yeah, you're going to want to up that because it's way too low by default. Which could be really bad for aiming in planes. It makes it really finickety and annoying. Fuck. Right, hang 
I'm gonna crash this. <laughs> oh my god, am I gonna say do I get a soft landing for that? Please say No, didn't. Okay, rip. I thought I was gonna get away with that for a minute. Okay. I'm surprised it didn't explode. I'm I'm surprised about that. That was some lucky BS. Oh shit, I forgot to show you the thing. Whoops. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. Brain thought. I'll show you the thing in a minute. Sorry, autopilot brain kicked in. But yeah, there's, a, there's an option for the aiming. You, you'll need to mess with that. But that, that'll help you. The other thing you can do is you can enable the delayed bomb thing as well. That can be quite useful. You just have to bear that in mind, though, if you're trying to aim and drop bombs on things. Because they won't immediately go off once they drop and hit the ground. The timer kicks in from after the time they impact the ground. I've got mine set to one and a half seconds. It gives me enough time to get away if I'm going in low and crazy with it. Don't like the fact there's two enemies there, but okay. I need to move away. I need to try and buy myself some time because I've got to wait for this reload to finish off. Come on. Get it down to about 15 seconds and I can turn around. Come on. Oh, I should be good now. We're going to miss the first few, but that's fine. Um, We will suss it out. Sure, it'll be okay. Oh, yeah, everything's miles away. Yeah, you know, we're good, we're good. If anything, I've kind of overdone it, to be honest, actually. Keep it up and victory will be ours. Yeah, I've given myself a little extra space. That's fine, though. I'd rather have a little extra than not enough. As uh, there's, there's three, four seconds in that, I think, of give. All right, we'll drop that one, and I'm going to try and drop another one on this howitzer. Right, and then we'll leave that. Um, yeah, I mean, we're ahead at the moment by about a thousand points, so we're doing okay. We're getting there. We aren't getting there. I've... <laughs> yeah, they're going to come in on me. Okay. Right, I'm about to get splattered. They're coming in high behind me. It's probably going to be a tail cut, I imagine. They're coming in above. Or oh, they might pilot snipe me. They've taken out the gunner. Okay, engine fire. No? Okay, didn't go out the way I thought it would. <laughs> I lasted a little while. Not long enough to do anything, but eh, shit happens. Right, let's go for the B7. I'm trying not to use my backups unless I absolutely need to, but... I need to I need to try and cram as many of these in as I can. We are getting there, however. We are getting there. Progress for the progress, God. Um Hey, I got an aircraft destroyed. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's a little little after the fact, but it still counts, so that's the main thing. We still got it. That's the main thing at the end of the day. We got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Right, let's, uh... I've only got 1-800 on here. We need to find a big pack. Um, I I don't mind. I don't object to playing jets. I'm just... I don't have very many of them, and prop planes is where my experience is. Oh, it doesn't have to be spaded? Okay, sorry. Correction, then. So it's just use the preceding vehicle then. Okay, well that makes it easier then. Sorry, I was I don't know why I was under the impression it had to be um completed first, but okay. Even better then. Thanks for the help, by the way, Vault. Thank you. Sorry, I do brain fart and get things wrong occasionally. Appreciate the help. How you been, by the way? Everything okay? Ah! I'm losing bits of my plane. 
They got the pilot. They got the pilot. I got it lined up, but lost the pilot. Ripperini. Oh, right. Yeah, here's what I was going to do. Gun targeting. This is the thing you want. Reagan. It's set lower by default, but yeah, set it to 800 if you get a chance. Uh, and there's the bomb activation time as well. So if you want to set a bomb activation fuse, you can. That's where you do it. That's where you do it if you want to do it. Possibly Volp? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, off the top of my head, I don't know. Either way, I mean, there's a research bonus. That's the main thing. It helps. Hi, Hidden. How are you? Everything all good? Are we doing all right? I am so hungry. I don't know what we got for dinner tonight. <laughs> I had a pot noodle this morning when I said pot noodle. It was like a it was like a rice pot. It was like naked noodle pot things, but with rice in it. It was like a um, Malaysian curry, I think it was. And then I had some toast with ham on it. <laughs> really random breakfast. I'm so hungry though. Keep it up and victory will be ours. I didn't know what to have this morning and I didn't really fancy scrambled egg on toast. Your pizza. Oh, Pizza good. Jamie wants it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. I really don't know. I need to I need to figure something out. I'm sure I mean I might have my um lasagna tonight with my mom. I'm not sure though. Depends on what she wants to do. Oh what's well unhidden? That's awesome. Well done, well done. Ooh, okay, way too close to the ground. Ouch. Way too close to the ground. Um. Oh, match over. There we go. Right. I think we got time. We'll squeeze one more in after this, and then we'll. Uh, I think we'll swap game after that, guys. We'll do a hot swap. Oh, slowly getting stuff unlocked. Slowly but surely. Oh, I'm so close. I'm like nine off. Dang. Okay. Uh, right. So we're partway through that. Ugh, these bombers have got a way to go. Oh, there is. Right. So this. Right. See, the when I Googled it, Volp, the seven one was the only one that came up. Uh, yeah. For hockey, I was predominantly in defense and goal. Yes, yeah, Bragan. Mm hmm Yeah. I don't play hockey these days. But yeah, I did I did when I was a teenager. It's been it's been a while. I used to compete in it. Been been a good old long while, but yes, I typically played defense area and, and, and the goal. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, okay, so there is a gen at five seven then. I'm sure there's some stuff at like 6.3 and 6.7, but I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. There's so, there's a couple of those like weird exception ones. There's not too many of them though. At least I'm not that I'm aware of, but anyway. Eh. I need to mooch into it. Again, it's getting into that territory where it's kind of out of where I know. I need to do more research and get used to all that stuff. But again, as I progress into doing jets, it's going to become more familiar over time. I just need to, to give it a go. I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> I'm so used to tier 3 and 4. That's what it boils down to. That's kind of my sweet spot, to be honest. That's my little happy spot. And to be honest, tier 3 and 4 are quite useful, given everything else that goes on in the game. So, they're, they're a decent spot. There's also a decent amount of players playing at that BR as well. Yeah, I think I might have that vehicle, Brigan. I don't know off the top of my head, though. I'd have to search it. I would imagine I have it, though. Right, one more match. One more match, and then we're going to switch game, guys. One more match. Are you ready, Bregan? Yeah, ready up if you're good to go. We'll get one more in and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna swap the Star Wars. Yep. 
Okay, cool. Let me take us in. <laughs> right, and we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I really need to figure out what I'm doing for dinner tonight. I'm absolutely bloody clueless. Ah, I really got to suss it out. Right, let's get a couple of good drops. If we can get a good couple of drops at the start of this, we'll have this. Might not be able to nail it, but we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> we'll give it our best shot. That's all we can do. Oh, what set are you playing? Oh, you're playing Germany? Whoops. Oh, it's all right, Brayden. It's okay. 6.3, you're the HE16. Yeah. AR24. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's around that point it all creeps in, though, Volp, isn't it? So. I'm, I'm, this is the thing. With a few of the sets, I'm starting to encroach on all that now, so. I'm kind of reluctant to push it, though, at the moment, till I, till I get everything else sorted out. Because I got a bazillion and one things to research anyway, so I'm not in any like crazy mad rush. But yeah, like my American, British, US assaults, th th those sets at the very least are encroaching on it. I think my Israeli set is as well. I need to check on that one though, I'm not 100% sure. I need to double check. Uh, but yeah, I've got a bunch of. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got quite a few that are kind of getting into that ballpark area. Uh, well, I'm not going to switch from War Thunder to War Thunder, am I, Bregan? I'm, as I said before, I'm going to be swapping to, um, I'm going to be swapping to Star Wars. The devs have very kindly sent me a code for it, so we'll be playing that today. Um, if you mean when am I going to play War Thunder next, it's in the schedule for tomorrow. If you want the schedule details, it's in the Discord. Um, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday normally. I am going to be streaming Saturdays this month, though, to make up some lost time. Due to having to take some time off due to a family emergency. So you will also catch me Saturdays this month. Um, I start midday GMT, and I normally stream till about half seven, eight o'clock p.m. Um... But yeah, what's on in a given day is in that Discord. Generally speaking, War Thunder will be first thing, and we typically do game swap overs around between four and half five normally is when game swap overs normally occur. Ah, uh, you don't get points from crashing into vehicles, Bregan. You won't get the kill for that. If you kill it just before it hits you, you'll get credit. But actually impacting another vehicle to take it out kamikaze style won't get you anything. It's to de-incentivize people throwing away their planes, basically. You got an assist? That was probably because of prior damage that you did to the vehicle before you slammed into it. You survived? Okay, well in that case, uh, I guess I can only guess some shots got laid into it that did it. And then you got the assist for it. But yeah, actual impact and die on an enemy won't won't get you anything but yeah if you do damage to him and then he dies and you don't different story but sorry the way you phrased it to start with made it sound like you just crashed straight into him and that was it But yeah, you get points for assist, you get points for everything that hits an enemy target in terms of shots, if it does some damage. Uh, capturing sites will get you points. Uh, bombing ground targets or eliminating ground targets with ammo as well. Um, working with teammates in proximity with them. There's like some teamwork awards and stuff like that that you can get. There's, there's a whole bunch of different ways to earn points and, and, and progress. There we go. We've got a zone cap, so that's another one, for example. Um, there's also, like, these stealthy kill things as well. Shadow Stalker, I think it's called. I can't remember. I think that's where you kill someone, but they didn't fire a shot at you. If I remember correctly. But, yeah, there's a whole variety of um, ways you can do it. So, yeah... 
I think there's a list of all the awards and stuff um, on their wiki. So if, if in doubt reference that, that's quite useful for that kind of stuff. Twisted me. All right, we're gonna pop out that one. Let's get another one. Have I got any more bombers? Let's have a look. I do not. Let's actually use the backups because I got a chance of um, getting this. Welcome back, Nev. Do you have a safe journey home? Everything all right? How you been? Good. What have you got for dinner? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We're going to be in space shortly. We're going to go into Star Wars next. Just doing this uh, match and then we'll swap over. Hang on, what do you mean Bambi? Do you mean Bambi? You eating deer? Or do you mean Bambi Goreng? Do you mean, is it, is it that, that's a noodle d dish, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean the noodle dish, don't you? Yeah, no worries, Brogan. That's all good. I'd say you're more than welcome anytime. And if you want the schedule information, info box has the general info. The uh, Discord has the day-to-day uh, -day specifics in it. But yeah, no worries. Thanks for playing, Brogan. I hope it's been helpful. Morph, I haven't got Far Cry in at the moment. I, I did do some yesterday. I'm going to see about Far Cry. I'll see where I can put it. But at the moment, I've got to figure out the slots for things. I haven't released next month's schedule yet. Uh, there's a couple of things I need to squeeze in there. So bear with me on that one. But I'm going to try and do what I can to accommodate people. But yes, I would like to do more Far Cry. I was thoroughly enjoying Six. Um, if you miss the VOD, Thomas, it is up on YouTube. But yeah, we've had we've had two sessions on Far Cry 6 so far. No, no, it's all good. It's all good, Thomas. Not a problem at all. As I say, I will update the schedule info in the Discord. Um, as I say, there's just a couple of things I was waiting on info for, which is why I haven't released it yet. I normally get the next month out a week before the end of the previous month. Normally how I do it. Things are just a bit ad hoc and subject to change as well. I hate messing you guys around with changing things, but sometimes it's necessary. So, it'll be fine though. We'll figure it all out. We've got some fun stuff next week though. We've got some special stuff. We've got Dragon's Dogma 2 tomorrow. So, it's going to be busy times. Um, I can confirm I will be doing Horizon Forbidden West. Um, there's something else that's coming up, but I can't give you any details of at the moment. But as soon as I can, I will. Come on, let's see what we can do. Try and flatten this out and try and drop these. No, nope, no, nope, they got my vehicle. I completely shredded it. Rip. I'm going to be so close on this and it's going to really annoy me. <laughs> I need nine. I need nine of them. How many have we got? We've got... We got five. Great. I need another four. Okay. Mm, that's going to be tough. It's not impossible. It is not impossible. You know what? There's a batch of four there. I'm going to take my chance. I think that's a bash before that. Right. We're, we're going to try and go for this set over here. And i got to just hope I can A, get to it. And B, we can get a decent drop on it. 6.0 for USSR and UK. 6.7 for US. Japan, Sweden, 7.3. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's it's sixes and sevens basically is where the yeah. The enemy is yeah, so I was roughly right. It is a bit all over the place though, isn't it? Right, please hit, please hit, please hit. That first one was a bit wonky donkey. Where is that enemy? Oh, they're down there. Right, let's stay over here. The and we're gonna climb the out the way. We can't let them keep it. No! No! Oh, they were hits, but they weren't damaged. No, I don't want bases. I need ground targets, Thomas. It's ground targets specifically. I need four of them. There's no way I'm getting a base. Come on. I mean, there's a base that's low there, but I need to get I need to get multiple targets, and there isn't much left. Yeah, it's it's the ground or water target challenge, Thomas. Oh, that BF109 is going to come for me, isn't he? You little shit. Ah! Yeah, I'm in trouble. I got I got multiple enemies that want me out. Okay. I've got to line this up. Come on. Shit! I don't think those are going to hit. Okay. Come on. Please. Another zone captured. We have the advantage. No, don't think those are gonna hit. Ah, rip. We tried. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> That's fine. At least it's a special. I can come back to it tomorrow, and we'll get it quickly. It just would have been nice to clear it today. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> I think the bombs on that one were small as well, which is probably why I only got the hits on the previous drop. Not enough splash damage to get them. We should win this match, though. We got that going for us, at least. So there's that. We got that going for us. Do, 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 do. Right, come on. Yeah, they... I mean, they got 7k points, but they're gonna, they're gonna get absolutely pepperonied. I think their team is just melt... Yeah, their team is melting. <laughs> Look at that. Um, yeah, I don't think they're gonna last very long. I don't think they're gonna outlast the 7k points, to be honest. I think they're gonna all be dead before that even happens at this rate. They are getting, uh, well and truly shredded. Our victory is near. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Come on. Sorry for my poor pilot. He's gonna be sick. Okay, that one's down. And that one's basically out as well. There we go. <laughs> GG. Um, yeah, that enemy is going to be a little bit more of a problem. I'm not going to be able to climb up to that, but okay. Um, yeah, that that one's going to be a slight bit of an issue. Let's, uh, ooh, hello. Oh, there's some more down here. Okay, let's go for these instead. View fighter should be all right, because that won't be able to fly around quite so aggressively. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey! Yes, right. There we go. Right, we made it. We made a substantial dent in it. We didn't quite get that. What on earth is that? A new decal, Sentai. Okay, cool. Okie pokey. Right, cool. Let's grab those. Right. Yep. Yeah, so I just need four more next time I'm on. Right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Um. Right. Let me. Um. Let me just put everything on a cover screen a second and. And I'm going to swap everything over. We'll hot swap. We're not going to hang around. I want to I want to try and get swapped over fairly quick. So 
Um, bear with me just two seconds. We'll have a little bit of a yap and a chat while I do this. All right, it shouldn't take me too long. Right, let's get this swapped. Let's get it swapped over. Let's have a look. Where is the game? Let me find the game, Star Wars. Alright, it's going to be on mute initially. Just let me check it's all good first. Right. Okay, let's let's swap the titles. Um, Captain Derp. Captain Derp. Saving the galaxy. Let's go with that. Saving. <laughs> it's Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. There we go. I think we'll start with one. That seems like the sensible place to start. Star Wars Classic. Oh, hang on. It's Battlefront. Battlefront. Oh, is there no Classic Edition? Interesting. I don't see a classic collection directory. Okay, interesting. I guess we'll just go in the Battlefront directory. I guess that makes sense. That's probably the best place to go. Ah, uh, let's go there then. Not Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Star Wars. Mmm, lovely. Star Wars. Yeah, I think I think we need to go see a doctor if you've got Star Wars. No, I'm doing it on dashboard, don't worry. It's fine. I have it covered. It's fine. It's just if the directory doesn't exist, I can't live in it, can I? That's the problem. But it's fine. I've got it set. I don't do it via the chat commands. It's a pain in the butt. I don't bother with that. It's, uh, yeah, just a more annoying way of doing it. All right, let me find Star Wars. Sorry, I'm changing multiple here, so it just takes a few seconds to do. But we are done. We are sorted. Right, let me, um... Hang on, I need to check the sound on this, because I have my sound set up in a slightly weird way. Right, okay, that should be fine now. Right, let me enter that one. Right, it's still going to be muted for you guys, so don't panic. I will bring it up on screen in a second. Bear with. We're nearly there. Come on, let me in. Let me in, let me in. I'm going to be sorry. Okay, give me two seconds, guys. I... Where is it? Where's the cap? Where is it gone? Oh, there it is. There it is. Right, come on, pop up. There we go. Right, we're in now. <laughs> Sorry about that. This one's uh, slightly weird because it's got a couple of games injected in it. So, right, let me unmute the sound. It should be good now. Right, okay. No, we're fine, we're fine. Just got, I, want, I want to hop a swap rather than taking my time. So we're just getting a little bit quicker today. Um, I think what we'll do, though, is we'll plug a controller. Uh, do I want... Hmm. You know what? Let's try with the PC controls. And then if it's not great, then we'll swap the controller. And I think that's what we'll do. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it feels. How are you doing, by the way, Ghost? Everything all good? Uh, right, we'll start with single player. We'll try some multiplayer later. And we'll see how it pans out. But yeah, just full disclosure, guys. I have been given this for free. 
the the developers and um sandbox strat hooked me up with it so we will see how we go with it um can we f uh can you fly i believe there's flying in this yes um it's been this is obviously like a redo of, of an old game thomas so right let's go with let's start let's just start with the clone wars why not Let's just start with the Clone Wars. That's probably a good starting point. So, we've got a battle of... Oh, okay, it's locked them all. Okay, yes, yeah, so we've got to progress them. Okay, let's just do them in order, then. The rebel of Naboo have Boom. Dared to raise an army let's do this. Take a legion to the fields let's do this. Them all of them. All right, destroy the mobile shield generators. Eliminate all of the fan bass. Wipe out the entire Gungan Grand Army. Okay, cool. Right, that's that's sensible objective. Let's try not to get murdered in the process. Right, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Obviously, we're playing the first one. We might check out the second one later. Select spawn. Yeah, we'll just go with the default. Dem Oh, I didn't want the demolition. Okay, well, I'm a demolition droid, apparently. <laughs> I should have been more careful. You know what I should have done? Is it working? Yeah, it's working so far. We haven't done much, though. It's gone it's loud. Okay, hang on. Ow, 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 my eardrums. Jeez. Let me, let me dial back the noise. <laughs> Very loud! Right, that's a bit better. Oh, I just killed a friendly. Whoops. Yeah, this is a single player. Yeah, we don't know what the multi's like. Ow! I got killed by Jar Jar Binks! What the hell? Um, I pr yeah, I probably want a battle droid. That probably made more sense. Oh, can I ride those? The little duck things. Oh, I want to ride a duck thing. Duck dino. Oh, that's the grenade button. Okay, I found the grenade button. I just killed Jar Jar. <laughs> More than likely. More than likely. Ow! Ow! Whoa! Okay, there was a turret. Ouch. I do like the battle droid. I do like I like me some battle droid. Come on, let's get her. Oh, whoa, whoa! Ow! Okay, but oh, them and their grenades. Seriously. Oh, there's more on the hill over there. Let's do that. Whoa! Okay, what was that? God, I'm just gonna try and eliminate him as best I can. Let me see if I can go. Ow! God dang it, the turret every bloody time. Oh, there's a dude on the turret. Hang on, if I can. Hang on, I have a Batman plan. Uh oh. Yeah, let's try not to get smushed. Actually, can I get a vehicle? No. Not here, at least, anyway. Let's, um. Let's see what we can. I will try and I mean we are winning on points at the moment how long it's gonna be that way I don't know there's a dude on that turret okay got rid of him there we go yeah I want to take the shit there was a guy on that turret that was the problem oh they're lives okay yeah it's been a while since I played something like this. Ah, bloody turret! Someone jumped back on it again. You know what? Rocket launcher. Dude, dude screw it. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna rocket launcher them. I don't care. <laughs> Blow them all to smithereens. Oh, 
Jar Jar's got a friend. Right, let's 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 hope they ignore me. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to get to the shield. The problem is, I'm I'm gonna go into the shield. The problem is, I want to sneak in there. Ow! God dang it! Ouch! I got smashed! I want to get in there! I want to sneak in! Can I, can I, look, can I, right, okay, this might sound weird. Can I wear one of them as a skin? <laughs> that sounds a bit creepy, I know. What I'm thinking is if I pretend to be one of them, Trojan horse tactics. If I skin a Gungan and then wear it as a dress. Right, then I can pretend to be one of them. Right, and then, and then once I've done that, then I could, I could just say Misa Cha Cha Binks, and then, and then, and then I will totally convince them I'm one of them, and they'll let me in, and then I can blow their turrets up, espionage style, from the inside. I'll slip in, I'll slip in there, and then I'll wreck them, and everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. If I just slip in gently. I'll just wear them like a pair of slippers and it will be fine. Right? Problem solved. Problem solved, okay? See, that's the best traps right there. at me, you cheeky peanut. Yeah! Okay, I'm out of grenades. That's kind of bad. I really ought to go and get some more. I think you can get from the spawn point, if I remember. Ah! Don't charge her, don't kill me. I'm cute and fluffy, I swear. Oh, that's a friendly. I need to not shoot the friendlies. That, that's generally a good rule in warfare. Don't kill your friends. That's how you make more enemies. Come on! Oh, that's a friendly. God dang it. What does it mean shooting friendlies? I need to stop doing that. Misa, so cute! Sorry, I'm a weird robot. It's cool, though. I'm... Um, oh, I have no more ammo. Okay, I need to go replant. Hang on. My droid is a little bit poopy. Can I have some more, please, sir? Uh, dispense me some... Oh, cool! It's a cute robot! There's a dustbin on wheels, as I like to call them. Is there an interact button? Pistol. Okay, we'll use the pistol then. Problem solved. Problem solved. We'll just use the pistol until it runs out of charge, because apparently it's using cheap batteries. Okay. Is, is this a Sith problem? Do they only buy the cheap batteries? Do they only buy the cheap batteries? Darth Vader skimped out on batteries, I'm telling you. Darth Vader skimped on batteries. And the rest with the accuracy of the dudes. How does it at all costs? Oh, we got ATs. Okay. Hey. Boom. Love it. I probably shouldn't drive vehicles. Me driving vehicles equal bad. Plaza. Yeah, AATs. Okay, cool. So. Oh, I could be a cute roly ball! Oh, heck yeah, we're being a cute roly ball. Right, before we do that though, let's do, um, let's do this. And then we're gonna be a little roly ball. Roly Polymon! 
There we go. <laughs> yes, I know what they are, but I like to give them my cute little names. Is it really bad? Crispy, I misread that as droid Ikea for a second. <laughs> Welcome to droid Ikea. It's the Sith with Sweden and meatballs. <laughs> In a galaxy far, far away, Sweden took over the Empire. And they wanted to force meatballs down everybody's throats. And there was a man. And he, he had his Swedish meatballs. And he, he was really mad when he didn't win a competition one time. So he decided to kill everybody with meatballs to seek revenge. <laughs> That's a new Star Wars plot that we need. Star Wars Ikea, the furniture wars. <laughs> One man's journey to shove meatballs down everybody's throat. <laughs> they are cute. Oh, come on. Who won one of those as a pet? I've only watched the first film, Volp. Darth Maul lasted all of like two seconds in that one. <laughs> Which doesn't help matters. Which is a shame, because he's like the best character in it. I've only seen The Phantom Menace. Yeah, I've, I know about memes from the other ones. Oh, I have a shield. Okay. Can I sprint? Oh, we have a zoom. Okay. Ooh, shiny. Turn into... Yeah, I need to figure out how to turn into a ball. This is where we smash all the buttons. I need to... Smash all the buttons. Yeah, I tried left shift already. It's not bad. Let me have, let me have a look in the menu. Options. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm about to do. Jump. Crouch, zoom, view. <laughs> I know, right, Kura? I just really hit but this. This ball of robot hates architecture. Reload R. Well, that makes sense. Enter is E. Is there like an alt mode button somewhere? Hang on. Does that count as vehicle? Crap. Yeah, maybe. I don't see a sprint button, so... No, it's not that. No, the cute and fluffy robot ball. That's what I am. Right, I'm just going to press all the buttons and then hope that something makes it roll. Please roll. Oh, God, the aim on this. Ah, it's difficult. Oh, my God, it's the enter button. Really? Okay, it's the enter button. Apparently, I'm entering my own butt or something, I guess is the logic. I don't know. I guess it's like enter vehicle mode. I guess that's the logic. Oh, that's a droid. I probably shouldn't kill them. I am one of them. Whee! Whee! Oh my god. What the hell, dude? No, my robot! How rude! Cha Cha Robot is not amused. How do. Ooh. Oh, I want to... Oh, I want to jump in that. 
This is a war. I know it's a war, but they have to play rock, paper, scissors with me. It's only fair. Whee! Hello, sir. I'd like to ask you about your droid insurance. Would you like an upgraded plan for the Clone Wars? I need to change. I need to change to a different enemy. No, ally, whatever. Droidy McDroidy face. Battle droid. I want in your robot, McGuffin. Give me your robot! I want the robot, McGuffin. Why can't they? Just give them a lift, Crispy! They need a battle lift! It'll be cute! Give them a little lift. Give them a little battle lift. That's how you make them happy. You give them a battle lift. There, killed a dude. Ow, ow, whoa, who the? That was rude, mate. Very rude, sir, you naughty boy. You're a very naughty sausage. Right, anyway, back to the fighting. Oh, God, there's a whole bunch of them. Ah! Go somewhere sneaky. Oh, really? Ah, the more you know. Do I jump off? This is full damage the thing in this. Oh, my God. I found some friends. Hi! Ow! Ow! Oh, they had a turret. Sneaky. Okay, I gotta... Can I jump in this? Ah, <laughs> sure has power. If I can learn how to drive this thing, the power. Fear my battle tank. Fear me, for I shall eat you in the face. Hello, sir. You got face insurance. I'd like you to meet my friend. It's called the tank. Get off me! Sir, ah, that's rude. Naughty boy. You're a bad boy. Follow me. Oi! Right. No! No, Mr. Shrubbery Man, no! Back away! No! No, my tank! My little tank! Oh, there's no fair! My little tank! You're a very rude little sausage. Right, let's let's get back in there. I'm gonna lose this battle. Ow! 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 In all fairness, it was fun playing around with the robot. I need to capture the flag somehow. Oh god, that's a grenade! Pineapple! Yeah, no shit, mate. Ah, they keep spawning. Please get rid of them. I need to get the side. Ow! Dang it. Oh, I think I'm going to lose. I need to capture these. Come on, there we go. Right, let's go, 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 go. There, there is that ghost. There is that. There is that. Now, I know there's like a command mode in this. Oh, no, go, go! That was rude, mate! Very rude. Can I melee them? I don't think there's a melee button in this. Not that I remember anyway. I don't remember the... I, I don't know. We're going to have to have a bit of a refresher on this. We, we need a major refresher system. System? S session, sorry. Blech. Ow! Whoa, there's three of you and one of me! And a 
vehicle now. Great. Oh, great. Now they're hopping back in the vehicle. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Right. I think we need to use the tactic mode to try and tell them what to do. So that'll help. That'll help a little bit. Um... Yeah, we got Ball and Nabu, and then we got the Rebellion. Right, let's go Rebellion again. Yeah, 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 I'm the best security ever. Totally legit. Totally, totally legit. Hey, what's this about robot legs? What did I miss? Who gets robot legs? I don't know about that. Let me check the controls again. So I want to make sure. Oh, Vader. Oh, okay. Where's this? There's like a tactics mode, isn't there? Where is it? At ease, follow, move out. Okay, so I need to use the F buttons. Okay. Right, so basically, follow, follow me is F2. Right, okay, let's do that. Let's go. Right, how much attention they're going to pay to me or not, I don't know, but we're going to figure this out. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh god, I should have named my own troops. That's kind of bad. Shrey, the queen of friendly fire. Okay. All right. I guess I'm not having the the uh, the, the tank. Okay. Ow. I see we can use the balcony a bit. More got robot legs. I thought he just like died, died, and that was it. I thought that was the end of him, the, like the rest of the series. That's what I assumed anyway. The more you know. The dude chopped him in half. How the hell did he survive that? He literally chopped him in half. <laughs> oh my gosh, that that's a hell of a job for him to do that, right? Let's um Oh god, this is gonna go boom. Ah! Okay, maybe I shouldn't have run the tank in there. Yeah, maybe running running the tank head on into it was not the Oh hey! What the hell are you doing in here? Oh my gosh. True, true vault. Yeah. They're being sneaky. They're trying to like cap our shit while we're that's not good. Right, we're actually ahead this time. Ow! Okay. I got shot from the other side. Rip. Follow me! Beat boat, beat boat. Flanking maneuver. We're gonna flank. We're gonna try and we're gonna try and sneak in and grab a site. While they're not looking. That's what I'm gonna do. That's my Batman plan. Oh, I love that they're helping me. Oh, 
I can't crouch. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. Yeah, we kept the sight. GG. Follow me. Follow me, squad. Squad, squad. Squad, squad. Gonna try and infiltrate the back lines. That's how we're gonna do it, boys. We're gonna infiltrate. Gonna infiltrate. They won't know what's hit them. At least that's the Batman plan, anyway. Um, yeah, there is a, there is, um, yeah, vehicles like that, yeah. They're only in specific levels, though, Thomas. But yeah, 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 there are, there are vehicles in this that you can do. But yeah, the X-Wings, I believe, is one of them. Ah, I don't know if it's in one or two, though. I'd have to check that. But if you look up, if you look up Battlefront 1 and 2, basically everything that's in that will be in this, basically. Follow me. I need to watch the rest of the films, Crispy. Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to get access to that. I need to unlock the levels. Whoa! Okay, that was loud. What the hell was that? Okay, I need to I need to be careful. I also need to not friendly fire. Friendly firing is bad. Let's try not to do that. Yeah, well I I'm literally I'm level two at the moment. We're in the second level. We're very early on at the moment. Dang it. They're really like wrecking me. It's fine now. We're going to figure it out. We'll be fine. Um, oh my gosh. It's ancient, Thomas. It's absolutely ancient. There's two of them. There's Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2. They are very old. Crispy, can you check? Because I can't remember the exact age of them. It's like early 2000s. They, they've been around for a long time. They've been around for a very long time. They just brought out this classic collection a week or two ago, which is why I've got it. Um, let's say the devs put me up with it, so hence I have it. Um, but yeah, it's got it's got Battlefront One and Battlefront Two in it. Yeah, two hundred five, two hundred four. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There's your answer. Hi, Canberra. How you doing? You alright? Come on. Cap. Right, we got the cap. We got the cap. Let's go for another one. Hey, victory! Boom, got it. We got it. Victory, victory, victory! It's not a remaster, Nef. No, they didn't um, actually remaster. It's just a straight up um, port, basically. Well, not port. It's not best phrasing for it. It's not a remaster. They didn't upgrade it in any capacity, visually. It's no. It's not born. It's not been brought up graphically. If that makes sense. It's just. Uh... The Wookiees continue to resist our overtures. It's just a straight up redo and brought up. To, yeah, re release. Yeah, that, that would be a more accurate way of describing it. It's a re release. Whereas, like, the Tomb Raider one is a remaster because they, they've actually graphically upgraded and done other things to it. But yeah, this is a classic collection. So it is literally the old game as is, but just modern, modern system compliant. Right. Wookiees are infringing on trade rights. Oh, great. Destroy their trade settlement. I'm sure they're going to love us for that. Count Dooku will assist you. Okay. All right. Count Dooku is going to help us. All right, let's see how we do. Right. No vehicles in this one. Capture the... Oh, we get a battle droid, though. 
I got a super battle droid. Okay, let's take this then. Heck yeah. Oh god, they're everywhere. Um, yeah, this is gonna get messy fast. I assume I can cross this fine, yeah. Okay, this is there. This is gonna get hard. Alright, okay, we just try and strategically eliminate them. He's basically just got rapid fire pistol, this one. We're just gonna go with it. Ow! Whoa! Okay. Okay, I just got my ass like kicked. Um, I might try a different one after this. We'll see. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I don't know. It does look a bit like a bin, doesn't it? A bin with like Terminator legs. Go cap this. Having a unit. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely got the vibes for that. Come on. I don't know where Dookie is. I know he's called Dookie. I like to call him Dookie. It's just funnier. Um. Count doo doo. Um. Come on, cap it. Yeah, this guy skipped like arm day or something. I don't know. He skipped arm day. He only did one arm. He's like, bye bye. <laughs> he skipped it. He invested all his effort in one arm. that word there's a reason for that Dre oh there's droid pilots just say fluff ball that everybody will know what you mean assault dro Ooh, i'm gonna try this i don't know if this guy's any good we're gonna just try him out Uh, in all fairness, that one I did never, and it's because of another streamer. I'm not going to go into details about it on stream. It's not that it's offensive, it's that I don't want a certain streamer's name mentioned in my chat, is all, because I have beef with them. I also would really prefer not to have their emotes spammed in here as well. Fine, I'm happy to clarify. Oh god, this guy is like a rocket launch. Ugh, I'm not sure if I like this. Mm. Yeah, you're very much a one-shot wonder with this thing. Don't know how to feel about this one. Um, I think we should go for. I think we might be better off with a battle droid of some variation. Oh, there's a... Oh, there is that Dookie. I think that's Dookie Doo over there. Let's go. Get her. Ah! 
Yeah, me using his anti-infantry is probably a daft idea, but that's fine. Or they put it in a match that doesn't have any vehicles. But anyway, there we go. Right, we, we won. We won. Right, okay, we won the match. We did it. <laughs> Yoda. Mmm, <gasps> battle new masts. Master window. Master window. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, right, so we've got to destroy the Separatist army. Destroy the Techno Union ships. Okay. Sounds like a Batman plan. Oh, hang on, I got tapped out. Hang on a second. Right, okay, no vehicles. Right, okay. Oh! Oh! Okay, we got some new ones. So we got an Arc Trooper, Clone Trooper, Clone Sharpshooter, and we got a Pilot. Okay, I think we'll just go with the basic Clone Trooper to start with. Oh! oh! tank as i like to call them okay cool nice very nice yeah let's go let's go let's go let's go let's do this hey you're right don't just oh ow dang it i'm having a hard time doing never use friendly and who isn't watched phantom menace that's the only one i've watched fully i need to watch the rest of them it's on my to-do list Cool. This this might be the way to do it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that, that's short there. Ouch. Okay, but we we can we can actually fly in this, right? I'll get there eventually, Thomas. It's there. It'll just take me time. It'll take me time. I'll get to them eventually. Oh, man. This uh, this one's gone bad. We're going to probably need to uh, restart this one. Let's go. 
Right, see if we can find a way to, to do something about this. There is an awful lot of them over there pushing. Come on! Try and hold them back a little. Come on! Oh my god, what's this? this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Enemies are pushing and I don't like it. We need to stop that. We've got to slow them down. We need to get this back somehow. How are we gonna do this? Um. Oh no, that's friendly. What the hell? Whoa! Okay, I killed another friend. <laughs> Whoopsie. How do I? I need to cap this site somehow. I don't want to get in this full position. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god, they're right in here. Jeez, we're just getting completely smushed. Oh, the sight's in there. Dang it. I'll try and uncap this so they can't use it. Damage here, am I imagining it? 95 to 160? I feel like this is getting a little better. I need cover fire. Right away, sir. No! We need the spawns, come on. Give me the sights. Right, okay, we have that, right. Go, 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 go. Let's let's cap some more places. Let's do this. Okay, that was a tad vicious. Is this glass or is this open? I think it's open. Yep, that's open. Ah! Oh, okay, yep. <laughs> uh, whoopsie. Yeah, let's, let's not do that. Oh my god, okay. Um, I need a lift. Probably picking this spawn might not have been the smartest idea. Although, can I use this? Oh my god, I can. Hello. How much damage is this? Okay, alright, I wasn't doing much damage, apparently. Okay, good old Spooder tank. Pushing back. They got way more lives, so right, I need to do something about it. Ow! Okay, I need to try not to get smushed again. Uh, 
yeah, it has to be TOS compliant, Thomas, and I need to check what it is before I say it. But uh, the, the option is there for people to want to use it. Right, let's get the site. Oh, no! We lost the spire again! Ow! Oh, that's a friendly shit, sorry. <laughs> I need to stop killing friendlies. I'm actually helping the enemy by accident. Can I break these? I can, they don't give me anything, okay. Good to know. Okay, they smushed that, right. Come on! Oh god, the bloody spider tag! No, how am I supposed to destroy those? I think I need to get one of the vehicles and try and do something about it. Give me a minute on the name thing. I'll um, yeah. I need to Google Translate it first. Hang on. Ow! Rip. <laughs> oh, I think this is gonna be dead soon. Right. I'm gonna have to come up with a strat for doing this. Um. Yeah, we got pooped on big time. We got massively pooped on. that difference. Ow! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, don't run out in traffic. Um... <laughs> oh. oh my god, there's so many enemies just in the spawn now. This is insane! Oh, Gordon Bennett has a grenade. I'm trying to hold them off, but this ain't gonna happen. Oh my god, there's so many of them! The robots are especially annoying, the little shieldy ones. Stormtrooper aim, so that's very fitting. <laughs> ah! Dang it. Right, okay. Let me do stream raiders and we'll, we'll figure out this language thing in a second. Hang on, let me um, have a move. You know what I mean! You know what I mean! Clone Trooper, Stormtrooper, you know the Doobry Watts it's. Look, I haven't seen all the films, all right? You gotta give me a little bit of benefit in the doubt with it. Are the Stormtrooper ones like Darth Vader's ones? Or some... I don't... Someone explain! No, they're all... Oh, God, talk about bloody confusing! Oh, is that Bo Polish, Thomas? That's what Google Translate says it is. 
Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Sorry, look, this is where I'm missing. Like I said, I've only seen Phantom Menace. <laughs> look, if I had to guess how to pronounce it, um, Thomas, I'd go with Bodzo C. Luby. Oh, God, that sounds really wrong. Bodzo C. Luby Pani Tomasu Tuya Sha. There we go. I, look, that's my best guess. All right, that's the best guess I got. I'm probably a million miles off, all right? That's my best guess. Come on, let's see if we can beat this level. I want to try and beat this level. We've got enough time for one more of these today. Sorry, I'm just going to clean my queue out because there's a load of stuff in here I didn't clean out earlier. Right, okay, there we go. Right, let me do... Right, let's do that. Right, let's try this one again. We're gonna see if we can do this. Right, let's try and do this slightly differently. I want to get in the vehicles early on and try and smush theirs. That's what I'm thinking. If I get a stormtrooper, get in a vehicle and then try and stuff them up. Yeah, here we go. We got a tank now. That's that's my Batman plan. Oh shit! I killed one of ours. Whoops! Sorry. Come on. Ah, I'm gonna try not to kill friendlies. Don't think these have an old fire mode. God damn, these things are tanky. Okay, we got one. We got one. We got one. I gotta turn around though somehow. Jeez. Oh, that was friendly. Sorry! <laughs> yeah, let's try not to get killed by friendlies. Or, well, kill my friendlies anyway. Let's try and get these stupid spider tanks. Spooder tanks. Okay, right. Spooder tank down. I think if we kill the spooders... We might be in with a decent shot. Chill on the lurking Thomas, don't worry. Come on. That jokes generally go down well here. Um come on. Can I cap while I'm in this? Probably not. Okay, we got a spooded tank down. That's friendly. But where are they? I'm gonna go down in a second to see. Let's get rid of all of these and they can't use them. I'm gonna try and get rid of all of these stupid turrets because I don't want them to use them against me. That's the Batman plan anyway. Oh, you got one of these little things up my butt. Okay. Come on! Ow! What the hell? Ow! Nope, we're not gonna lose the command post. We're gonna do this. We'll be fine. Get rid of the stupid spider. Take it down. Come on. Can I get out? Oh, no, nope, I lost it. Okay. I am feeling I've heard this joke before, Thomas. Ah, don't squash me. Separatist forces have lost the spire. Uh, right, let's let's go claim this and then we'll push it up. Let's 
because I want to stop me from spawning so close. <laughs> Ouch, Thomas. Ouch. God dang, there's one behind me there. Ah! Right, let's, uh, let's cap this. And then we'll, uh, have another go. Alright, we'll slowly take this and then we're going to try and get some sights. Um, follow let's, me. uh, try and get some units to follow me. Right, okay, we have a capture. Right, let's try and go for the next sight. Follow me. Okay, I got rid of him. Um, I'm playing against AI. Yes, it's single player story we're doing at the moment. We're playing against single player story. Um, let's go to that spawn point. So yeah, but there is an online mode for this. So you can play against other players. I'm doing, I'm doing story mode at the moment. Oh, we're slightly behind. I need to try and get rid of more of their lives. Oh, that's one of our guys. Okay, we are slowly clawing it back. Come on. somehow oh these things are deadly ow hmm okay right got him follow me Come on, I need some friends to help me. I need to try and try and clear some more out. Come on. Yeah, they're pulling ahead at the moment. I feel like I need to use the vehicles more. Assuming we have any, though. Um, let's spawn there. Are there any vehicles? I spawn some? I think they ordered... Oh, hang on, there's something here. Hang on, let's see if we can use this. Come on, let's try and use this to get ahead. That's what I'm thinking. I might be able to stay alive a little bit longer. Um, the, it has both. It has third person and first person, so you can pick. You have, you have the choice. You can pick what you want to do. You are not constrained in that regard. What I'm trying to do is use... I think this is definitely the way to go for this level. Because I've managed to pull a bunch of the, the level back. Come on. Oh, the sneaky bastards keep jumping. If I can keep clearing, come on, we can pull this back. I just gotta keep clearing at a decent rate. Ah! We've captured a command post. Oh, 
there's a bloody spider. Okay, spiders down. Spiders down. Thing is that there are spacecraft. I need to be. Ah, crap. I need to be careful because I'm going to end up eating myself if I'm not careful. Ah, just eat a friendly. I need to be very careful. Come on. Is there any way we can do something about these? Come on. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I'm being shot. No, oh, they got me. Ah, rip. Is there another vehicle? Please be another vehicle. Ah, I don't see any more vehicles. Crap. I guess we're on foot now. I need cover fire. Ah, pepperoni. Hi, Melanard. How are you doing? You're right. Enemy forces have captured a command post. We're just pootling around at the moment. I hope all is well with you. Yeah, this might want to be a re redo again. Ah. Oh, we did much better this time around. We did do much, much better. Need to keep working on it though. Yeah, this is this is campaign, yeah. Yeah. It's it's hard. This is our best run so far. This is my second attempt. But yeah, the um, the vehicles, the air vehicles definitely helped out a lot. But yeah, the um it's it's pretty brutal. It's pretty darn brutal. I'm enjoying giving it a go though. I just I need to figure out a strat that'll work. I think this is gonna be too little too late now, unfortunately. But yeah, using um using these definitely helped a lot. I just need to be in it for longer, really. But I think it's a case of too little too late now, sadly. Yeah, it's been it's been fun though. It's been good to try. I just I need to find a way of doing this. There's some pretty nasty vehicles in this one as well. Those spiders do a huge amount. Um, well, I'll say this, this, I can get this vehicle on this one. I don't think we can get any other vehicles on this other than the ones you can see on screen um, in this particular map. But other maps, there'll be other vehicles. It's just, yeah, certain maps and levels are locked to certain vehicles. Sorry. Um, yeah, what I have is what I have. Um, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, let's try this again. No, 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 it's all good, it's all good. You just need to find the relevant level for whatever vehicle you want to use. I know you're very keen on things like X-Wings and stuff like that. But yeah, not applicable for this particular one. Let's try this again. I want to try and... I need to try and get in a vehicle fast. Not the tank, preferably. Let's go in one of the planes. The tank was nice, but the maneuverability on it is so garbage. So let's get in one of these, quick. And let's try and eliminate things. We'll try and get rid of the big vehicles. To stop them from damaging our vehicle count early on. Don't know if I can kill them when they don't have uh, enemies in them. Come on. Go, 
God's sake, these things are hard to hit. Oh, you can? Okay, good. Thanks for confirming. Sorry, it's been a long time since I've played a Battlefront game, so... Good to know! I'm just thinking, I'd like to preemptively just yeet them, ideally. That would be the ideal situation. We're ahead, but not for long. Oh, come on. How much health this bloody thing got? Okay, there we go. Right, let's try and let's... Oh, that was an ally. Whoops. Right, I'm going to try and thin some ground out here. Let's see what we can do. the laser is is hard these things are especially annoying um right right we're just gonna keep trying to use oh god they're back with another pissing spider i mean i might not even need to kill the spiders if i can just keep them away from it there is always that Thomas. Come on. I want to try and see what we can do. Some more rounds here. Ow! Whoa! Ouch. I'm playing as the evil guys, not Jedi, so there's no force powers. Right, I need to go. Ow! I'm not, I'm not a Sith Lord. Ow, fuck's sake, because they took the bloody aircraft. Typical. There has to be some kind of strat to doing this level. It's annoying when they nick the vehicles. Please come back. I want the vehicle. Oh, God, you threw stuff at me. You made me panic. Okay. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Please give me. No, no, no. Don't steal it. Follow me. Come with me. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, I managed to stop him from stealing it. Right. Hi, Emerald. How you doing? You all right? Everything all good? You all right? Right, let's kill that. Ow! In all fairness, I thought he hopped in. If he didn't, whoops. No, I wanna... I need to get used to the controls. Oh, I have, I do have a secondary. Okay. Apparently it aims very low compared to everything else. Yeah, I'm on PC. Yup. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, these might be better for destroying these. few more oh that's a friendly let's try not to shoot friendlies yeah i'll try not to get my allies wrecked because that you know would be a bad idea i don't know how 
much impact the other aircraft are having in this fight. Probably something I should bear in mind. Right, what's going on on the other side of the field? Right, let's take that out. Oh, it's close! It's close! Ah, no! No, oh, don't wreck me! Let's, let's try not to get a butt squashed. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, come on, this is looking promising. That gap is small, we can do something about this. I'm gonna go down in a second. any more rocket unfortunately I have run out so I'm gonna make the best of what I have okay that's going down right good 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 ah! dang it oh please be another one no, no vehicle. Shit. We've lost the command post. I really need another aircraft to spawn. Come, I follow, come with me. Enemy oh, I need him to drop another one in. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I keep forgetting that was a thing. Yeah, that very, very good point. Oh, come on. This is so close. wrong ah! dang it oh it's so close oh there's one here yes 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 to be honest, because they're so passive and don't really say or do anything, it's it's easy to to miss. So I I can understand why. To be honest, when I first got in, I was completely ignoring them as well. So, no, I can completely understand. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Come on. Oh, the gap's getting really wide now. Widened up. This was going so well until I was stuck with that aircraft. It was going so well up to that point. This still isn't impossible. There's still a chance. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, what am I getting hit on? Oh, there's a rock. Okay, there's a rock I didn't know about. I need to be more careful. I need to be a lot more careful. Ah, they got me.
in a vehicle. Ah! I need cover fire. Yeah, without I need cover. that Let's vehicle, go. I think we're stuffed. Them. Come on. Ah, oh, it's too little, too late. Not unless I can pull some miracle out of my bot. Um, respectable attempt, but I don't think we're going to quite do it. Yeah, they are strong. 100% agree with you on that. The shield. The shield is just up way too long, honestly. Oh shit, that's a friendly fart. I gotta get rid of this thing. If I can get rid of this thing, I'm in. No! Ah! Dang it! Ah! Yeah, this is where all this goes. Sits up. Oh, so close. I think we're going to have one more attempt to this and I'm going to have to bounce for today. Oh, this is a difficult one. That was a much better attempt, though. Prevent the separatist from leaving the surface. We must. That was... Concentrate all firepower. That was, that was a much better attempt. Let's, let's do one more, one more go on it. That's all I got time for. But yeah, being in the aircraft definitely helps because I can get a lot of them killed with those. They're a, they're a big, big help, definitely. The oh shit, I spawned at the I wrong bit. Sorry, I'm going to be spamming this button in a second. God dang it, they're all going to hop in the bit. No! Don't hop in the bloody... No! Don't steal the planes. Don't steal the plane. Don't steal the plane. Don't steal the plane. Sorry. Right, okay, I managed to stop it. <laughs> right, I didn't steal the plane. See hee hee. Ow! I've got to learn how to control this. Jeez. I do like these missiles. No, 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 don't go down. Shit, I gotta figure out these controls. Ow! I gotta figure these out. I will get there eventually. Come on, there's gotta be some element of precision. Don't need to be insanely precise, but just enough to. The other thing is, I want to get rid of those stupid little droid things. Get rid of the shieldy droids, because they're annoying. 
I think those ones are the ones that are doing bulk of the damage. So if I can get rid of those, it's a big help to the team. So, you know, target priorities and all that jazz. I'm ignoring all the air units. I'm gonna let the um the AI dude in my vehicle deal with that. Oh, that's a friendly. Please don't shoot friendlies. That would be bad. Ah Dang it. Okay, right, let's go again. Please give me another Oh shit, I'm on the wrong spawn point again. Fuck! I follow me. Come with. Let's go. I need cover. Can you come down for me? Oh, okay. You can call them down. Ah, okay. Okay, right. I can guarantee myself them as long as I can see one. Cool. Okay, that made life better. Right, I can basically back and call one down to me. Ow! Right, that's gonna make life a little easier for me. If I can just... I need to figure out how to fly higher, I think. Ow! God dang it. I need to check the flight controls. Hang on. Controls, options, control, vehicle. Uh... How do I fly higher? Um, maybe I just look up. Let's hide, follow, let's come, hide, come, hide. No, come, come back, come back, come, come back. Need, come, follow me. I need cover fire. Come back down. Follow me. Oh, is he not gonna land? Well, oh, that's a slight problem. Okay. Come with me. Let's go. Yes, follow me. Right away. Nope, I think he right gave up. Down. Okay. All right, I guess we're walking then. Right, let's try and get some sights. Oh, God, I forget about how limp the grenade throw is. Ah! Objective acquired. I need a cover fire. Right, let's try this again. Yeah, it looks like it's based on where you're aiming. Okay. Right, I'm going to have to look up occasionally if I want to go up. Okay. Fair enough. We just got to bear that in mind as we're flying. Come on, let's destroy this thing. Right, okay, and look up. Okay, go rid of that one. Come on. We can do this. We can do this! I'm gonna try and be careful. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's one of friendly. I didn't mean to shoot the friendly shit. Have lost the 
right, let's take that out so nobody can use that. Right, that gets rid of that. Right, so they can't use that now. Right, let's rid of that dude. Ah, a little robot was hiding in there. Okay, you sneaky sausage. Oh, that's a friendly ah shit. Sorry, mate. Right, let's look up again. I want to try and take him out and not absolutely obliterate myself in the process. Come on. I'm trying to go for more precise. That's that's the name of the game. That's what we're going with. More precision, less rushing. Come on. I try and dodge more shots as well, try and survive a bit better. I don't think there's any way to replumb the vehicle stuff, is there? Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I can replumb the ammos, the special ones on this, can I? Okay, that guy's got yeeted. Right, we're gonna go over here. That guy's friendly, that guy's not. Come on, Let's get a few more. We're doing better, come on, come on. We'll focus this. Focus zone. Come on. Thing is, I got half a mind to just ignore the vehicles. Because it's it's the volume of kills that's going to get us the win. I think, you know what? We're going to go for that. It's, I'm going to go for the volume because... That's the, uh, the issue. Um, that's a friendly, that's a friendly. Oh shit, I just killed a friendly. Trying not to kill friendlies. Okay. Ow! Okay, let's, yeah, let's not crash. That's generally bad. Come on. Uh, that's an enemy there. Where are they? I will try and get them. It's hard to see where the enemies are sometimes. and find them. Is that enemy? Yeah, that's enemies. Come on, where are you going to park your bum? Come on. Come on! Okay, that's one of them. Right, let's try and eliminate any that are encroaching on base. No, 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 get off the floor, get off the floor. I accidentally pressed space, that was kind of daft. Come on! Oh, this is so insanely tight, come on. Come on, every ally and every enemy counts. Come on. 
No, this is so down to the wire. Seriously. Look at the numbers, man. Look at the numbers. Oh, I think I'm starting to slip now. Come on. Unless I can pull this back somehow. Come on. I know. I know. I'm so bleeding close. This is so stupidly close. close right i'm gonna have to hop off guys i'm really sorry yeah they're bots i'm playing single player campaign that's why i'm playing the campaign Next there, finger. <laughs> we had a good try though we, we had a good try oh that was heartbreakingly cr close on those last two attempts so freaking close anyway i've had good fun with it so i really didn't get time to ch check out the online it was fun though it seemed to work all right there was a couple of audio things that were slightly off i noticed but i'll have to muck around with it in my spare time for the online and see if it's all right or not um hopefully they've put more servers on than they have before because <laughs> there was only three per region before um so yeah hopefully they sorted that out but i don't know i need to have a look um but yeah so that was star wars battlefront classic collection specifically the first one that's included in that too um let me see who's live i'm gonna send you off to someone yeah i gotta go do dinners i need to have a bath as well um i have no clue what i'm gonna eat for dinner i need to figure it out um but i'm sure it'll be fine We'll get it all sussed. It'll be good. Um, who's doing what? Do, 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 do. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. I will be live tomorrow. I know I'm not normally live the weekend, but we will be live tomorrow. So I'll be doing some more mooching around and playing on stuff. So I will see some of you then. Um, grab the raid message, guys. Come join me. Oh, a friend of mine's on the game that I'm going to be on tomorrow. God dang it, it's just jumped. Ah, where is it? Hang on. Yeah, my friend Lex is on a game. Let's go say hi to him. See how Lex is doing. Um, But yeah, I'm going to hop off, guys. Helps if I type the command correctly as well. Um, Right. Yeah, go hang out with Lex. Um, Thanks for hanging out, guys. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow, if not Monday. All right. <laughs> Thanks for hanging. I'm so annoyed I couldn't get that last level done. It was a hard one. It was fun, though. Anyway, too rough now, everyone. I'll see you around. Bye!